Why, hello there. Good meowning, good afternoon, or good evening. Whatever time it is for you, thank you so much for joining me, and welcome to today's stream. Ah, oh, it's good to be streaming again. It is good to be streaming again. Um, <clears throat> as you can probably hear, my voice is at about 90% back. Um, so... I may mute myself a couple times to clear my throat or cough, but I am doing much better than I was, uh, basically this time. No, no, I was feeling okay it's last Saturday. It was Sunday that I started feeling bad, but I'm feeling better. <laughs> and that's what matters. Um, as well, we're gonna, what also matters is Magical Boys. Uh, and we're gonna, we're gonna do Rose Root today. Maybe we'll get all the way through. I kind of hope we're going to get all the way through. Um, but I did, uh, I was looking up, I was trying to get a special, uh, a, like some sort of CG I could use um, for the thumbnail. And um, as I was looking stuff up, I ended up, of course, not using anything special. Um, but as I was looking it up, I found out that Rose Root actually was locked. And... Um, it was locked behind doing Ibuki's route. So we did Ibuki's route first <laughs> in the villain's route. And so now we can do Ryo. Yay. So uh, we're going to pop over here. <coughs> All right. And despite the music not being at a stopping point, we're going to pause it. Yes. Ryo is the fairy. Yeah. Ryo, <laughs> Ryo is, uh, has the unfortunate nickname. Alright. Boy! Oh, Hayak! Not that loud, Yukinami. Yes. Alright. We're here. And yes, I'm early because uh I want to make certain that we can get as far as possible into Ryo's route. <coughs> goodness. Oh goodness. Oh, the spirits took me. Nope, they gave me back. We all need to watch this again. <laughs> His root, silly. No opening. Yes. Yeah, I'm doing all right. Um, my voice is like ninety percent back to normal. Um, I'm I'm just a little congested still, and I have a small cough. It's a lot less than it was the last couple days. Um. But yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I wanted to stream so badly. I wanted to I wanted to play Rails Root. Rails Root so bad. So uh we're gonna go to the hallway and we're gonna go say hi to Rio. I'll just wander around campus. I should run into one of the girls, right? Mm hmm Hey, isn't that Why did they... Um, amazing. Amazing. Hi, Zeka! Hello, hello! Okay! Have fun, Pony! Yeah, they just called him... They're, it's, it's just fairy. It's the maintenance fairy! And I could see his whole face. Isn't that rare? Oh, wait, is he coming this way? So cool. Yes? Oh, sorry. He must be fixing the vending machine. Oh, the fairy spoke to me again. I guess that's good luck for two weeks. Amazing. Okay. Have we really not met Ryo before? At that point in time? I thought we met him before, but maybe not. <laughs> Shit. It's all good. It's all good. Laughing is about a 50-50 chance of making me cough. 
Thank you. I have a big cup of water beside me, so. I'm just in the dredges of it. So once again, we go to the hallway. Ah, uh, thank you. Oh, I forgot to... forgot. I changed the hotkey elsewhere. But not... Here, instead of left shift, it is now left control. There we go! Now, I don't have to worry about accidentally setting off other hotkeyed items. Yeah, many hip pads. So let's go to the hallway. Yeah, stream is up on YouTube too. Oh, there's the fair. Uh, there's Ryo. Yeah, uh huh. Oh, wait, I'm not supposed to talk to him, but he's coming this way. Do I, do I ignore him? Oh, no! So, no, 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 I, I, are you supposed to be talking to me? <laughs> yeah, Principal Wine. I'm talking to you is far less conspicuous than an impromptu panic attack. Well, yes. Yes. <laughs> right. Yeah, I know, but impromptu panic attacks, I'm good at those. <laughs> Act normal? What counts as normal? I really hate all this secrecy. I wasn't able to find anyone. <laughs> yeah, you gotta schedule them. You gotta be like, alright, from 3 to 4 tomorrow, I will have a panic attack. Then you could get everything done around your panic attack, and then you can have your panic attack and be okay. I guessed my search would be fruitless, but I'd hoped to find at least one girl. I slumped under the weight of my failure. I forgot we could skip through that. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I, I don't have one, but uh... Yeah, you know... That makes sense. Thank you. Uh, we have to go to the outer wall. Yeah. Okay, for this one, God, I never remember what I'm supposed to answer this one. I think it's, I don't know. Yes, it is. Okay. I literally was watching back my, uh, Hugo route to clip it. And I couldn't remember what I'd done. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah, uh, we have to speak to Moravia. All right. Let's figure out how this goes. Uh, we're worried about Lise. Um, we have to attack them head on. All right, now. Let's see. All right, can't save Lise. Then we're gonna... All right. <laughs> yeah, that'd be nice. All right, we are now on the villainous justice route. So we are going to go to the academy because that's where Rio is. Thinking about where I was most likely to find Moravia, I decided to try the courtyard where we first met. There aren't many people at the academy today, and when we first met, it was almost deserted, so maybe she'll be here again. Moravia, you can come out if you're here. I really hadn't expected a response to my mumbled question, but someone did reply. You're not wearing your glasses, sir. You look really scary. He looks really scary. Yeah, these ooh, alarm bells, alarm bells ringing. Real, what are you doing here? Nothing. We know literally just about nothing about this man. He is a go-between. 
he's like a go between between the vectors, the vector group, and Theta, and he like brings them supplies. But he also works with the Blooms, so he's a double agent. But we don't know whose exact side he's on. He knows way. He like he knows. I'm pretty certain he knows everything because he hangs out with Uncle Yashima. Um, so I'm pretty certain he knows everything that's going on. Um, he probably knows who we are. Um, but as for predictions, honestly, they could throw anything at me. This route has been so up in the air because he barely appears. He's barely anywhere in roots. Like there, there has been, there's been a couple roots where like we didn't see him like at all. Interesting. Interesting. That's a pretty far out guess, but who knows? Moravia no name o kuchi ni shite ita na. Aitz ni ai ni kita to demo yuu no ka. I broke out in a cold sweat under Rio's sharp glare. He's allied with the Blooms, so there's no way he'd let me eat Moravia, or so we think. I was um. Betz ni togame te iru wake ja nai. Tada. Yeah, he's got to be special. Omae ga sonna fuu ni seppa tsumatta yousu de Moravia o yonda liyu ga shigita katta dake da. He's literally, he was literally locked root. He was a locked root. I didn't even know he was a locked root. He's a locked root, why? Well, I didn't expect him to say that. I stared at Ryo, but couldn't quite tell what I was, what he was thinking. Ryo, do you know where my friend is? I don't think she's at a hospital. My guess is that Lisa and the others were taken someplace secret, and I'm not supposed to know about it. Mr. Kuromori wouldn't say which hospital she was at, so I asked around town and heard that none of the injured were taken to any of the hospitals. You know what I will say? He is the one voice actor who is eating his microphone the least. And I'm kind of okay with it. <laughs> I changed the subject in an attempt to avoid Ryo probing any further. Then you know where Lise is? Yeah, nom, 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 nom. Oh. What? That there was only one thing I could say when he put it like that. I understand. I'll go with you. Well, all right then. Oh my. Oh my. We're actually like going with him to get Lise. Hmm. I didn't fully trust him, but I wasn't about to lose this valuable lead. The way he said that, is Ryo somehow connected with Moravia? But, but then he'd be allied with the Vectors. And I can't believe Lise would be here. Are you sure Lise and the others were taken to the research district? They need medical treatment. This doesn't make any sense. Oh no. <gasps> These are all the injured people, but wait! It looked like peop it looked like all the people were being restrained instead of treated for their injuries. The scene was shocking enough, but then Ryo told me something even more astonishing. Oh no. They'll turn into vectors? What are you even saying? You put your glasses back on, sir. You also changed clothes. How did, how did he. 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 How did him putting on his glasses would have made sense, but he completely changed clothes between last scene and this scene. Was he like, hey, Prince, hold on, I have to go into a closet? And we're like, okay. And then he just changed outfits. Whatever. There was no way I could take what he said at face value. Is he telling the truth? This is also sudden. I just can't believe it. But there were more pressing matters than verifying Ryo's claims. I... Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> I refocused on the task at hand. I'm gonna find Lise and get her out of here. I know that, that... I know that at the very least, she shouldn't stay here. Oh, 
I moved through all the people lying down and soon found who I was looking for. Lise, are you okay? Saki Tatori, they in Nemura Sretiru. Murini Okosiorimo, Koreo Tahomai. Rio pulled out a syringe when he saw me attempting to wake Lise. Is that medicine? Ah, Gaijuko Tomero Tomeno, Kotaida. Well, you know, we found out about that pretty fast. I, I, we're, we're like, we're, despite the fact that we don't believe him yet, we're accepting this pretty fast. After explaining, he, he swiftly injected the contents of the syringe into Lise. I still didn't fully trust Ryo. Why would he even help me? Hi, General. Yeah, who knows? Maybe we'll multiverse this bitch. There were so many things I didn't understand, but I already decided I'd do anything to help Lise. Yeah, we can't get caught. I'll take Lise and get out of here. My own decisions, Lise's safety, the fact that I'm going with the enemy, it's a lot to consider. But I can't stay stuck in the same place. Little by little, I began to relax. I'm gonna drop a save in case the game craps out on us. Uh, well, we're still in the villainous justice route. But... Oh, hey, that got marked as we've got the, we got the uh, CG there. Awesome. Okay. There's no turning back. I've made my choice and I have to keep moving forward. Oh, now we're in Rail's route. Okay, one, two, three, four. Okay. I think it's one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, it's the normal length. So we should be okay to get through this today. Ro and I rushed Lise away from the research district, hurrying to the outer wall. He led us quite skillfully. Ryo knew about the camera's blind spots and even the security guard's patrol routes. Yes. So I got that part spoiled for me slightly. Um. <clears throat> there is a third section that we'll unlock when we finish Ryo's route. It's basically like the true root of a uh, variable barricade where it like explains a bunch of stuff, I think. I just know that there's like a basically like a finale true root. I think it's a true root. It might just be a finale root. Yeah, that too. We've made it this far thanks to him, but who is he exactly? I snuck a glance over at Ryo as he carried Lise and wondered about his background. Oi, koko ni kakureru. Right. Following Rose's directions, I hid myself behind a pillar near the outer wall. Ryo took a good look around the area before also hiding himself out of sight. Hey, baby. I can go, baby. You're very happy that you get to eat some trees. <laughs> Ryo sighed, slid Lise off his shoulder, and placed her gently on the ground. Um, thank you for carrying Lise this far, I mean. Yeah. Ryo was slightly out of breath. Ryo doesn't have any special abilities. He's just a regular guy. No wonder he's so tired from carrying her. I was the one who wanted to save Lise, but I couldn't do anything. I felt terrible that someone had to strain themselves for me. Hold on. Ugh, I had to clear my throat. I didn't want to do that in the cam in the camera, in the microphone. I've done that once already on stream, and I don't want to do that again. I feel sorry for Neil's ears. Mm -hmm. Reinforcements. It appeared we were done running and now just waiting for someone to show up. Okay. Ryo sat down on the ground. I hesitated momentarily, then sat next to Lise. I looked at her. She was still sound asleep. Her face, using, usually, usually alight with happiness, looked like it belonged to a corpse. But she's alive. I had to be thankful for small miracles. I reached out and touched Lise's hand. Ryo said if we didn't help her, she'd turn into a vector. Is that really something that could happen? 
If so, I wonder if the antibodies Lise got will really work. The scene back at the research district had been odd. All I knew was that I couldn't leave Lise there. My gut told me if I did, something bad would happen. But what Ryo told me was so shocking, I still found it hard to believe. He's supposed to support the Blooms, but he's been in contact with the other side. Why would he help me out then? He must have some ulterior motive. The more I thought about it, the less sure I became about following him. But right now, he's the only chance I have to save Lise. <laughs> Ryo suddenly snorted with laughter, pulling me away from my thoughts. What's so funny? <laughs> Sir, be serious. I hadn't realized I was staring at him. I guiltily looked away. Sorry. Hmm. Huh? Who asked you? But before Ryo could answer... I heard a familiar voice from above. I looked up in surprise. The figure that leapt down from the building was the same person I'd been looking for earlier. Moravia! I see. It must have been Moravia who asked Ryo to help me. Wow! Ryo glanced at his watch as he spoke. Moravia just shrugged as if asking, so what do you want from me? Ryo scowled but said nothing more. Perhaps he never really expected Moravia to show up on time anyway. Hi, Zedalum! We're on a Rose route. We're on Rose route, which was a locked route. I am I'm, yeah. I was like, you may not want to, you may not want to be here. Yeah. <laughs> well, if you want, you can just mute. You can just mute the tab. <laughs> and just chat. Though we might... There might be some spoilers in chat based on what's going on. <laughs> Moravia walked towards us wearing her usual smile. <gasps> Thank you. Hope you do. Hope you're doing well. Have a wonderful rest of your day. <laughs> oh no, he did a thing. <laughs> bye bye. Yeah. Genki so da ne. Uh, yeah. I wasn't sure how to respond to that, so I just nodded. Then Ryo chimed in. Yeah. But why would Moravia ask you? Oh, okay. What? Why? Ask her. Okay. Jeez. Ryo got to his feet and dusted himself off before looking around and addressing Moravia. Moravia, Ryo pointed to Lise, who was still unconscious. Huh? Yeah. It sounds like he expects Moravia to carry Lise? Moravia looked pretty delicate. She was shorter and slighter than Lise, so how was she supposed to carry her? Maybe Ryo's too tired to carry Lisa any further. Uh, still, Moravia can't handle her alone. Um, Moravia, I'll help too. It's a job for two people, isn't it? But Moravia shook her head. Fine, but how? Then Moravia erased my doubts in an instant. Moravia used her psychokinesis to lift Lisa's body up in the air and float her over. Yeah, exactly. His delicate, delicate frame. <laughs> when Lise landed in Moravia's arms, the weight clearly didn't pose an issue for her. I get it. You use psychokinesis to hold her up and lighten the load. No doubt that was easier said than done. It likely required serious training to pull off, but it was easy for Moravia. She was on a different level. So 
君もやればできるはずだよそれじゃあ行こう Alright Cradling Lise in her arms Moravia jumped over the outer wall in a single leap I'm gonna be left behind I have to hurry Before I could transform and follow Moravia Ryo ran up to me and pointed to another route Mate Omae wa kocchi da I'll put Moravia and Lise Omae ga Moravia to onaji yoni deyou to sere ba Mitsukaru risk ga takai Oh. The risk of being seen. The seen risk is high. Amazing. I love that I immediately understood those three words. Alright. Okay. Oh, okay. Rio began walking off. Worried about being left behind, I trotted after him. As we walked, I asked him what was on my mind. Um, you're coming with us, Ryo? Yeah. It seems obvious, given that Moravia summoned him, but is he really on the Vector's side? There were other things I wanted to know, but right now I was more concerned about Lise. I decided to hold off on any further questions. Ryo led the way until we reached a tradesman's route, leading through the wall to the outside. Not really a secret passageway, but not obvious. I doubt many people know about this. Ryo seems to know all about it, though. Just who is he? Once I knew we were headed outside, I transformed. Moravia was there waiting for us, still holding Lise. She smiled and waved when she saw us. Yes. Oops. Go where? If we're outside, that means... It meant Theta was no longer safe for Lise and I. It also meant that Moravia and Ryo already had an idea for Sanctuary. I'd be be. Wait, you have a home? Game Prince. I mean, th thank you. Thank you for saving us. I was still wary, but I couldn't deny that they'd saved us. It seemed right to give thanks. Wait, you're not homeless? Jeez, Game Prince. どういたしまして? So, your home, is it far? Real rolled his eyes at that. <laughs> Going by Real's reaction, I guessed he knew where Moravia's home was. How long will it take us to get there? Jiminy. That sounds pretty far to me. I never had to walk that kind of distance in Theta. There weren't exactly that many places to go. I was worried about Lise making the trip. Moravia and Rail glanced at me as they continued the conversation. Eh? <laughs> she got normies in tow. Jeez. Wow, Rail. We're not normies. Half a day's walk won't take that long? She runs like a crazy person? Normies? Moravia doesn't seem to have a clue about the normal human experience. Uh huh? That's when I noticed something odd about both Ryo and Lise. What is it, though? Both, both look like they usually do, so why does something feel off? Because they're not in protective suits. Oh no, that's exactly it! I felt the blood drain from my face at re as realization hit me. Oh, wait a second! Are Ryo and Lise gonna be alright? I mean, you can't just walk around outside Theta without putting on protective gear. Oh, that's it. Before I could have a, before I could have a complete nervous breakdown, Ryo and Moravi explained Lise's new vector-like traits eliminated the need for protective gear. Vector-like traits? That sounds complicated, but as long as Lise will be okay. But what about Ro? Ro was human, right? Yeah. When I asked why he wasn't wearing gear either, he lifted his arm to show me his wristwatch. When I looked closer, I spotted something on its face. In, in its face. It was an object that looked a lot like my charm. Ah, in that case... Before I could probe for more answers, Ryo dropped his arm as if to signal it was time to change the subject. Okay. 
Grail was clearly done talking, so I just nodded. Maybe. Okay, let's go. With that, we started the trek to our destination. There's so many unanswered things about Ryo. I'm excited to see what it is. He's in love with someone, maybe. Once Theta was a long way behind us, I asked, Hey, how much further do we need to go? We're quite a distance from Theta already. So we still have a long way to go. I glanced at Lise and Moravia's arms and was struck by a thought. Moravia's been carrying her this whole time. She's strong, but surely she's getting tired by now. I bet I could carry Lise with my powers too. Moravia, let me take over holding Lise. I'll use my psychokinesis. So? Oh no. How though? How do I visualize doing this? I just wanted to make sure I'd do it right, but Moravia looked troubled. Just do it. Jeez, thanks. Your explanation is pretty light. Moravia had clearly mastered using her powers through instinct, and that made it difficult to instruct me. Her advice was cryptic and vague. Rail listened and decided to chirp chip in. Yeah. yeah. Kinda hard when you're like, how do I do it? I don't, I don't know, I just do it. Shit, I don't know how to conjugate that. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'd like to give it a try. I was never officially taught how to use my power when I was in the blooms. I'm used to being chunked at chucked, chucked to the deep end and swimming my way out. Ryo muttered to himself, but I couldn't quite make out what he was saying. Ravi gently placed Lise on the ground. I concentrated hard and tried to lift her into the air. Lightly, lightly. Visualize, she's a feather, she's a cloud. Lise's body gradually lifted off the ground, bit by bit, and then she stopped descending. Uh, she's like, mmm, too light. Ravi's suggestion was helpful for a change, so I poured a bit more strength into my attempt. Okay, let's try it now. Ooh! I overdid it. Lise's body shot up like a rocket. Thankfully, Moravia jumped in and caught Lise with her own psychokinesis, sparing Lise a messy landing. I eventually got the hang of things, even though it did involve some trial and error. <laughs> Lise's gonna be like, why am I coated in bruises? And we'll be like, sorry about that. In the end, I was able to carry Lise by myself. <laughs> Was the psychokinesis club concluded? Yeah, at least we didn't drop her. Rio sounded tired. Waiting around for me had obviously strained his patience. Yep, everything should be fine now. Right, sorry for the hold up. We continued walking while I used my psychokinesis to keep Lise aloft. We walked, walked, and walked some more. Eh. Exhaustion hit me halfway through the journey, so Moravia picked up Lise again. Rail managed to keep a steady pace. To my surprise, he was barely winded. I'm not surprised Moravia is fine, but Rail's keeping up without a problem. He's a lot stronger than I thought. Maybe he had done this kind of physical training? I felt like I could learn a thing or two from him. The world outside seemed endless. I thought Theta was big, but I realized now that it was actually tiny. All this terrain is new to me. If I lost my way out here, I'd be toast. What's the code people used when they got lost in mountains and stuff? We never used it in Theta, so I can't remember the acronym. That's it! SOS! Huh? I thought Rail was walking up ahead, but no, he was actually right beside me. Uh, it was like red and yeah, it was kind of like pinky blue purple. 
Also, I love that we're just like, we were just walking around in utter silence, zoned out, and this little video, SOS! I felt flustered, I wasn't sure what to say. It, uh, it's just, it's so vast out here. Hiroi. I was just thinking what a big world we live in. I mean, we've walked so far from Beta, but everything just goes on and on. If I got lost, I'd be in big trouble. I was just thinking I'd probably have to call out SOS eventually. I didn't mean to speak out loud. Naruhodona. Rose squinted as if looking into the distance. That was an interesting way to say that line. That was some emotion in that. Something about Ryo's choice of words made my brain hurt. Ryo, what are you... We looked up at Moravia, who'd called, who'd called, called, who'd called out to us. She'd stopped some ways ahead and had turned back towards us. Moravia, oh no, Moravia's fallen down the well! What's that, Moravia? Lisa fell down the well? Moravia was concerned about us. I raised my voice and answered, No, we're fine. We're right behind you. Moravia started walking again, and I tried to focus on keeping a steady pace. Ryo gave me a sideways glance and resumed speaking. Yeah, but complaining won't do anything. I need to get Lise somewhere she can rest, so I'll do everything I can to push through. I tried to sound tough, but I was worried. Um, the antibody shot Lise was given. Will it really work? I'm just worried. Vectorizing. That's a word. Oh, that's great! Dread washed over me when I heard the word vectorizing. I shook it off. Oh, sorry. It was hard to keep a fast pace when you were distracted. I tried to focus on my steps. Huh? Nope. Oh. I see. He's worried I'm going to wear myself out, so he's giving me advice. Bill seemed to be showing kindness in his own rough way. I smiled. Thanks for the advice. I'll give that a try. Ah. We walked on as the day slipped by, though we stopped for small breaks here and there. I took on Lise carrying duty again. Thanks to Lee. Thanks to Ryo's advice, I kept my pace steady and didn't exhaust myself. Finally, our destination appeared on the horizon. Moravia pointed. I looked ahead and saw a colony's domed roof. Is that? Even from far off, it looked pretty run down. It clearly hadn't been populated in decades and had fallen to, into ruin. Shizuka,だし、結構住み心地はいいんだよ。コロニーの元々の浄水排水システムや一部だが発電システムも生きている。ねえ、最低限の生活ができるだけの環境は整っているぞ。I he never could have pictured what Moravia's home would look like. I was relieved to see it was normal and not some fey dimension. あそこには僕たちしか住んでないけど。Moravia's use of the word we made me clutch reflexively at Lise. Yeah. When you say we, do you mean Hyuga and Yukinami live here too? Yeah. Motiro. Hokanimo. Taksan no gaiju tachina is shiny crash tayo. There's lots of vectors here too. Oh that's nice, vectors too. My stomach flipped. We just faced off against Vector. We faced off against Vectors just hours ago. But Moravia gave me a reassuring smile and gestured ahead. Yeah. Alright. I suddenly recalled what Moravia said to me when she attacked Beta. Which was. Yep. Maybe she was right, and Lise was the one who paid the price. I can't keep pretending I'm not involved in any of this. Going forward, I have to make sure I know everything. I pressed my lips together in determination and hugged Lise close to my chest. 
I brought Lise all the way out here. I'm responsible for her. Feeling somewhat more courageous, I was about to follow Moravia when Real muttered behind me. Oh. Huh? Yeah. With that, Ryo walked on ahead. The truth brings more pain than satisfaction. What does he mean by that? When I worked with the Blooms, I rare I never really got to speak with him, so this was our first real chance to talk. I still don't know what his deal is. At least he doesn't seem like a bad guy. With that said, he seems to be in the know about all the things Moravia wants to tell me. I shook my head to clear my thoughts and hurried after the others before they left me behind. We entered the ruined colony of Tao, which bristled with crumbling buildings. It looked nothing like my home colony, Theta. I hadn't realized that even the tallest, fanciest buildings would decay if they're not maintained. Everything humankind made was ultimately tiny and fragile against time and entropy. The realization shocked me a little. But not all of it's falling to the ground. One thing stands out. And there are vectors here. Everywhere. But they're not hostile. They're as quiet as kittens. Kittens aren't quiet. It felt weird to see them like this. I only knew them as violent beasts. I wasn't sure if they weren't attacking because Moravia was near or because they were a more docile breed. I relaxed a little. I looked over at Ryo. He didn't seem very interested in our surroundings. Yeah, quiet as kittens. Oink, 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 oink. <laughs> He didn't seem very interested in our surroundings. It made me think again about how odd he was. Whoa, oh. I looked over to the source of the voice and saw two figures walking towards us. Their names are Yukinami and Hyuga, right? We're the ones who brought up their names earlier. Yukinami seemed unimpressed and Hyuga just turned sour. Looked sour. They both walked up to me. My body tensed all over, already well aware of what they were capable of. Then a hand came down on my shoulder. Moravia gave me a reassuring smile. Right, I trust Moravia. That's why I came here. I have to continue to trust her. Moravia, it's time for the cool music that really doesn't fit for this type of scene, but alright. <laughs> Both of them agreed with Moravia's orders. It was a bit anticlimactic, really. I was expecting more of a protest on their part. I guess Moravia is really someone they look up to and respect. But I only felt a huge Oi. amount of relief. But I only felt a moment of relief. For some reason, Hugo started glaring at Ryo. Oi, Omae wa yonga sundara. Oh, what? Moto-kara-sono-tsumori-da-iwarenak-temo-sugu-ni-kie-ru-koko-ni-wa-tsui-de-ga-ate-yotta-dake-nan-de-na-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha
wasn't sure why I got that inspiration impression. Maybe the casual way Ryo dismissed my thanks was because he was embarrassed? He's generally he's generally apathetic about the world, as if he's disconnected from what's going on. And yet he's always helping behind the scenes. Ryo supported the blooms, and at the same time he acted as a spy for the vector side. There was no way he wasn't deeply involved. I continued to stare, apprising him, until he sighed. Oh, sorry. Ryo turned to leave as if deciding for himself that I was done. I still had things I wanted to ask him. I wanted to call him back, but I wasn't sure I had what it took to convince him. Ryo, just wait. Yeah, go on from behind. Go on from behind. Someone called from behind me. Ryo stopped. Huh? Who's that? I turned to the voice thinking it belonged to Hyuga or Yukinami, but it was neither of them. Huh? I feel like I've seen this person's face before. I flipped through my memories. That's right! I met him in Theta and... Ibuki! It's you, isn't it? The young man, Ibuki, nodded with a smile. That's right. What are you doing here? His presence made no sense. Last time I met him was all the way back in Theta. Yes. Now I'm just me. Amazing. Amazing job explaining that, Ibuki. Huh? What do you mean? Ibuki's words made no sense? But in the next moment, I was treated to a revelation. That's right. Wow, we're really just just fixing this problem right up right up front. Moravia de Marundayo. There we go. What? Wow, that was the most cut off yell I've made in a while. What? I blinked, stunned. I was definitely a few steps behind. Moravia had shifted into Ibuki right before my eyes. Speechless, I turned to look at Ryo, who was watching us silently. Seeing the question in my eyes, he nodded. Oh, Stato. <laughs> you can say that again, but how is that even possible? Wow. Wow. Moravia shifted back to Ibuki as she spoke, not missing a beat. Yeah. I see. I was pretty shocked, but at the same time, I could roll with Ibuki's gender swapping. Ibuki and Moravia were simply one and the same. And when Ibuki smiled at me, I realized how alike he was to Moravia. We are so open-minded. Moravia, I, I mean Ibuki, always seemed a bit different. I guess it makes sense now. It was the queer I was smelling. That's when I realized Ibuki was empty-handed. Hey, where's Lise? Oh god. Uh, I wouldn't trust him. Oh, good, thanks. Okay, I guess we trusted Yuki Dabi with our passed out friend. Ibuki waved as if to say it's no problem before shifting his gaze from me to Ryo. Sate, Ryo, I want to ask you a Ryo and Ibuki began their discussion and headed off. I wasn't sure if I should follow, so I just stood and watched him go. They're gone. Ne ne. I nearly jumped out of my skin when the voice came from behind me. I turned to see Yukinami with a Cheshire grin. Whoa, um, uh, Mr. Yukinami, was it? Ibuki <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yukinami nodded down at Lise in his arms. You brought Lise, thank you. <laughs> I love that we're just treating Lise like a doll. I told him I'd take over and asked him to pass Lise to me. I guess just carrying her like a fireman's carry. <laughs> Okay, thank you. I followed Yukinami holding Lise in my arms. At the scrub of her neck like a kitten. Yukinami brought us to a building that was in surprisingly good condition compared to the others. 
It said the interior was patched up and livable and much cleaner than it looked from the outside. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. Nah, yeah, neither do I. Thank you. I really want to give Lise a chance to rest. I asked Yukinami for his opinion on the best room, and he led us to one in particular. It's the exact same one. The room was sparsely furnished, but it looked clean, so I carried Lise in and laid her down on the bed. Now Lise can finally rest. During the long journey here, Lise never once opened her eyes. Her condition was pretty dire. But now that she was lying on the bed, I could tell that at least she wasn't in pain. In fact, she was snoring faintly. She got the vector antibody, so hopefully the worst is over. requested items I think it's supposed to be a candle but yeah it kind of looks butt pluggish <laughs> I left Lise on the bed and asked Yukinami to continue the tour Yukinami said he was showing me around on orders from Ibuki but he seemed to enjoy himself he smiled as he answered my questions all the essential am amenities. Everything necessary to live a slightly rugged life. At least nothing felt like it was missing. That reminds me, on the way over, we also said that this colony still has clean water and electricity. I think the butt plug should, uh, should replace the Gideon Bibles. I think you should open up Actually, no, you know what? That'd be funny to have both of them. You should open up one of the drawers in a, uh, in a hotel room and have there, there be a Bible to butt plug. Yeah, right next to each other. My bipolar butt plug, which gender are you? <laughs> I... <coughs> You're good, you're good. Hi, <laughs> <I> Zeno! <laughs> Here's your rip. Yeah, Zetica brought up the butt plug first. Here, here, we'll, we'll go back. Um. Okay, look. Look on that table. There's a flower and what is probably supposed to be a candle, but it really just kind of looks like a butt plug. So, um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so then we started talking about, uh, hotels should have, like, those, like, the little Gideon Bibles that hotels have. They should also just have a butt plug in the same, in the same, uh, same drawer. Okay. <laughs> ask Hugo or Ibuki if we have a problem. Okay, got it. If I need anything, I'll ask. Food. <laughs> Yukinami led me out of the building again. Oh, it's dark outside, but it really doesn't feel like the day is already gone. Wait, this guy is just the colony's dome ceiling, right? It's barely anything but ruins, but it really is completely functional. Oh, uh, I was just thinking about how unusual it is. Hmm? Yukidami looked at me curiously, and we chatted about Tao as we walked. Yeah, you're in need of some, some brainwashing. I scrub a scrub a scrub a your brain. I, initial, I was initially scared of the vectors wandering around, but they were all quite docile. I got used to them pretty quickly. Hard to believe those things attacked Theta. Same goes for Yukinami and Hyuga. They seem very different from the people we fought. Suddenly, I thought of Ryo. Um, can I ask you something? What? What? 
Well, no. Yeah, it still sounds so excited. Um, a little curious, maybe, but I was wondering why Ryo is so mysterious. Yukinami's shoulders slumped ever so slightly when he realized I wasn't asking about him, but he responded anyway. Glasses? You want the truth? Glasses? I don't know how I feel about Yukinami and glasses, though. I don't know if that would make him better. Or would just be... Weird. I don't know. Sorry, I was trying to, like, imagine that in my brain and it wasn't clicking. Does Ryo come here often? Is he a friend of the Vectors or something? Okay. Yeah, that's the impression I got from their confrontation back there. I hesitated for a, for a second, wondering if I should reveal exactly how Ryo and I know each other. No, if Ibuki knows, then there's no point in me hiding it. But yeah, Ryo helped blooms out back in Theta. Yukinami didn't seem particularly surprised to hear how we were connected. He simply nodded. Hmm. Oh my god! ヒューガ。あっちにもこっちにも顔出してるって前にヒューガが言ってたの。本当だったんだ。詳しくは知らないけどさ、そっちの情報をイブキに流してたのはあいつだよ。はあ。はあ、he if that was the case, it made sense to believe that he'd, he'd been in secret contact with Ibuki for a while now. あいつが何考えてるのかなんて興味ないけどね。どうせこっちの情報も流してたんじゃないの? Ryo was on Ryo's side, apparently. Uh, I don't know. I haven't saw Ryo with the commander, but could their meetings have anything to do with sharing enemy information? In that case, he's infiltrated both groups. So, whose side is he really on? I wasn't even sure if Yukinami was telling me the truth, but I felt like I'd swallowed a bug nonetheless. I guess, yeah. Ryo is working both sides at once. What possible motive could he have for taking that risk? Alright, well, that's fine. Oh, okay. I guess he's done talking about Ryo already. Uh, more importantly, Yukinomi, did you just say that Hyuga has dinner ready? You. <laughs> and you complain about Zetetika having a dirty mind? <laughs> I bet both Zetetika and I reached for the bulk. I mean, we've already pretty much we've already pretty much laid out that you and I both immediately trust anything that Zetetika has said. <laughs> Yukinami blinked at me as if as if he had no idea why I'd ask something so painfully obvious. So Hyuga cooks? So <laughs> You hear that, Zetetika? You gotta be responsible. Come on, my knight. I thought about Hyuga in battle and remembered how fear fearsomely he'd handled his guns. He... always cooks? You don't take turns? <laughs> Is that good or bad? Hyuga cooking... I still couldn't picture it. <laughs> Well, I for one am glad we have such a trustworthy knight. <laughs> there really are all kinds of people in the world. Hearing about the others' everyday lives made it easier to relate to them. Ikunami took me by the arm and guided me to the dining area. <laughs> I'm back. After eating, I returned to Lise's room. I announced my soon I, I announced my return out of habit. It wasn't like Lise could respond to me. Dinner was really good. As Yukinami promised, Hyuga cooked over an open fire for some reason. 
I've never eaten outdoors before, but it was pretty fun. Ibuki, Yuki, Nami, Hyuga, and I ate together. Ryo must have left the colony already. At any rate, he wasn't at the table. I was shocked at how good the meal was. Hyuga was a better cook than I'd imagined. Mm, this soup is so good. That's all? Ikinami beamed as if I complimented him personally by praising the soup. Ibuki nodded too. おいしいって言ってもらえてよかったね、ヒューガ。いつも食べてるお前らはうまいって言わねえけどな。<laughs> <laughs> As Hyuga belly ached, he shot the others an exasperated look. おいしいものはおいしいんだからわざわざ言わなくたっていいんじゃない? But good food is good food, yeah. Please appreciate his work. I have to clear my throat again. Ah. <laughs> uh, maybe he really just wants the others to tell him he's a good cook now and then. Yeah, everyone's male friend group needs a male wife. That's what I'm there for. <laughs> Their banter was surprisingly human. I could see, I could sense the friendship between them. Until now, I'd only regarded them as enemies. I was surprised by how quickly my opinion of them had changed. We all said this world is huge. No doubt there's still tons of things out there that I know nothing about. Seeing just part of the world had already changed my personal values in numerous ways. Hey, Ibuki, earlier you said that I know nothing. You were in Moravia at the time, but do you remember? But you do remember saying it, right? I have to wonder how much I'll learn from being here. Ibuki paired his response with a warm smile. Okay. I nodded firmly. I'll live here for a while and see what I can see, then I'll draw my own conclusions. When we finished eating, Hyuga gave me a tray to take to Lise. I thanked him and returned to the building with the food. I checked on Lise as soon as I got back, but she was still fast asleep. She hasn't even woken up once, and this can't be good. I'd come this far hoping Lise could be saved, but worry not at me. Lise. I called her name quietly. There was no response. I had no idea what else to do, so I kept calling her name softly. Hey, Lise. <sighs> After repeating her name several times, Lise finally stirred. Her eyelids fluttered. Lise? I held my breath and watched as Lise slowly opened her eyes and groggily looked across around the room. Koko, doko. Lise, you're awake! I breathed a huge sigh of relief. I could hear Lise's voice and see her eyes focus on mine. That was everything. She was still woozy, probably not fit for an exposition dump. I decided I'd explain everything later. You can relax, this is a safe place. Look, I brought you dinner. The soup is very good, please try to eat some. With my encouragement, Lise decided to eat. She drank the soup very slowly and ate one small piece of bread at a time. Lise seemed to only vaguely remember what happened with the vet when the vector attacked her, so I promised I'd explain everything tomorrow. After eating, Lise lay back down and went back to sleep. Whew, now that I know Lise's okay, I'm exhausted. The walk from Theta to Tao wasn't exactly a stroll. I traveled a very long distance today. My body felt like a sack of bricks. I probably should turn in for the night, too. I headed to the room I was using and flopped down on the bed. Sleep crept up on me straight away. That night, I slept deeply and dreamlessly. Far, how far in are we? Okay, I was like, I think that's a, I think that's the next one. I was correct. What was the next one? The next few days were uneventful, but quite enjoyable. In time, I not only got to know Ibuki, but Hyuga and Yukinami too. It might be. I began seeking them out to have conversations. Yukinami was definitely a people person, so he always enjoyed chatting with me. Yuka's stony face never softened, never softened, but he always responded to me when I spoke to him. And the foodie babe was delicious. Not that I should drop my guard entirely, but they don't seem like bad guys. Yeah. I'm used to the sight of the vectors roaming around freely too. They never showed a bit of aggression when I walked outside, so I stopped fearing them. My whole perception of the vectors changed. A big part of that switch admittedly came from me discovering that the vectors who lived in Tao had once been human. <clears throat> yeah. 
You too? <laughs> the day after we came to Tao, Ibuki explained Lise's condition to me. Lise ga gaijou ni narikakete ita no wa machigai nai yo. So you mean she's not human now? So, mo futsu no ningen to wa iye nai. Mochiron gaijou demo nai kereto. Yeah. My headphones fell off. Okay. Had an itch in my ear and I moved one of the of the cushions off my ear and the whole thing went pop off my head. But she's not a mindless factor, which means the shop rail gave her worked. I needed to thank him when I see him next. I need to thank him. After hearing the story from Ibuki, I told Lise what had happened to her. Of course, it shook her up to learn she was no longer human, and ha ha ha, hey, that's a book by Dazai Osamu. Uh, and now, uh, something more akin to Ascension Vector, but she took it in stride. Still, the attack and Theta made her wary around Tao's vectors, even though they were tame. So I tried to stay by her side as much as possible. <laughs> yeah. That's... I haven't read it. I should read the book. But you have to be in the right headspace to read No Longer Human. I don't know what that headspace is. Probably not mine. <laughs> Lise's naturally bubbly personality soon won over both Yukinami and Ibuki, and even Hyuga seemed okay with her. For the first time in ages, I feel like I'm at peace. My point of view had undergone rapid changes in a few in a few in just a few days. It's uh I think it's his last it's Dazai Osamu's last novel. Um, it's a... Uh, it's a very depressing story. I'll be 100% honest. Um, I think it's his last novel? I think, yeah, I think it's the very last novel he wrote before he um, jumped into a river with his, uh, mistress. Or with his girlfriend. You know what? I was gonna go into a research rabbit hole, but not right now. I feel like maybe I'm no longer as clueless as Moravia said. I'd found out the Vectors were once humans, and I'd seen the human side of Ibuki's group. It was already a huge shift from before. But I wondered if Ibuki meant something else when he said I didn't know any any anything. Maybe I'll ask Ibuki to tell me more today. Lise knocked on the door and peered in as I was going over in my thoughts. Ne -ne. Oh, hi Lise, what's up? Oh, that's perfect for Lise. She loves cooking. Yukinami, huh? He probably hates cooking. He ran away. Amazing. Shit. I can't be nice. Just be careful. Just be careful, okay? I'm glad Lise is getting along with the others. I know they're not bad guys, but it's still too risky to wander around with our guard down. <laughs> I know, the things we do for love. Well, we have to be... Not 100% on buddy-buddy with everybody. No, that's not what I'm worried about. But I didn't want to make Lise worry, so I just dropped the subject. But wow, Lise is amazing. Not everyone can make friends with strangers in such a short time. That takes talent. What do you want to do with me? Do I'm going to go and talk to Ibuki for a bit. Hmm, okay, I I didn't have to worry about Lise if she was with Hyuga and Yukinami, so we decided we'd split up and do things differently today. No, do different things today. Now, where could Ibuki be? I had no idea how Ibuki spent his time, nor did I know where he went after meals. As I looked around, a vector wandered up to me. I stroked its neck and murmured softly to it. I don't suppose you could tell me where Ibuki is, or Moravia. Either one is fine. Yeah, vectors aren't exactly talkative. The vector couldn't answer, but it still seemed glad that I even asked. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
That's they're like weird dogs. I looked for Yubuki without success. Soon I found myself turned completely around in an unfamiliar area. This isn't good. I don't remember this area. I should turn back. I was nervously scanning for a way back when I caught sight of a human figure. Huh? Who's over there? Is that real? Oh. Yeah. Ryo walked out of one of the buildings, talking to someone still inside. Who's he talking to? Doesn't seem like it's Ibuki or one of the others. Ryo wrapped up his conversation and noticed me as soon as the door closed behind him. Our eyes connected. He knew he couldn't ignore me. He wanted to, though. He sighed and started walking in my direction. I was looking for Ibuki, and uh, then I suddenly remembered... I had something to say to Ryo. I was like, I suddenly remembered... That my brain was not connecting the two parts of that sentence together. I clasped my hands together. Uh, but more importantly, thank you! Huh? You know, I don't know if we get to meet Uncle here. Lisa is doing well. She won't turn into a vector thanks to the shot you gave her. I really wanted to see you again so I could thank you one more time. Rio looked at me surprised and then heaved an exasperated sigh. <sighs> Well, that's rude. But that real turned and started to walk off. Oh, wait, please! Do you not have an off switch? That's so rude! Um. Wow! Um, who lives in that building? You were just talking to someone, right? I wanted to, but it seemed a little abrupt. Real paused and thought for a moment before continuing. He is a he is a soon today. This is an extremely slightly washed out CG. Why is it? I guess we get a CG for this, yeah. I guess you can stop. Nothing. Am I supposed to say nothing yet? Nothing yet. No, nothing yet. But we were just saying. I felt like I was starting to figure things out, but that probably wasn't what Real meant when he asked if I got anything on my visit. Then what was he asking? Uh -huh. He said something similar before. What do you mean by it? Sate. No. It seemed like Ibuki wasn't the only person filled with secrets I wasn't privy to. Real, what do you know that I don't? Well, a lot of things, probably, but... Real made silent as he turned his back and left for good. Okay, bye! At this point, I think Real's a bigger mystery to me than Ibuki or the others. He seems to know something, but he just makes cryptic remarks instead of telling me anything. I guess Ibuki's the same way. But Real on Ibuki's side... But, oh, but is Ryo on Ibuki's side? Or is he an ally of the Blooms? I still can't figure it out. Ryo wouldn't tell me anything. He just responded to my question with more questions. It was supremely frustrating. Since he's not going to cough anything up, I'll just have to follow him. Okay, that's... Okay, that's a thought process. Uh, I'm sure I'll find something out if I do. With that, with that I decided on my first ever stealth mission. Yeah, I want to go talk to Uncle, but I guess we're going to go stalk Ryo. It's going to be a little hard to stalk... Wow, no, we are just straight up stalking this man. Wow. Okay, we're on 2-1 already. Okay. I tailed Ryo from the shadows, but before long, he exited the colony. Where is he going? Based on the direction, I don't think he's headed to Theta. The more time I spent hesitating, the further away Ryo got. Moving carefully so I wouldn't be spotted, I snuck along behind him. Wow. I don't know. Yikes, he sure walks fast. Surprising considering the rough terrain. I had to be careful with my own footing, which meant I was always in danger of losing sight of Ryo. How... Wow, how'd such a big chunk of rubble get here? That's dangerous. Hm? 
realized Ro had vanished while I was distracted with by the debris. Huh, no way, where'd he go? I only took my eyes off of him for a second. He's gonna be right behind us. I glanced around in a panic when... Oi. Ah! Ro called out to me from behind and I almost shrieked in surprise. I felt a bit guilty for following you. I kept my eyes lowered as I turned around. Ru raised an eyebrow, clearly annoyed. He figured out my game ages ago. <laughs> but he kept walking! <laughs> he didn't turn around and tell us to stop! Um, well, you see... What do I do? I have to say something. <gasps> Maybe so. I want to know more about you. Yeah. Alright, I mean, it's true. Um, I just... This is his murder rock! <laughs> I just want to know more about you. Rue hesitated, taken aback for a moment. Huh? His reaction. I never thought I'd see such a look on his face, but his expression changed back in the blink of an eye. Huh? <laughs> I'm suddenly getting intense danger signals! I am suddenly getting intense danger signals. His tone was mocking, which prompted me to snap back. Something wrong with what I said? Yeah. <laughs> he is mocking me, talking down to me like I'm a kid. But I really need to know. It feels like it. It feels like it. We're not anywhere close to a bad end, but it feels like it. I had come this far. I couldn't back down now. I looked at Ryo with a serious expression. Then I unloaded all the suspicions I built up since arriving at Tao. You know what's a good you know where's a great place to do this? The absolute middle of fucking nowhere. That's absolutely where we need to do this. It's just be in the middle of fucking nowhere. Where nobody nobody has even known that we left. What's your deal? <laughs> Jeez. I don't think you're on the Vector side, but you don't seem to be with the Blooms either. And you keep making it sound like you know something I don't. That's why I was stalking you. Well, we came right out and said it! <laughs> I don't think he was even expecting that word! There was an odd pause! I wasn't sure what to say next. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> Rude! He's laughing! I was more shocked to hear Ryo laugh than I was about being the target of his amusement. Up until now, Ryo had dissuaded two moods. Two modes. Apathy and mockery. If he had other settings, I didn't know about him. Yet here he was, blatantly showing his emotions. And by laughing out loud, no less. He can laugh! Of course he can. See, real lab made me feel like I was actually meeting him for the first time. I felt happy. Ah, uh, <laughs> Well, good thing I never planned on being one. Ryo grinned at me as I huffed angrily, but there was no longer any mockery behind his gaze. What? I-I-I mean, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our, uh... Yeah. Huh? Really? I was so surprised that I actually took the offer of face value. Well, that's a relief. <laughs> God, we're dumb as a box of rocks! <laughs> now that you've caught me, I can take my time and tail you, trail you at my pace. I knew I was saying weird things, but Rogue just kept grinning and let me run my mouth. Then Ryo started walking again, but his pace was noticeably slower than it was before. 
I'd already been spotted, but I still didn't want to lose sight of my target. God. What what is wrong with Game Prince? Honestly, the, the I think this is going to be one of the routes where the protagonist is dumb as a fucking box of rocks. Usually she's been pretty good at um um you know not being weird and dumb but I guess I guess I asked too much yeah true um so where you going I don't think I can travel that far I'll go as far as I can but after that I'll have to watch from a distance Rio smiled at this a different smile from his familiar wry grin so, where are you really going? Bill glanced back as he continued walking. This is a fucking wild conversation. I, I don't know. I got extra baggage. I think he means me. I felt bad for inconveniencing Rill, but I was also happy he was letting me tag along. We're like a fucking weird puppy. Conflicting emotions swirled in my mind. But I think he's changed his original plan because of me. I mean, probably? Oh no, he was just... Oh no, he was just messing with us. That was him being sarcastic. I can't let my guard down, but I think I've seen a softer side of him. I quickly composed myself, embarrassed that Real could read my expression. I wasn't smirking. I wasn't smirking at all. Ryo, Ryo, oh my god, Ryo, Ryo rolled his eyes. As if to say, whatever. I trotted along, determined not to let him tease me. <laughs> yeah, Ryo rolled his eyes. God bless that sentence. And I do mean that in the southern way. Which God bless just means, <laughs> you fucking imbecile. We walked for a, f for a while longer. Oh god. When we stopped, Rio looked around as if sweeping the area. What? I don't know what you're up to, but let me help. Let me know if I can help. It looked like Rio was constructing something, so I offered to give him a hand. He had to change his plans because of me. The least I can do is be useful. Camp? Camp? You're camping here? I knew how to camp, but I couldn't process the idea of camping outside a colony. For a second, I thought I'd misheard. I was told people die if they spend too much time outside a colony. Are you sure it's okay for you to camp here? And there might be vectors wandering around. I was pretty used to vectors by now, but after so many fights against them, I still regarded them with caution. I think he might actually be homeless. Or he just camps between the... You have weapons? I think he's just camping between the between the colonies, but I'm sorry. Go back. You have weapons? Nope, he's just homeless. Wow. With that said, Rail produced the backpack that he'd hidden in advance. It looked like he regularly stopped by this site, so he left the necessary equipment nearby. He started unloading tools as I watched. Alright, but why are you camping here? Why this spot specifically? Everything he was doing was just odd. Uh, oh? You surveyed the region? So he was a researcher? It was true that the commander and the blooms worked out of the research district, and I saw Rail come and go from there too. Still, it's hard to believe that the researchers would be cool with Rio being in contact with Vector Sympathizers. Is Rio acting alone, or is he under someone's orders? What a situation. As soon as I got an answer to one mystery, another took his place. How much does the commander know about what you do? I don't know about that, but Sorry. Thought it was a text. It was not a text. 
<laughs> Things need to stop being the same color notification. Maybe. Oh, he just admitted that with no problem. It was I was expecting Bio to get defensive, but no. It was a bit anticlimactic, really. At least he was open to talking. He continued talking as he as he continued to set up camp. Which are? So can we go back to what your what your motives are? Oh my god, why are they moving so much furniture around? So that means Ryo is acting independently. He's in touch with the Vector's side out of his own volition. Why doesn't the commander ever question you? I have to use the restroom real fast. So, um, we're gonna pop over here to the BRB screen. And you guys get to listen to the fun little music. Uh, as I be back in a minute. Maybe secret route for the commander, that'd be fun. A return. Yeah, the the BGM is pretty uh pretty nice. It's something it doesn't um it's not horrible to listen to on loop. Thank you. Alright. He has secret plans of his own. Yeah. Yeah, the commander knows uh uh the commander does have his own secret plans. We know that. Stuff he can't talk about? You mean... Real looked right at me for a moment before quickly looking away. 
It has stuff to do with me. That was apparently all Ro planned to tell me today. He remained silent as he continued to make camp. I still had questions. Lots of them. But I knew I wouldn't get anything else out of Ryo tonight, even if I pressed him. I looked up. The sky was dark and hazy. It was gray and hazy. It never changed thanks to the terrible air outside the colonies. It's definitely a good idea to get everything set up before sunset. Is there anything I can do to help speed this along? Fuel. The first thing that came to mind were hydrogen and electricity. Surely that wasn't what Ryo meant by fuel. Ryo noticed my confusion and threw me a bone. Yeah, we probably never made a fire in our life. Broken branches, check. Of course, branches were, were the perfect fuel. I only knew the bare basics of camping, so even that simple fact hadn't registered with me. I scouted around the area for broken branches as instructed. Broken branches, here, yeah, broken branches. But no matter how hard I looked, I couldn't find so much as a splinter of wood. What little I found wasn't suitable for kindling. Yeah. That's when I remember something important. A poor environment means that plants can't grow outside the colonies. I don't even see any live trees in the vicinity. Ah, oh, how can I get around this? We'll burn through what little wood I've gathered in minutes. I looked up and saw a dead tree not too far from me. It was tall and bristling with withered branches. There's one! I dashed over to the dead tree with the energy of someone who just spotted a treasure chest. Good, the tree is dry. Those bran these branches should make a nice fire. Oh god. Yep, yeah, we are. I used my psychokinesis on the tree and it collapsed with no effort at all. Amazing. Pieces of dead wood littered the ground. Now I had all the fuel I needed. I gathered up bundles of wood and used my power to float everything back over to the campsite. Ro, look! I found fuel! Tons of it! <laughs> I like him! Ah, oh, what's wrong? Ro grinned as if I just told him a good joke. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, he'd been watching me strip down the tree. But his smile wasn't nasty, nor, would his, nor was his tone sarcastic. He was honestly amused by the fact that I'd gone a bit overkill. Still, I pouted a bit as I dropped the branches. How long? I don't know, actually. I wasn't sure how long I could survive outside the colony in my transformed state. To be honest, I've never even thought about it. Oh,おおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおお
環境調査には欠かせない機械だ。うん。His explanation was succinct, but I still couldn't quite grasp what he was saying. Ah,、oh, that's pretty neat. お前、よくわかってないだろう。You clearly wasn't fooled by my bluff. I get it, kind of. I just can't picture you actually playing with that little drone thingy. Are you gonna use it now? I'd be interested to see how it works. お前はテントの中にいろ。見たいなら、窓から覗けばいい。I'd like to see it work up close, though. I won't get in your way. You might have a good idea. But you can't do it. 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 You can't There was a bed as well as a table, a chair, and a small shelf. Where the fuck has he been hiding this shit? The shelf was stacked with jars of dirt, plants, and water samples, each categorized according to where they've been collected. Seems he's telling the truth about being a surveyor. All the machines sure look the part. You've got your own little research lab here. Ah, Dojo ya Suishit no Kain Ken Sakurai nara. Koko demo dekiru karana. Wanna tell me how the fuck you carry this around? じゃあ俺は外で探査機を飛ばしてくるおとなしくしていろよ。ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、あ He began fiddling again with some tool that looked like a controller. The drone's propeller started spinning and then it lifted into the air. Wow, it's really flying! It seemed to be seeking something seeking something from its high vantage point, like Ryo had suggested. Ryo's eyes followed it into the sky as it ascended. I could tell he looked rather excited. He definitely seems like he's enjoying himself. I've never seen Ryo look so carefree before. It was a real change from his usual poker face. Maybe Ryo was the type of person who only expressed emotions when he was alone. He was always tacturn when he worked with the blooms. I figured he was just playing a role of sorts.、Uh, he likely hid his true self when he was with us. He, he always kept himself at arm's length. I guess he never let his guard down in Theta. Maybe he only feels that, like he can relax and be himself outside the colony. Relax and be himself outside the colony. That was the wrong, the, the wrong inflection. Is the inflection on the wrong word? This rail was a bright spot against the overcast skies outside the colony. The scene made my heart race. Before long, the sun dipped below the horizon and we were enveloped in darkness. We gotta get back! We didn't tell anybody we left! The night was pitch black compared to the nights in the colony. Thick clouds obscured the moon and stars, blocking whatever light they shed. Yeah, it is. The only light came from the campfire rail set up outside, as well as the lamps inside the tent. His work done, Ryo joined me inside. His hands were full with hot drinks and food. Thanks for sharing with me. I accepted the food and drink and began eating. The drink was hot tea, and the food Ryo called rations was actually very tasty. I'd never had anything like it. We ate in silent for a while before I decided to ask Ryo about the machine he'd used. What were you looking at with the drone? Oh, at the top of the building, there was a lot of people in the building. There was a lot of people in the building. There was a lot of people in the building. Ryo lifted a bottle from the desk and showed me the plant inside. It looked like moss. Oh, is this really something rare? I don't know a lot about plants, so I can't tell. I assumed someone knowledge as knowledgeable as Ryo would know what he was looking at. Unlike myself. Ryo, doing this, doing this survey stuff really revs you up, huh? Ryo looked away when I pointed out the change I'd noticed in him. So, ka? Do n a n d a r o n a I decided to ask him something that's been on my mind since I first saw the drone, even though I already knew what the answer was gonna be. Can I try flying the drone? As expected, Ryo shot me down. Dame da. おもちゃじゃないんだぞ。墜落させて壊されたらたまらん。I promise I won't crash it. If it looks like it's about to fall, I'll just lift it back up with my psychokinesis. そして力加減を間違えて、さっきの枯れ木のように粉砕するわけか。<笑>ますます貸せないな
Ouch. But he was onto something. I still lacked control. I wouldn't overdo it. I'd be fine. I think. I knew he didn't sound convincing, even as the words left my mouth. I felt quiet and sipped my tea. <laughs> yeah, the major conflict is we destroy his work equipment. On accident. Mm, he did a really great job preparing this tea and meal. He must do it all the time. And he had this tent hidden out here all... Here all ready to go well in advance. Um, do you come here often? <laughs> okay, Prince. So, Dana. Koko dake janaku. Koko ni mo ikutska nita yo na kyoten o motte iru kara. Hi ni yotte ikubasho wa chigau. Ah, ah. I was surprised to learn that he had hidden multiple base camps outside the colony. But if he has all this stuff prepared, all this stuff prepared in advance, he'll always have a safe spot to squirrel away in. When I thought about it that way, it didn't seem strange that he had so many hiding spots. Rio's activities weren't officially sanctioned, however. Was it alright for him to have these little base camps hidden away everywhere? Wouldn't it be bad news if the higher ups from Theta found this tent? So na hema wa shinai. Kari ni mitsukari sou ni nareba, sugu ni basho o kaete konseki mo keshite iru. How? He spoke with complete confidence. No doubt he had tons of hands-on experience in keeping a low profile. He's opened up way more than I thought he would, but he's still so mysterious. All I knew for sure was that Rail wasn't siding with the Blooms or the Vectors. That, and he was surveying the landscape outside the colony for one reason or another. I had no idea what he hoped to accomplish with his survey. Maybe if I dug that that much, I'd unlock some of Rail's deeper truths. What'd he tell me if I asked? As of right now, I don't think he would. Oi. Bored to stay to grow, Waringa. Rio was speaking to me. I looked over. He was done eating, but I'd been spaced out. My fork suspended in midair. Uh, I know I looked like I spaced out, but I was just doing some deep thinking. Dotchi de Moiga. Kyoa Kokoni Tomati Tahongae. Soto a mo cry karana. We really haven't thought about what we're gonna do. Nobody knows that we've left. Oh. Mm-hmm. Hello, 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 Irma. Thank you so much for stopping by. Hope you have a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time it is for you. I had followed Ryo on the whim, not thinking about what I'd face on the outside. Now the terrain was cloaked in deep darkness, and there was little chance I could find my way back to Tao safely. Uh, is it really okay if I stay? Oh. Yeah, I think you're right. I was actually just thinking the same thing. I came all this way and never even planned to head for nightfall. How embarrassing. After that, I helped Rio clean up. By the time we were done, it was quite late. Then I was hit with another thought. Rio said I could sleep here, but where am I supposed to sleep exactly? The tent had only, only had one cot. He probably figured I'd sleep on the floor since I joined his expedition without an invite. Oh, we're doing this? We're doing- Ah! Ah! It's in there was only one bed thing! When Rio announced opposite arrangements, I panicked a little. I can't take the bed! I followed you here, so I should be the one to sleep on the floor. Rio began... Walking... Towards me! Oh! Fix ADV with a hard gaze that indicated I should stop talking! Oh!
男のところに一人でのこのこついてきてこうなるとは想像しなかったのか Right in our fucking ears. Huh? What, what, what is he be? God, we're stupid as fuck. God, we're dumb as fuck. What is he be? He certainly had no regard for my personal space. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, no, Game Prince. My heart began pounding in my chest, the reverberations echoing loudly in my ears. Oh. <gasps> Collect my gratitude? No, it can't possibly mean not that. Oh, I think that's exactly what he means. Yeah, Game Prince has never read an Otome before or a romance novel, apparently. I never even began. I never even imagined being in this scenario. He really was implying that. He really was implying that I'd give him my thanks with my body. My mind meant. My mind went. It was so weird. Yeah. <laughs> One bed's all I need to collect your gratitude. Oh, that's so awkward of a line. My car, I was thinking. Ah! If I go to the bed, it's cute. What the fuck is going on? What the fuck is going on? Yukinami's route already was a little fucking weird at ta- at- and- What is this? What? I could feel myself blushing, but Ryo chose to ignore it. He reached out and quietly played with the ends of my hair. I'm so uncomfortable. Cute! Endless possibilities splitted through my mind, feeding into my panic. What should I do? We might end up doing that. Ryo suddenly brought his face right up to mine. It's a good idea. I don't know how to worry about it. Tell me about it. That's how I'll get him off my case. They'll just cough in his face. I have... I'm sorry. I have to listen to that again because the English and the Japanese did not match up there. What the fuck?! <laughs> with a mixture of confusion, shame, and fear. I think we're missing one additional emotion there, but okay. I felt my body tense up. Nantena. Huh? Huh? Dude, that's not funny. Oh my god, I was utterly lost. Ryo looked at my wide-eyed face with amusement. <laughs> don't bring this music back! No, don't bring this music back! No, no! <laughs> We're not... No! What the fuck just happened? <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. Oh 
Wow. Benriel pulled himself away from me and started getting ready for bed. As if he hadn't just absolutely terrified the shit out of me. I stood frozen against the wall for a few more moments. Oh. He had a sleeping bag the whole time. Well, that's not the issue here. What the heck was that all about? And what does he mean by calling me a kid? Because we are. As I started to calm down, I realized that he'd been teasing me. Now I was red in the face for a different reason. Maybe I really am a child. I mean, if something happened, that'd be bad news. But there was no reason for him to tease me like that. That was a... If that was teasing, that was fucking weird. As I calmed down enough to ruminate over what just happened... What did... What just happened, yeah. What had just happened? I got mad. Really, really mad. Fine, you'll see. I put everything I got to sleep in in this stupid bed. Why? I huffed with anger as I clambered into my cot. I could feel real grinning at my back. Lamp. Kisses. <laughs> I'm so confused. Real extinguished the lamp and the tent was plunged into darkness. The night hung heavy and utterly silent. I was still seething with anger and could hear my heart pounding in the darkness. What is going on? I should be glad nothing actually happened. But it's... No, no, we're doing this line! But instead, I feel... How do I describe this? Disappointed? Yeah, the more I examined my feelings, the less sure I felt about my actual state of mind. Oh, God bless it. Oh, God bless it. I'd had a big day, though, and exhaustion overtook me soon enough. I felt my eyelids droop, despite still being angry. The gentle sound of the wind accompanied me as I gently drift gradually drifted off to sleep. What the actual fuck? Oh, we're still 2-2. Two, two. Oh my god. Uh -huh. I woke up feeling groggy. Everything around me was unfamiliar. It took me a few moments to sort out my memories. All right. I followed Ryo out here. He pitched a tent. And that's where I stayed the night. I looked around. There was no sign of Ryo. He must have woken up without me realizing. I was sure he wouldn't sleep a wink all night, but I slept like a baby until morning. My anger over last night's teasing had cooled down. <laughs> oh my god oh my i wow i yeah that was not an amazing word choice there game i got up and looked out the window cautiously Rail was concentrating on the sky clearly working on something I had no idea what he was up to, but I decided to transform and join him outside. He's not wearing his jacket. He's got his sleeves pulled up. Good morning, Ryo. Oh, woke up. Ryo never stopped fiddling with the drone's remote controls, even as he greeted me. His eyes were fixated, to, fixed, fixed to the sky. He looks serious, not at all like his demeanor last night. Stop it, game! That's the remote for the drone you used yesterday, right? What's wrong with it? Ryo finally glanced at me before quickly sweeping his gaze back up to the sky. Huh? Probably.どこかに引っかかったな。朝になったら別の植物も見つけたから採取しようとした。そうしたらこの座間だ。I followed Ryo's eyes and saw the ruins of a once impressive building. The drone seemed to be stuck on its roof. I recalled the expression on Ryo's face last night as he flew the drone. The drone. The drone. I found myself speaking before I knew it. Um, would you like me to get it for you? That's a new sprite. I can't decide if that's a good sprite or if he looks like he's about to murder me. The words just automatically poured out of me. Omaima? Ugh, Rail looks surprised. I remembered how he mocked me last night and felt my resolve grow stronger. I'll do it as thanks for letting me stay. Yeah. 
Really, he'd only give me a place to crash, and he treated me like I was a kid. Still, I wanted to even the score between us, yeah. Drew gave me a slight grin, as if I reminded him of the teasing he'd done the night before. I'll use my psychokinesis to hold the structure together and then jump my way up there. That way I can get to the roof without crossing the floor. Okay, here goes! I began to focus my power, but Ryo stopped me. What? I wasn't expecting him to say that. I looked at him confused. Why does he want to hitch along? Is there something he needs to do on the roof? You said something about plant life nearby. Did you want to get a sample? Oh,上からの景色ってやつをこの目で見たい。So in other words, he was just curious, inquisitive even. Oh, the whimsical nature of this of his request caught me by surprise. Then I remembered how excited he looked last night. Stop! Game! Oh my god! They really are... Wow! There really is no way to... to. That's just how... That's just... Yep! Yep, they're just making it even more of a... Uh, even more of a thing! Yeah. Uh, wait, okay. Maybe he did have an innocent streak. My lips curled into a smile as I thought that over. No, it's not weird in the least. But how was I supposed to carry Ro up onto the roof with me? I guess I can lift him the way I lifted Lise, but Ryo's much bigger than I am. Looks like this isn't going to be easy. I thought for a moment before I spoke again. Alright. Alright, let's go together. Oh. Yeah. Thinking about it, my powers made it so real size relative to mine wasn't really an issue. Besides, real struck me as the type who never asked for favors. I couldn't let this rare opportunity slip by. If I show him how useful I actually am, maybe he'll stop calling me a kid. Hmm, okay. <laughs> I was still salty about real comparing me to a child last night. <laughs> nope! <laughs> Come on, game! Now I have to figure out how I'm supposed to get Ryo up there. Based on Ryo's size, it would be difficult to transport him the way I'd carry Lise. Also, this is less about logistics, but is it okay for me to carry Ryo in my arms? How would you do that? I mean, won't it look kind of, you know... Um, Ryo, how do you feel about me carrying you? Huh? Ryo hung open in a charmingly unreal like way. To be fair, my question came out weird. <laughs> exactly. Ryo, let me do your taxes. I rephrased it to explain that I was trying to figure out the best way to carry him up to the roof. Ryo nodded in understanding. Uh-huh. <laughs> Is he gonna carry us? Are we on 2 3 now? No, we're still in fucking 2 2? Oh my god! Who reached out and grabbed my hand. I immediately understood his intent. Ah, I see, yeah. Holding hands like this should also work just fine. Just like that, and the problem I've been so worried about was solved. I just assumed I'd have to carry Ro after having done the same to Lise. I took a deep breath to calm down, then I focus on gathering the energy I'd need to use it my psychokinetic power. Um, okay, well I guess we have to quietly do it. Alright, this should work. I concentrated my energy again with Ryo, while Ryo looked on quietly. Our hands still linked, I imagine Ryo and I rising as a single body. I tapped into my reservoir of psychokinetic, psychokinetic power again. First, a light jump. <laughs> We jumped lightly in unison, and it was enough to send us both into the air. We landed on a higher ledge this time, though we were both in danger of losing our balance. Yeah. Sorry about that, I messed up the timing. The next jump will be better. I felt like I was really starting to get the hang of things. There was no doubt about it. Hauling Lise around had been good exercise for my powers. 
tried to work on controlling my breathing. That's when Ryo interjected with a suggestion. Why not? I was the one who had powers, not Ryo, but his suggestion did have merit. Probably would help if we were in sync. You're right. Okay, let's try it on the count of three. Wakata. Tanamuzo. Here it goes. One, two, three! Ryo and I floated upwards again, buoyed by my psychokinesis. We climbed even higher than any of our previous attempts. We did it! Oh. What is this, like, reverse Howl's Moving Castle? <laughs> Ryo was seemingly surprised by our success, but he was also clearly enjoying himself. His face lit up with something like wonder. It was a reaction he'd usually keep buried deep inside, but I was seeing his true nature. I almost giggled. It's strange, though, holding hands like this with you. It honestly feels kind of nice. Really nice. Well, kind of exciting, <laughs> too. Okay, then. We landed on an even higher ledge. Yeah, all right, Game Prince. Phil wobbled a little as we made our jump. It seemed like he needed some time to get used to having his body manipulated by my powers. God. This... Th they should just name this chapter the chapter of innuendos. Listen up. <laughs> Bless it. <laughs> just trust in my psychokinesis. I swear I won't drop you. Psychokinesis ni mi o makaseru ka. Yoshi. Oh god. But it shoved our brains in the gutter with the goddamn with his goddamn weird Kabe Don. And now and now it's just like just throwing lines to drag us right back down into the gutter. Okay, let's see for that ledge over there. We synced our breathing, then jumped. Ryo was a quick learner and his jumps were strong and true. We still had some distance to cover, but I didn't think Ryo would mind. He just seemed thrilled about having the chance to share my powers. He held my hand tightly so we wouldn't get separated. His grip felt strong and reliable, enveloping mine. Come to think of it, this is the first time I've ever held a man's hand. The realization was only hitting me now. Suddenly, I felt... Break my nose. I squeezed Ro's hand playfully, reflexively, and he turned to me with a playful grin. What? What makes you say that? No! What? No way! <laughs> what kind of guy even says something like that to a girl? I don't think that has anything to do with it, Game Prince. Shake and I tried to yank my hand away out of reflex. Oh, <laughs> that, we would drop him if we did that. It sounds like a joke. Let's just get to the next ledge, alright? We crept towards the roof ledge by ledge, lightly bickering the entire way. <laughs> I'm actually having fun. I felt like everything to do with the vectors, the blooms, and the rest of it belonged to another time, another place. I glanced to my side and saw Ryo there smiling. Yeah, pop sweaty mom spaghetti. There's vectors in my colony already. <laughs> His eyes met mine. Omae wa ii na. Rude. Why, why did you just come out all of a sudden and say that? What? His words surprised me. My, my heart pounded. Does he mean he envies me because of my superpowers? That would make sense, right? It was my best guess based on the situation. I just have to make sure I don't get the wrong idea. There's nothing romantic attached to that comment. Is there? Heck, just the other night he made that clever crack about not liking kids. God! Just... Oof. If I got the wrong idea about his intention, he'd mock me forever. But those two simple words from Ryo had me all shook up. Just like a kid, frankly. Uh, um, I don't know. <laughs> I have to turn on the light, actually. It's getting a little... My apartment. Yeah, this is going some interesting places. We finally made it to the top of the building. We located the drone, retrieved it, and returned safely to the ground. To be honest, I would have loved to stay a bit longer and take in the view from the rooftop, but Ryo wanted to check out the drone ASAP. Ryo started tinkering with it immediately, assessing it for damage. I stood and watched him quietly. Is it okay? Is it broken? Ah, 
落ち方によっては壊れていてもおかしくなかったから Real seemed greatly relieved I couldn't help feeling the same Oops, the same That's what I see Oh, I'm so glad お前のおかげだオンに切る Aww. Oh, he said my name. As far as I knew, that was the first time Rio would ever call me by my first name. Maybe I'm starting to squeeze some respect out of him. That makes me very happy. I thought about last night again. Okay, thank you, Stone by Circle. I'll see you later. Then, feeling a little smug, I grinned at Rio. No need to thank me. But now we're even for the shelter you gave me last night. <laughs> Just glad to be of service. Something between us seemed to lighten up. The mood was relaxed, almost friendly. Our conversation continued. Is there anything else you need to do here? Let me know how I can help you out. But then, Ryo. Yeah. His face suddenly hardened. He shook his head. Oh. Uh, but. Oh. His words cut straight to my core. Rose's intense mood swing was as hurtful as, this was, as it was baffling. We were laughing together only moments before. I thought we were warming up to one another. Was I reading too far into things? Why are you being so all of a sudden? I rolled around and faced the unexpected voice. It belonged to Ibuki, who should have been back in Tao. We also were missing! Huh? Ibuki? Ibuki ignored Ryo's death glare as he walked up to us calmly. I froze up for a moment. I hadn't expected to encounter Ibuki here. He said he was looking for me, but how did he track me here? I tried to get over my shock as Ibuki shifted his gaze between Ryo and I. He seemed amused. Huh? Ah, Ah, uh, the way he said that, it sounds like he's surprised by Ryo's actions, not mine. Ibuki's words suggested he was surprised to see Ryo in the company of another person, period. My presence was irrelevant. Was it that weird for Ryo to have company? I tried to think of why that'd be the case. Ibuki casually dismissed Rose's denial before turning to me, concern written on his face. Yeah, we really weren't thinking. I tensed up when I heard Lise's name. I thought about how I'd just left her in Tao without so much as a goodbye. I was away all night and I didn't even tell Lise where I was going. Oh. Oh. We really weren't thinking about any of this, were we? Oh, well, we're in 3 1 now. Yay! I not only upset Lise, but I also inconvenienced Ibuki. I felt terrible about all of it. I'm so sorry, Ibuki, and what I did to Lise was horrible. I'll head back immediately. Ibuki nodded slightly, then he shot a pointed look at Ryo. What? Oh, what? Everyone's enemy? Ibuki's choice of words made me shiver a little. I know Ryo's not really on the Blooms or the Vector's side, but why go as far as to call him everyone's enemy? Can't be true, can it? I turned to Ryo, hoping that he'd adamantly deny the accusation. Ryo. My hopes withered. Ryo neither confirmed nor denied what Ibuki said. He simply frowned, his face dark. I fell silent at Ryo's non-response. I was filled with restless unease. Hey, aren't you gonna shoot back at him? Please, say something. Anything. This time, my prayers seemed to reach him. After a long silence, Ryo opened his mouth. Oh, well... That's not really the uh, response I wanted. There was a piercing finality to Ryo's words. When Ryo told me not to come back, I suddenly realized I really enjoyed spending time with him. I couldn't say why it was enjoyable. Maybe it was because everything was so new and, and exciting. Ryo's tools and machinery, sleeping in a tent. 
Yeah, the new experiences were part of it, but spending time with Raoul was what really made it fun. My memory recalled the boyish smile Raoul let slip when he flew the drone earlier. I want more. With Raoul, I want... Sa. My thoughts evaporated when Ibuki called out to me. I wasn't even sure how that thought would have finished. Ryo mo kaere to itte iru koto da shi. Hayaku iko. Oh. Ibuki took my hand and tugged at me with surprising force. I couldn't stop him, but I turned back to Ryo. He looked like his old reserved self, but when we made a eye contact, I could sense inner conflict. Are you really our? Are you really our enemy? If that's the case, what are you trying to do? I wanted to stay, but Ibuki was pulling and Ryo was pushing. I couldn't stick around. I, I let Ibuki lead me away from Ryo as regret ate at my core. Will I ever see him again? A deep loneliness filled my chest with pain. Well, that's weird. Ibuki continued to hold my hand as we walked back to the colony. Um, Ibuki, you can let go of my hand now. Hmm? でも、話さなくても大丈夫だよね。ああ、guess there's so much we don't know about. He finally let go of my hand. If I hadn't spoken up, I think he would have held it all the way back to Tao. By the way, how did you know where to find Rail's tent? I was curious how Ibuki had known exactly where to find me. Huh? タウから最寄りの拠点。寮は他にも拠点を持っているみたいだけど、僕が場所を把握しているのはあそこだけだよ。あ？レオ外に出たんだろうと思って探しに行った。うん。目撃情報くらい聞けるかもしれないと期待して、寮の最寄りの拠点を訪ねてみたんだ。Apparently, uh -huh. Ibuki had only come out this way to gather an eyewitness report of my whereabouts, but he found exactly what he was looking for. 僕からも聞いていい? どうして君は寮と一緒にいたの? I felt embarrassed talking about it. After all, I was with Ryo because I'd been stalking him. I responded reluctantly. He's such a mister. Uh, he's such a mysterious guy, you know. He made me so curious. I just had to follow him. It didn't take him too long to notice me. But then he let me tag along. When it got dark, he let me stay the night in his tent. My explanation seemed to give Ibuki pause. He looked upset for a moment. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe drop the stalking thing. Come to think of it though, Real really is odd. He let me follow him and even talked with me. Even the half day I'd spent with Real made me feel like I understood him a little more. He wasn't one to give up his secrets that easily though. After all, Ibuki made it sound like he knows Real's true nature. Hey, just how well do you know Real uh, anyway? Like, what's he working towards? You know, things like that. What, what is it? さっきは寮のことを敵だって言ったけれど、僕は彼がどんな立場であっても役に立つなら構わないんだ。でもね、君があのまま寮と一緒にいたらきっと悲しむことになる気がする。Something made it harder to deny what Ibuki was saying. My response was defiant, but fell flat. You don't... you don't know that for sure. そうかな。現に今君はすでに浮かない顔をしているよね? I was shocked when Ryo told me to stay away. I really enjoyed spending time together and helping him with this work. 
君はこれ以上寮に関わらない方がいい彼もそれを望んでいるはずだよ Ibuki gazed off into the distance. Was he suggesting I could take on Ryo if it was ever. Oh, was he suggesting he could take on Ryo if it was ever necessary to do so? Or was he saying he didn't care about Ryo's activities and the consequences? I wasn't really sure. I'll wind up very sad, will I? Ibuki's casual tone couldn't hide the note of concern in his voice. Maybe he was saying that one day Ryo's activities would result in a future that's at odds with any kind of future I'd want. I looked up. A thin screen of gray, gloomy clouds blotted out the sky as usual. Every breath I took burned in my chest. Gray and gloomy. That's exactly how I feel right now. When we got back to Tao, I left Ibuki and went straight to see Lise. I'm back. Lise barreled over to meet the first sound of my tentative greeting. Yatukaitekita! Lise's face was, face was tight with exhaustion. I felt a wave of guilt wash over me. Lise, I'm so sorry I didn't come back last night. You must have been out of your mind with worry. Oh, Lise. I know, I know, I'm so sorry. I should have told you, but something came up and I left the colony. Okay, Crystal. Lise's reaction was fair enough. It was my actions that caused her to worry. Of course, I'd explain everything to her. Yeah. That's when I realized I was running on empty. I placed my hand on my stomach. Now that you mention it, I haven't eaten since dinner. I'm starving. Wait, you have it? Oh no. Suddenly, I was very cognizant of, of how much my actions affected Lise. I'm sorry, I won't keep secrets from you anymore. Finally, Lise stopped frowning. Her face softened. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's have lunch. Thank you, Lise. Lise grabbed some plates from the back of the room and placed them on the table with a proud grin. Pancake Mock pancakes! Wow! I was amazed at how good the pancakes looked. I never thought I'd taste another pancake again, not as long as I was in Tao. Hi, hey, baby. Hi, hey, baby girl. ここではあんまり材料も手に入らないんだけど、どうにかそれらしく作ってみたよ。食べてみて。Yep, let's dig in. Excuse me. I took a bite. The pancakes were sweet as syrup and fluffy as a cloud. So good, these are incredible. <笑>喜んでもらえると作った甲斐があるよ。私も食べようっと。I couldn't remember the last time I gorged on sweets. We polished off the pancakes in no time. Once our meal was done, we got to discussing everything that happened yesterday. After I left, I hung out with Ryo. Did... that it? Oh, uh, remember the fairy guy? His name's... His name's Ryo Tomitsuka. I'd forgotten Lizzie had been asleep since we left Theta and only woke up when we reached Tao. She hadn't yet met Ryo face to face. She just thinks of him as some fae who comes and goes for Academy maintenance projects. Yep. It's kind of a long story. Oh god, I'm gonna cough. Hold on. I 
I explained that Ryo actually worked as support for the Blooms, but now he was somehow involved in the Vector's matters. I also threw in the part about Ryo's mysterious air and how I wound up sleeping in his tent last night. Yeah. Crazy, right? At first I was like, really? The maiden's fairy? Talk about a surprise! Well, a lot actually, but it all but it seems like Real still has secrets he's hiding. As I gave voice to my thoughts, Real looked at me with a vexed expression on her face. Oh god, Lise, please! Please, eh? Something? Like what? I thought about how Ryo brushed me off as a kid and my cheeks started burning. Of course, Lisa saw my face light up. <gasps> oh no. Well, I do like the Uwus better. So I think I would have to choose an Uwu. Nothing happened, nothing whatsoever. You'd be shocked at how little happened. I triggered Lise's insatiable appetite for boy-related gossip. I'd never get her off the subject now. <gasps> I gave her a few minutes to simmer down, not put her in a better state to consider what I was actually saying. それにしても、あの妖精さんにそんな裏の顔があったなんて驚きだよ。結局妖精さんが何者なのかはわからないままだけど、私たちは、あんまり良くない立場の人ってことになるのかな。yeah, based on what Ibuki said, I think you're right. <laughs> oh, blessings. My response sounded more like a sigh. You think so too, huh? Am I feeling down? Am I sad? But why? The only reason that added up was that I was hurt by Ryo's harsh words earlier. I, I guess I'm still a bit shocked. But I didn't blame him. I was just a hindrance, so it made sense for me to leave him alone. I knew that, so... Why did I still feel empty inside? Until now, I just figured Rose the type of person you can't really get to know. But yesterday, I saw a whole different side of him. He smiled when I helped him, he teased me a bit, and there were moments when he was just bursting with childlike joy. I saw the real real for the first time, and I connected with him. I felt it. I just... I couldn't quite put what I was thinking into words, but at least I seemed to be able to. Yeah, maybe you're right. He opened up to me and it made me feel like we were getting... we were growing close. But when Ibuki had accused Ryo of being everyone's enemy, Ryo hadn't denied it. Which meant I was technically his enemy, too. In other words, Ryo wanted me to know the goodwill between us was totally one-sided. He'd been putting up with me the whole time. I guess I'm feeling... I guess if I'm feeling this sad, it means I'm disappointed I couldn't get closer to Ryo. Talking to Lise helped me sort out my feelings. But it was too late, and I resigned myself to that. So, <sighs> What? But he told me not to come back. Lisa is wonderful. She is wonderful. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah, it's up to me to decide if he really is a bad guy. Yeah, Lisa, you're right. Lisa. Lisa's advice was sound. It made the gloomy world I was wallowing in brighten with sudden promise. Yeah, Lisa's right. Ibuki's statement shook me up, but I just accepted everything without digging deeper. I'll get an answer directly from him. Then I can decide if he's my enemy or not. Thank you, Lisa. You really helped me sort out my feelings. I'm going to see Ro once more. Hmm? 
Izzy smiled at me, clearly happy. I had my mojo back. But, like, we're not gonna go right away, right? Like, we're gonna give it a couple days, right? Nope! Nope, we're just going right the fuck back. Oh, three, two. Wow. Yeah, we're definitely gonna be able to finish this tonight. When morning arrived, Lise saw me off. Hello! Captain, thank you so much for stopping by. Hope you have a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time it is for you. Ah. Uh, um, lo siento. No habla español. Uh, when morning arrived, Lisa saw me off. I headed back to where I'd last seen Real. I wonder if he's at the same location as yesterday. He might have moved on now that I know where he is. Well, I'll cross that bridge when I come to it. I'll head to the old camp and gather my thoughts. I was feeling more positive after a good night's sleep. I tried not to think too many steps ahead. Well, this could be bad. Is this one where we're gonna get a CG? This is a CG. Okay, so the the twos we get a CG. So one 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 two 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 three two four two and then the end. Okay. We're doing good. We're doing good. I left Tao, scanned my memories, and chose my direction based on what I remembered. Soon a familiar tent appeared on the horizon. Rose tent! It's still here! I was relieved to see it was still intact. I hurried over as quickly as I could. Is Rio still here? There was no sign of him through the tent window. Even the campfire had been snuffed out. I was disappointed to see he wasn't home, but I knew he could still be nearby. I roused myself and started scouting around. After a bit of a walk, I spotted the familiar figure of, of someone a little while, a little way off. Ah, it's Rio! Rio stood alone, gazing up at the sky. Oh, is he flying the drone again? No, I don't think he's holding the remote control. I followed Rio's gaze, but only saw the heavy gray clouds overhead. Rio didn't pick up my presence. He reached into his pocket, which drew a small object. Oh. What's that? Is that a pendant of some kind? Rio lifted the pendant to the sky, then stood still. He appeared to be deep in thought, or maybe he was praying? Either way, his face looked so sad. I felt my chest tighten with emotion. Then... I suddenly felt a jolt of alarm, as if Rill would vanish forever if I didn't intervene. Before I knew what I was doing, I ran over to him. Rill! I shouted his name with abandon. He turned when he turned, and when he saw me, his face grew stricken. Oh my! A severe frown overtook his features. Yeah, I recall you saying something to that effect. My response was belligerent, but I felt like it needed to be, or Rail would win our emotional struggle. And after seeing how sad and lonely he was, I was determined to stay by his side. I pointedly ignored Rose glare as I approached him. I wanted to talk to you again. You agreed when Ibuki said you're everyone's enemy, but I need to hear it straight from you. What makes you a bad guy? Tell me. Once I've heard what you have to say, then I'll decide if you are or not, but not before. Rio needed to know I was determined to stand my ground, so I matched his glare without ever diverting my eyes. Hmm. The stare down seemed to last for an eternity, but it was Rio who cracked first. <sighs> Maybe. I think she wants me to open the blind so she can sit on the windowsill. So uh, I'll be back in two seconds. She's going to keep meowing at me if I don't give her what she wants. Yep, that's what she wanted. <laughs> that is what the girl wanted. There was somebody moving. There's somebody moving in or something. One of the apartments. She's like, there's people and sounds. I must see. 
Ba, ba, ba. Okay, there we go. We're back. We're back. <clears throat> Hearing him say that made me smile. Heck yes, it is. You finally figured that out. Gojo no no k e k o d a o r e no h a n a s h o kita, k o k a i t o mozo. No, I won't. And I meant it. I believed that, however ugly, I believed that no matter how ugly the truth turned out to be, I would regret turning away from it far more. Nara tsuite koi. Anasio Surinara, Tentoni Hairzo. Mm hmm.、Uh, okay. I tried to keep my excitement over my victory inside, but Ryo likely heard the joyful note that slipped into my voice. I was just glad he hadn't outright turned me away. I followed him to the tent, resisting the urge to strut. We entered the tent and Ryo turned, pulled out two bottles of water. He handed one to me. Nome. Bitchkuno Hoson Sidaga, Mazuku and I. Thank you. I took the bottle of water. Unsure of what to do, I parked myself on the bed. Ryo retrieved some kind of device from the desk and sat on the chair as he fiddled with it. Sate, Mondaida. Koreva Nanda Tomo. He showed me the device. He showed the device to me. I gazed at the screen on its front. It looks like some kind of map, maybe? The map displayed oceans and shorelines. I knew what those were in an academic sense, but I'd never seen anything like he was showing me before. What's in a map up, though? Mm-hmm. Ryo tapped his finger on the screen. Mm-hmm. Third plant? My brows knitted together as I repeated the phrase. ああ。だがその小規模なコロニー軍やシータを含め Oh. The third planet? Third planet from the sun? We're the fourth planet from the sun, aren't we? No, we're the third planet from the sun. <laughs> I was like, there's another planet? No, there's not. It's Mercury, Venus. No. Mercury, Mars, Venus. Fuck! Um. No, okay, I got. It's Mercury, Venus, Earth. Yeah, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars. Yeah, so we are the third planet from the sun. So is that what he means by the third planet? Rio pointed to the specific area on the map. I could see a small island located besides a larger landmass. Oh, nope, that's not what he means at all. I held my breath as I studied the map, stunned by what I was seeing. All the colonies are contained within this third plant, and the third plant is this tiny island? So, this is a map of the entire world? Ah. There's a lot of the third plant. If you look at it, the third plant is a little bit of a The third plant is. It's. What? The outside world? I mumbled in disbelief. I heard what Ryo was saying, but the words just wouldn't sink in. The reality he was pitching was so far removed from everything I knew, I couldn't process it. A spy. It was a loaded word, and Ryo was feeling freely labeling himself with it. Blooms go to Gaiju go and it's either Niju spy or state at a kid and a good. Just say was Sanju spy that that the cotoda. Oh, my God. Dice and Puranto de Niju spy or state a no more. Soto Carano are she may not come at that. Orders? My voice was trembling, but I managed to sneak the word past my shaking lips. Shimei no naiyo madewa akase nai. Tada. 
Ryo's heart gaze softened for a moment. My heart made a cry that, it could, that I couldn't voice. I wanted to speak, but I couldn't form words. All I could do was sit, lip quivering. Rose suddenly seemed nervous. He took a deep breath and drank from his water bottle. So, Rose's question was almost comical. I understood nothing. I had no idea what to think. So this is a map of the whole world. And the colony I was born and raised in is just a tiny dot on a tiny island? When I first left Theta, the world seemed to sprawl on forever, but I'd only seen a speck of what it offered. The world I knew didn't seem the t least bit tiny to me. My mind simply wouldn't accept that the actual world was so, so much bigger. <laughs> Yep. Well then. Well then. I thought back to what Ryo said when we left Theta and traveled to the Vector Colony. The full weight of his words started to sink in. <clears throat> Ryo says he's from the outside world, so it's weird that he doesn't look much different from us. I mean, he looks like a normal human. He claims he's essentially an enemy from a totally foreign land, but... Real seemed completely normal. I couldn't picture him as anything but normal. As I stared at him, Real narrowed his eyes in irritation. Um, Real are you human? Oh my Mata Oh, no, I'm sorry. So you're human. I guess I'm having trouble grasping the ideas of hum the idea of humans living outside of the colonies. How many people live in this outside world? So So why are we like this? I guess people will settle wherever they can. Wow, there must be countless people out there. I was honestly shocked. It felt like too much new info was being stuffed into my head at one time, and my brain was about to burst. But if Real really was our enemy, why hasn't he done anything that'd make him seem like a bad guy? Nothing that Real's done up until this point, including the time we spent yesterday and today, indicates that he wants to harm us. Ibuki said he was bad. Ryo even said so himself. But I couldn't regard him as a threat. Maybe that was the reason why. You keep contradicting yourself. Who? Hmm. You don't seem hostile. Oh, okay, that was the wrong question. You, you just don't come across as hostile. I mean, it's just not something I can believe. Real smiled wryly and shrugged. <laughs> Oh. So he says, but if that's what he believes, why give me such a warning? I didn't say as much, but I had a feeling the heart of Ryo's mysterious character lay in that warning. Maybe he didn't actually want to do anything that would hurt the third plant. At least that's how I read the expression on his face. I better change the subject so I can get as much information from him as possible. I thought back to what I saw Ryo doing before I called out to him. That's right, he was looking at that pendant. He seemed so sad. Maybe it was something important to him. Um, I saw you looking at something earlier. Was that a pendant of some kind? I have a pendant, too. A memento of my parents. It's really precious to me. Does the one you were wearing... You were looking at mean a lot to you, too? Ryo seemed surprised for a moment before he awkwardly looked away. Oh, so that. It was a pretty dismissive response. Hmm, maybe I better left that topic be. I thought asking a question might change the subject, but I guess that's not a good one. I felt 
quite bad about Rio's reactions, so I decided not to press the issue any further. Rio also seemed to be done with the conversation. He went to the tent's entrance and opened it up. Yeah, once again, we did not tell people we were going. Rio's tone was cold and final. Resigned, I nodded. Okay. I started to head out into out of the tent, shoulders slumped. If I leave now, I get the feeling that we'll never meet again. I remembered how I thought the same thing yesterday. I was scared we wouldn't meet again, but look! We're together here and now because Ryo is in the same spot I left him yesterday. I came to a stop as realization washed over me. Why are you still here? I didn't tell him. It's alright, it's alright. Uh, I'm about like 90% better. I'm still a little congested, as you can probably hear. But uh, it's not, it's not too bad. How you doing, Phantom? It's good to see you. God, we just got the most bonkers... Back... We just got the most bonkers new information of this story yet. That just blew literally everything out of the water. Yeah, yeah, I feel pretty alright. My fever's fully broken. Um... I am not dripping snot like a faucet. And my cough is only occasional now. Uh, we basically learned that um, the whole world isn't post-apocalyptic. Um, we are in a we are in a dome inside of a dome. The major dome called the third plant hosts has Theta, our big colony, and all of the other colonies. And it's only in the area of Tokyo, basically. And uh, the rest of the world isn't like this, apparently. And Ryo is from that outside world. He has infiltrated his... He's a spy. Uh, so he's a three-way spy. Um, he, his orders were to infiltrate this colony... And, um... We don't know what exactly for, but he's, uh... He's, he's, this is, this is really, really interesting. We're at 3-2 already. But we're gonna be able to finish this. Oh no! He's an enemy. He's everyone's enemy, though. That's not what I mean. You already knew about this base. I already knew about this base, so I figured you probably wouldn't be here when I came looking for you today. But here you are. You never moved on. Rose stood frozen with one hand on the tent flap. Um, real? I examined his face, which had taken on a confused, conflicted expression. Yeah. His gaze wavered slightly as if he was suddenly uncertain about everything he believed. He literally told us that what he's doing, what he's what he's been, you know, contracted to do, the information he's giving the people outside, is not going to have anything good for anybody that lives here in the third plant. This, this is just one possibility, but could Ryo have stayed behind because he hoped he'd get to talk to me one last time? Is that why he's still in this spot? If that was the case, then we still had common ground that we could use to understand each other. Uh... Real sense where I was heading and cut me off with a curt denial. You still haven't answered me. My options were dwindling. If I left now, I knew Real would be gone for good. I don't want to. I have to say something, but what's left to say? You're not an enemy to me. I just can't see you as my enemy, Real. I can't do it. In the end, I just repeated the feelings that burned brightest in my heart. I'm just saying what I feel. If that makes me a kid, then I'm a kid. Ryo flung open the tent's flap, 
A tense entry flap, signaling that the conversation was well and truly over. Take it. He pushed my back to hurry me out. I was dumped unceremoniously outside the tent. Hmm. Man, I wanted to talk longer. But I don't think Frill will say another word to me, no matter how long I hang out around here. I guess that's that. You and I will never see each other again. It was a sad realization, but I didn't have the luxury of standing around to mope. The sun would be setting before much longer. The outer world. I looked up at the sky distractedly. I was quite a way it was away from Theta. But then I realized I wasn't very far if the third planet the third planet really was so small. When he looked at the world as a whole, it wasn't much of a distance at all. The enormity of the world suddenly weighed down on me, and I trembled from the pressure of it. I felt as insignificant as an insect against the vastness of the world outside. A nameless fear started rising up inside of me. Welcome to Existential Dread, Game Prince. It's terrifying to even think about. And yet, I wasn't sure what I was afraid of exactly. But my spirits heavy, I began to make the trip back to town. Every step felt like a chore, but I forced one foot in front of the other. I managed to make it back to the colony before it got dark. Okay. Ibuki appeared to greet me upon my return. Apparently, he had been waiting for me. Uh, yeah. First, Ryo, now Ibuki. Why does everyone feel like they're treating me like some kind of, like some idiot kid? Do I really come across as that childish? I know I've been naive about the truth behind this world, but still. Then I paused. What was Ibuki's deal anyway? Before Ibuki, when he was Moravia. Before Ibuki, when he was Moravia, told me he didn't, he didn't know anything. By telling me to avoid Ryo, was that an unspoken admission that he knew something? Hey Ibuki, do you know anything about... The third plant. Ibuki answered casually, as if he if I as if I just asked him about the weather. I I felt like I'd been knocked askew. Yeah, we're a high schooler. <laughs> so then you also know that Ryo's from the outside world? Hmm, sounds like what he told me yesterday. Yeah, yeah, no, we are still kid. Yesterday, you said that you have a good idea about Ryo was up to, right? Well, I want you to tell me what you think it is. Huh? Hmm. Ibuki looked conflicted for a second, as if unsure if he should proceed. Please tell me. I can't stand to be kept in the dark a second longer. I gazed into Ibuki's eyes, hoping he'd see how upset I was becoming from having the truth withheld from me. He hesitated, then nodded. Wakatta. Well then. Huh? Ibuki's calm tone clashed with the with his terrible suggestion. At first I couldn't fully process what he was telling me. Then the weight behind his words started to sink in. My heart thumped painfully at the implication. Destroy it? What makes you believe that exactly? How did Ibuki reach that conclusion? I wasn't sure how well he and Ryo knew, Ryo knew each other, but he sounded so sure. I, I shivered. Mm-hmm. It's not impossible, apparently. Once again, I was awestruck by Ibuki's capabilities. Ibuki can probably do anything he wants. Ah, thank you for head pass. He seemed lost in thought for a moment. Mm-hmm. 
第三プラントを利用しようとしているという理由が妥当なところだと思うよ。Use the third plant, but you just said Ryo wants to destroy it. That was kind of the opposite of what Ibuki was suggesting. He just shrugged. Ryo するために侵略されれば滅ぼされるも同然だよ。ただし、それは第三プラントに利用価値がある場合だけだ。Okay, and that's why he's getting samples and stuff. Ryo 利用価値がないと判断されれば、oh, well. 文字通り滅ぼそうとしてくるだろうね。It was too terrible to think about. Still, I couldn't dismiss what Ibuki was suggesting. That's true, they have no right. Bokuno Hanashiwa Sweetie de Hokan stayed to Koromo Arukara. Honto ni se kai kado kawa hakiri s h i n a i k e d I raised an eyebrow. So this was Ibuki's guesswork? You don't know the real truth then? Hotondo se kai to Kawaranai kotai niwa tadori tsuite iru hazakara. Shitterno to onaji o na mono deo. That made sense. Sort of? <laughs> it's not. If that's the conclusion you've come to, that doesn't mean it's the truth. If I. That, 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 we're back to the back, black and white box problem. We, we circle right back to the black and white box problem, in which, if you don't know the black and white box problem, is one person stands in. There's a box. One face of it is white, one face of it is black. Um. One, and so you have two people who don't know what's going on on the other side of the box stand in front of one of the, one of the、um, faces, the white face or the black face. The person who's standing in front of the white face, their truth, if, if we follow Ibuki's thoughts, their truth is that the box is white. But the person standing on the side that's seeing the black face, which is a bad word. Is a bad way of wording it, but I, I can't think of any other way to word it. The black face of the box. Their truth is that the box is black. They're both correct and they're both wrong at the same time. Just because that's the conclusion you've come to doesn't mean it's objective truth. So, did you say anything about the truth? Yeah, so Ibuki. That's just that I'm just coming to a conclusion a bit more slowly than I would if I heard the truth firsthand. So, your conclusion is not the truth. You're, you're, it's, a secondhand, it's a secondhand truth, which is not the same thing. That, that's not really a truth. That's a, that's a conclusion. That is an opinion. A secondhand truth is not a truth. Other than the only way it would be a truth is this is my, this is how I experience these events. It, like, if someone says, I'm going right, but because of where you're looking at them, they, turn, they look like they're going left. The truth is, the person went right, but your experience of it is that it went left. So that's your truth. But then there's also the objective truth. Yeah. But I mean, but he's saying this is the, this is the truth of what's going on, but it's, it's, just, the, it's just what he thinks is going on. I, It, it's mmm, Ibuki. Mmm, you're, you're all schmutzy futzy with your morals. My chest constricted painfully again as I recall my conversation with Ryo. He said he had no intention of seeing any of us ever again. Hmm. So, then, Ryo, I'm going to get the information from Ryo. I'm going to get the information from Ryo. Ibuki's tone suggested that he didn't really care about Ryo's presence one way or the other. But then he paused and looked thoughtfully far into the distance. Time for what? Yeah. His move? You mean destroying the third plant? Ibuki understated everything as usual, but if he was right, then something terrible was coming. So things are about to get pretty bad, right? How can you stay so calm at a time like this? We need to do something. Otherwise. I was starting to panic, but Ibuki just let out a confident chuckle. <laughs> uh, duh! Who wouldn't be freaking out? I don't get why you think this is funny. Ibuki seemed more interested in making fun of my freak out than he was in the danger looming over the third plant. Mine, you know, it's a 僕は亮がどんな立場であっても
役に立つなら構わないんだ。No、だから好きにさせておいたんだしね。No、逆に、役に立たなくなるなら、yeah. もう用はない。いいや、別に。Oh, それが運命なら、僕は構わないよ。It was the exact opposite of me, what I was thinking. Ibuki shrugged. His apathy left me speechless. If that was his viewpoint, it'd be of no help. Even if you don't care, what about Hyuga and Yukinami? What'll happen to them if the third plan is destroyed? Doesn't that bother you? So, I'm not sure what I'm doing. I'm not sure what I'm doing. I'm not sure what I'm doing. You don't mean that. But Ibuki's expression gave no sign that he was joking. I knew I'd never convince him to care. This is terrible. I was counting on Ibuki's help to stop whatever Ryo's planning, but it looks like I won't get a thing out of him. But I have to do something. Even if I need to act alone, I won't sit here and do nothing. I had no idea how far I'd get by myself, but I knew I had to stop Ryo at all costs. Fine. If that's how you feel, then I'll just stop Ryo myself. Ibuki chuckled at my declaration. I blinked. I hadn't thought about it that way. At least not in such grand terms. I do, though. I want to save the third plant and everyone who lives here. But I also want to... My lips started moving the second the realization hit me. I also want to save Ryo. Criminy, criminy. All right. Hey, baby, you heard that too. Somebody dropped something, but it sounded like there's somebody at the front door. I ain't no squeaky. Ibuki raised an eyebrow in surprise. I hadn't spent a lot of time here with Ryo, but it was still more than I had in Theta. And I couldn't forget his smile. I'm sure that Ryo was suffering. I'm sure that deep down, he doesn't want to destroy the third plant. If he really does bring an end to this place, I'm sure it'll torture him afterwards. I don't want him to go through that. I couldn't name the feeling that overwhelmed me. I, I just didn't want Ryo to suffer. If I stood by, nothing would ever change. But if I acted, maybe I could alter fate. I have to go and find Ryo. I can decide what to do after that. But where should I start looking for him? I can't even begin to imagine where he might be now. The location of Ryo's tent was embedded in my mind, but he likely would have moved on by now. It didn't seem likely he'd visit that spot again. I was suddenly aware of the distance between us. I felt so lost. I had nowhere to turn. Ibuki watched me, smiling. It was frustrating beyond belief. Ibuki, are you actually enjoying this? I know I wear my feelings on my sleeve, but now's not the time to point it out. I resolved to ignore Ibuki as I tried once more to think about my options. I need to think about another point of contact with Ryo. The first time we met in this colony, I saw him come out of a certain building. Oh, we're going to talk to Uncle. Right, that's what he said. I had no clue where Ryo was, so... Um, but where Ryo was, so far, that mysterious building was my only lead. I vaguely recalled what direction the building was in, so I decided to head there at once. Some house, with a guy in it. No idea who. <laughs> wow, amazing. I called over my shoulder and I ran off. House? Yeah, uncle. Uh, where are we? Oh, we're at 4-1. Wow, okay, we're pretty far in now. Which building was it again? I'm sure it was around here somewhere. Huh? The colony was still crumbling buildings, but one small house seemed well maintained. No doubt someone lived there. Over there, that's it. Now sure of myself, I hurried over to the structure. I paused at the front door, double checked. This was the place, all right. The person Ryo was talking to definitely lives here. I couldn't imagine it was behind the door. This is the only lead I have. I can't waste time hesitating. I nervously knocked on the door. Someone answer. I don't care who at this point, please. I waited. But nobody emerged. Maybe they're out? 
flustered, I was about to knock again when the door suddenly opened and a strange man emerged. My hand froze mid-knock. The man and I stared at each other for a few moments. The man looked surprised to see my face. I stepped out of my trance and lowered my hand. Oh, uh, sorry, I was just about to knock again. Uh, hello? It was the most awkward greeting ever conducted. I was just desperate to show that I was friendly. Um, recently I moved into the area. Sorry to drop in out like this out of the blue, but I was hoping to talk to you. What'll he do? What'll I do if he turns me away from being suspicious? Anyone who lives in a place like this would have their guard up around strangers. I was trembling inside, but the man's expression softened. He's not eating the microphone in this one. That was actually a well-recorded line! Huh? He doesn't seem wary. He... The man was pleasant and calm despite my sudden arrival. It was surprising, but I wasn't going to question my good fortune. Um, do you know real? Real Tomitsuka, I mean. I saw him coming out of his house once. I'm looking for him. Do you have any info you could share with me? So, Tomitsuka kun no koto. いいだろう。それなら中に入りなさい。Normally, okay. I'd at least hesitate before entering a strange house, but the man's way of speaking felt oddly nostalgic to me. Yes, Uncle Yashima. My defense is lowered. I just get the feeling I don't need to be on high alert around this man. I wonder why. And besides, he seemed to have some idea who Rill was. Okay, thanks very much. I stepped inside the house. It was nice and tidy. Inside and well stocked with amenities for everyday life. Yeah. Well, he's not our biological uncle. Rill's tent had been nice and tidy too, but it didn't feel very homelike. It was like it was a base camp after all. The house was cozy by comparison. It was clear the man had been living in it for a long time. <laughs> he's like an auntie, but the uncle version. Not actually related to you, though. Oh, please, don't go to any trouble. I really just wanted to get some information on Ryo and then head out to find him. I didn't have time to sit around and drink tea. But I didn't want to reject the man's hospitality either, so I sat down immediately on the chair. I waited, feeling wound up. The man returned and placed a cup of tea in front of me. Thank you. I took a sip of the fragrant tea. This is really good. I felt the tension drain from my shoulders and the stiffness in my face seemed to melt away. Being with this man felt strangely relaxing. How weird. We've never even met before. The man watched me sip my tea for a moment before resuming our conversation. So, I really have to find him, but I don't know much about him. I have no idea where he might be. Then I remembered I saw Ryo at this house once. I asked him who... I once asked him who lived here, and he said I, if I wanted to know, I should see it for myself. I thought if I came here, I might find some kind of clue about where Ryo went. The man listened and let out a small sigh. <sighs> oh, it was a double-ended. It was a double-ended if you want to know. If we want to know who lives there, and if we want to know about who we are. The time has finally come, but for what? The man closed his eyes for a moment. When he opened them again, his expression was nervous. The man's tone was subdued, but I immediately noticed something odd about what he said. It's on the tip of my tongue. Oh! You just said my name, but I never told you, did I? Did you hear it from real? The man slowly shook his head. Uncle. I tried to think. I've never met this man in my life, but there's something soothing about his presence. And the way he talks. I've never heard his voice before, but something about the words he uses. A name flashed across my mind. It couldn't be, could it? Yeah, I am your uncle. It hardly seemed possible, but the name stuck. I said out loud, Are you Uncle Yashima? Ah, so da yo. Uncle Yashima answered immediately, but it took a long time for my brain to absorb it. Uncle Yashima's emails to me were written in a distinct voice that I based my guess on. I'd never heard him speak out loud until now, but I knew what he sounded like because of those emails. It's real, this is really Uncle Yashima. Then the man, Uncle Yashima, smiled gently at me. Oh, kikunatta ne. 
お前に会えて嬉しいよ。おやしま、I'm so happy to meet you too! I've been waiting, I've been wanting to forever! My excitement over meeting Uncle Yashima bubbled over the emotional toil that drove me to seek him out in the first place. Jeez, I've been dying to speak with you in person for so long. I have so many things to say to you, but now I can't even remember any of them. But what are you doing here in town? Is this where you've been emailing from me, me from this whole time? I thought for sure you were somewhere in Theta. I was having a hard time taking this. Th oh, in Theta? I was having a hard time taking this all in. Damashte ita yo de smanakata. Do we have to listen to it all again? Oh, okay. Okay, right. Let's focus on Ryo's for now, but promise me you'll tell me everything later. Absolutely. I was overjoyed to meet Uncle Yashima, but we would have time to catch up later. For now, I had to rein myself in. There was something else to focus on, and I needed to get serious about it. Uncle Yashima, do you know anything about the third plant? Uncle Yashima's eyes widened a little, as if he was surprised to hear me say those words. Yes, he told me he's from the outside world. He said he had orders of some sort. So we know more than everybody else. Well, that's, that's horrible. <laughs> that made me think about what Ibuki said about Ryo. Ibuki said that Ryo is everyone's enemy and that he plans to destroy the third plant. I don't know all the details either, but it does seem like Ryo has plans to harm the third plant and everything living here. It appears he's wrapped up his work here and he could make his next move at any moment. That's what Ibuki said, anyway. Yeah, I want to stop Ryo. So Uncle Yashima fell silent, deep in thought. Then he cleared his throat. I was a researcher in Shita. Yeah. <laughs> huh? You were? I heard that my parents were researchers who worked in the research district, so it kind of makes it made sense. トミツカ君がしばしば私のところに訪れていたのは細々とした用事を頼まれてくれたり、シータとの連絡要員としてだった。そしてその見返りというわけではないが、研究者としての立場から第三プラントの環境や外獣についての意見を聞かれていた。し
having someone come in and like take over for valuable resources, which is gonna destroy it. Yeah, love a triple agent. Um, so we've met Uncle Yashima, and we know he, we know he's Uncle Yashima, and we are trying to find Ryo because we were like, we don't think you're. We told him we don't think you're our enemy, and he was like, leave. I'm the I'm your enemy. I'm never gonna see you again. Leave. We had a lot of fun together. And we really liked him. Um, he also came on to us really oddly. Um, but that was him just teasing us, apparently. Um, but now we are trying to stop him from whatever he's doing because we're pretty certain it's going to destroy the third plant. And we're like, he would be upset if he actually destroyed the third plant. Like, you know, if he actually destroyed it, I feel like we're like, we feel like it would, um, sit on his, on his, um, on his conscience for a long time. <laughs> no. Why would, yeah, why would the commander look out for me? The nugget of info was a bit too much. He always seemed to be hiding something. When Lizzie was attacked by that vector, he acted super shady. He's a slippery The commander? Passionate? Dedicated? Admittedly, some time had passed since I met the commander. Initially, I hadn't trusted him, but I guess he had his reasons for acting the way he does. Sate, you have to ask a lot of questions, but now the situation is affected. He was working with me more than I was with Tomitsuka. トミツカ君の存在を私に教えてくれたのも彼だ。情報を持っている可能性が高い。I don't know. <laughs> Come to think of it, I also saw Ryo and the commander together. If your uncle Yashima didn't know where Ryo was, then I was left with a dead lead. I needed to pursue a different course altogether. I had no choice but to move on. Uncle Yashima, I'm going to go see the commander. I was determined to chase down Ryo with the new lead I had. I couldn't wait another moment. Uncle Yashima nodded sagely. わかった。私もまさきに連絡をつけておこう。その方がシータに戻ってからのコンタクトがスムーズにいくだろうからな。スムーズに。はい、ありがとう。オッケー、that so Ibuki figured out a fair amount of this on his own. Um, Ibuki knows that he's from the outside. Yashima knows the, that Ryo's from the outside um, because he was help. He was giving uh, Feta um, information, um, but nobody really knew that he was a spy. I Ibuki had was pretty certain that he was doing something that wasn't good for the third plant. Um, but Ibuki has no desire to stop Ryo. If, even if it leads to all of their deaths, Ibuki does not care. Which was wild. Friends? You mean the Blooms and the Commander? That's right. With everything going on, I'd forgotten that I'd left Theta without saying a word to anyone. I'm probably considered a missing person. That or everyone thinks I defected and I'm now siding with the Vectors. In either case, the first order of business was to explain myself and win back everyone's trust. It was going to be tough, but Uncle Yashima's advice was worth following. I'll do my best to get everyone to help me. I better go now. If I wanted their help, I had to act fast. I got to my feet, determined. Uncle Yashima looked apologetic. <laughs> お前が無事に目的を果たせるよう祈っているよ。Thank you. Thank you for everything. I'll come back and see you again, I swear it. Uh, I left Uncle Yashima's house feeling very glad that I visited. Excuse me. I needed to tell Lise what I was doing, so I decided to head back to our room first. That was precious, yes, but I refused to leave again without saying anything. Yeah, shit's fucked, Lise. Sort of, you were right. Talking to... Going to talk to him was the correct thing. Then things kind of went awry. I summarized my adventure for Lise.
so that's where things stand. I feel like I need to return to Theta so I can find Ryo. So, so, yeah, things are not muffin stuffing, Lise. Oh, Lise. A part of me had expected Lise to say that if I was going back to Theta, then she'd go too. But Lise understood the situation she was in and accepted it without complaint. She was strong and determined, more than I'd given her credit for. Lise was resolved about her fate. I wanted to cry. I didn't know what to say. So I simply nodded and grasped her hand. Thank you, Lise. Once everything's over, I'll come right back, I swear it. The promise was as much for me as it was for Lise. When I went outside, the dome, the dome over the colony had already shifted to its night sky projection. I guess it's night outside the colony, too. Inside the colony, it was easy enough to see by the light of the projected stars. Outside, however, was a different story. The night I stayed in Rio's tent, the darkness was so absolute that I could feel it looming over me. Oh, jeez. I know I'll have to hurry, but I should... But I should wait till morning. But I should... I know I have to hurry, but I should wait until morning. But I'll lose so much time. I felt someone approach me from behind. I whipped around to see Ibuki staying there. もしかして外に行くの？寮の居場所の手がかりでも掴んだのかな？ No, I'm still gathering intel, but you're right. I'm planning to go outside. I talked to Uncle Yashima. No, we're gonna fight with the Blooms. He said the commander will probably know where to find Ryo. じゃあこれからシータに戻ろうとしてたんだ。Exactly, but it's so dark and thinking it might be better idea to wait till morning before I go. No sense of going out just getting hurt. Oh, Kimi wa yome ga kikanai nda yo ne. Higai to shinchou nanda. Don't tell me you have fucking night vision. I have no idea if that's a compliment or an insult. Tashka ni Kimi hitori nara so nan suru ka mo shire nai kedo. Boku ga ireba, so nan koto ni nara nai yo. Will you help us, Ibuki? Boku wa yome ga kiku kara, Shita ni ikitai nara. Huh? His offer was quite unexpected. I wasn't sure how to take it. Yeah. That would be a huge help. Thanks. But why? You know I intend to stop Ro and save the third plant, right? Didn't you say you don't care about what happens to the third plant one way or another? Hmm. <laughs> oh. Mm. その結果がどうなるのかそれを見てみたいと思うオッケー Ibuki really goes his own sweet way in life Still, whatever his reasons were, I was glad for the help Ibuki, if you wouldn't mind, please guide me back to Theta 任せて Ibuki nodded and changed to Moravia in an instant 超特急で連れて行くよ and Moravia meant it. We hurried through the night. I planned to run alongside Moravia, but I couldn't hope to match her speed. In the end, she wound up carrying me part of the way. Sorry, Moravia. I hope I'm not too heavy. <laughs> I put my arms around Moravia's neck in hopes that I made it a little easier to carry. <laughs> yeah. Whoa! Moravia suddenly kicked into high gear, and we flew across the train at breakneck speed. Before much time had passed, we arrived at Theta's outer wall. Hi, Tochaku. Omotta ijo ni hayaku tsuketa na. Oh, you're amazing, Moravia. Thank you. Are? Nanka chotto tsukarete ru? No, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm not exhausted, just slightly terrified by how fast Moravia can book it. Sheesh, my heart's still pounding. But Moravia hadn't offered to bring me. But if Moravia hadn't offered to bring me, I'd still be stuck back in Tao waiting for morning. I was glad to arrive in Theta so fast. But how are we supposed to get inside there? Uh, when we left, we used a secret service tunnel Ryo knew about, but no one's here to guide us this time. I'll try to find the tunnel again. I can't think of any other way to get inside the colony. Suddenly, Moravia walked forward and gestured. Uh, what's over there? 
まずはドームの防御が薄いところを探さないと。モラビア's matter of fact tone jolted my memory. Oh, that's right. モラビア always breached Theta's dome under the colony. Getting in should be a piece of cake for her. A spot where the dome's defenses are weak? Is that how you get in and out? やり方さえ知っていれば簡単だよ。コロニーの外側がドームと呼ばれる幕のようなもので覆われていることは知ってる Well, we don't want people coming running. Of course, the shell keeps the bad air out of the colony and keeps the good air inside, right? そのドームは普通の人間には通過できないけれど、oh. 外獣や、really? 君たちブルームズのように特殊な能力を持つものなら通り抜けられるんだ。That seems like a very problematic flaw. Uh huh. It's cold outside. Normal people can't, but people like us with superpowers can? <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, we can't go where the dome is reinforced. Dakara, dome が薄くなっている箇所を探すんだ周囲を歩いていると結構見つかるものだよ Not really. Um. It's um. It's cold. And I'm okay with the cold if I'm bundled up, but sometimes the cold makes me hurt. I've never learned so much about the dome structure in my life, and what I knew now made me nervous. But if the dome was has thinner or weaker spots, doesn't that mean bad air can seep in? Take the key maintenance was steady me tied, I oh, so not that you are die job with an icon. Oops, I actually skipped her line. Ravi pointed to a particular area of the dome. It I looked, but it didn't seem any different from the rest of it. Here, really. Yeah, well, yeah, I live where it's really hot, but the cold. I prefer temperate. I prefer temperate. Ravi took my hand and gently tugged me along. Hold up. Go through the bus, three to get out of here. Whoa! The sensation of passing through something membrane like swept over me, and then I felt my body burst past it. I heard an indescribable sound behind me, and somehow I knew I'd made it. Just walk through the dome. Are we actually inside Theta now? So, that's it. Kantan that the show. Guy Heki no Honga, Hide no Kantan Dio. Toby Koyeba e Dakenan Dakara. Motomoto, Sototo no Kankyo, Kugiru Mokteki de Tsukurare Takara. Guy Teki no Shinu, Sote Ste Nainda. That makes sense. I recall an argument among the blooms that touched on this subject. How many of the others had angrily asked why the wall still wasn't reinforced? The hair ups probably figured we were the only defense necessary against the vectors. Moravia grabbed my hand and started walking. My grab my hand started walking, continued her train of thought, snapping me out of my daydream. Kore made that the guy heki o hakai ste sin yu siru koto mo dekita no ni shinakata n dakara. Bok te sin s t e k i da yo ne. Consummate gentleman? I was glad Moravia wanted to break the tension with some comic relief, but I declined to comment. May past the outer wall, Moravia leading the way. Theta was also dark inside, but unlike the outside, the sky was dotted with bright stars. In back. I knew it wasn't a good time to get mushy, but after being in Theta, but being, but being back in Theta after believing I'd never see it again, maybe shiver. So that day, what are you going to do? First, I'm going to see the commander. Uncle Yashima said he'd contact him ahead of my arrival, so I should find him in the command center. Wakatta. Yeah. So that day, I'm going to see the commander. Uncle Yashima said he'd contact him ahead of my arrival. Yeah, exactly. Of course, Moravia was our enemy once, and as far as the Blooms were concerned, she still was. But I've become so friendly, I quickly forgot Moravia is the Blooms' enemy, and now I guess I am too. Kimi ga boku no tasuke o hitsuyo to suru yo de areba, mata ai ni kuru yo. Ja ne. Moravia leapt into the air and vanished. As usual, her speed was something to behold. I forced myself to refocus and began to make my way over to the research district. That's when I remembered something else important. That's right, it's about time for Theta's curfew, isn't it? As long as the curfew was in effect, the shutter districts would be closed. No one could be out and about. Simply being out during curfew was enough to make me pretty suspicious. Streets are monitored by cameras connected to the command center. I better move or... Matsunasai! Kaori? Then Haruka, Sena, and Mocha ran up joining Kaori. This reunion is far too abrupt for my liking! I was too overwhelmed to move. Haruka appeared at me and raised her voice. 
そこにいるのは今までどこにいたんですの心配しましたのよ。Well, I'm glad they're not fighting. ほんまやで、きっちり説明してもらおうやないの。Judging by the tone of their voices, they clearly were worried about me. I felt guilty, but I was also a little relieved. I'm sorry for causing you all so much trouble. Of course, I'll explain everything, but first, where do I even begin? If I don't cover everything, they won't get it, but I don't have time to go over all of it right now. It appeared none of the blooms had any real idea of what was going on. It would be a lot simpler to get the commander to explain things. Everyone, please listen. There's a good reason why I went missing. Could I please speak with the commander first? I'm sure he'll understand what I have to say. So, no, my name. Oh, they sound cut me off. Yikes. So, they sound cut me off. Oh, they sound cut me off. Oh, they sound cut me off. Oh, they sound cut me off. I was sneaking in just minutes before with Moravia. It was impossible to deny the fact that I was the intruder the Blooms were looking for. I hesitated, unable to formulate a good explanation. My odd demeanor only seemed to make the blooms even more suspicious of my return. I won't run or hide, but please let me say my piece first. Sena and Mocha said nothing, but they shot harsh accusatory glares at me. Kotai nasai. Anta wa doko de nani o shite ita no? Oh no, the spirits took me. I had an itch and they took me. No! Give me back my body! Come on, come on. There we go, okay. Yeah, I got the spirit cube of the door, man. My plan is probably going to stall. I started to panic. Oh, jeez. What can I say to regain their trust? It doesn't look like they're going to let me explain. The, the whole issue is just so complicated. And if even if I get a chance to talk, I doubt they'll believe what I have to say about the third plant in the outside world. But my silence was taken as an admission of guilt. Mocha dropped into an attack stance. The others followed suit. Wait, please hear me out! Yeesh. We're still at 4 1, right? Yeah, we're still at 4 1. Let me jam it. I flung myself to one side, narrowly avoiding Senna's psychokinetic attack. Kaori, Haruka, and Moka followed Senna's lead and showered me with attacks. It took everything I had to evade them, and a realization hit me. This is just a warning. If the four of them combined were serious about taking me down, there's no way I'd still be alive. They didn't intend for their attacks to land. They all doubted me, yes, but they were hesitant to actually hurt me. I don't want to hurt the others, either, but I'm not, I'm not getting anything done this way. There was only one choice. I had to run. For the first time since I returned, I went on the offensive. What? I left some nearby stones with my psychokinesis and sent them flying. They exploded beneath the girl's feet. Not yet. I intended to draw the girl's attention by being flashy. As I hope, as hope, they looked down at their feet alarmed. Yes, that's my chance. When the girls distracted, I fled as fast as I could. Oh, <laughs> If I manage to shake them off, no doubt they'll go straight to the commander. Then the commander can explain everything and clear up this misunderstanding. But my ace gave a temp short lived. An attack struck the ground in front of me and sent debris flying towards me. I was trapped, and Haruka was closing in. Now I was surrounded by all four of them. There was nowhere left to run. Okay, I won't run anymore. Just let go of me. Haruka hesitated for a moment, but she is, I asked. It didn't seem likely they'd attack again. I knew they weren't aiming to really hurt me. So, well, that was my plan all along, to be honest. My shoulder slumped. I wasn't anywhere near completing my goal, but I was already exhausted beyond belief. Like I said before, I want to see the commander. I'm sure he can explain everything. Kaori was right, the comm was making an insistent sound. Kaori answered it, exchanged a few moot words, then ended the call. Yeah, if you just fucking listen to me. 
Wouldn't have been nice if the commander made his call just a few minutes earlier. In any case, it looked like I finally had clearance to see the commander. When we entered the command center, the commander came to greet us beaming. Yeah. Sorry for causing you such a headache. I bowed my head, but the commander waved away an apology, then his face grew stern. Big trouble, but I don't think it's too late to fix everything. The commander nodded, then turned to the blooms. Hi, I'm about to destroy your worldview. Oh, thank you. Okay. Yeah, None of the or others were wild about being given such an abrupt order without a single explanation. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. The word annihilation landed on the others like a weight, and they all stiffened up. The commander's tone was light, but it was obvious he wasn't joking around. The commander went on to explain the third plant. It was planet! I thought it was planet, but it was spelled plant the whole time! The third planet, the outside world, and the fact Rio hailed from that alien place. How many others seemed to have a hard time believing it all, but they clearly grasped that Rio was planning to do something terrible. They also, it also, I also explained that it had been necessary to leave Theta to save my friend who'd been attacked by Vector. I skimmed over the parts about Ibuki and taking shelter at the Vector's colony that they'd probably understand, but it was best to keep things short. Right now, we needed to find Rao and convince him to stop the destruction of the third plant. Is it plant or planet? That was what mattered most. I know this is a lot to take in, but I need everyone's help to find Rao. Yeah, yeah, I actually came here because I was hoping the commander might clue me in on where to look. So だね。君が言ったような頃にの外の拠点以外でも、シータの中にいる可能性もあるかもしれない。いくら拠点があって本人に高いサバイバル能力があったとしても。生活する以上、定期的に街で必要な物資を調達しなければならないはずだ。なるほど。ちょうど戻っている可能性もありますわね。The commander pulled out a tablet device and brought up a map of Theta. He marked several locations for me. はい、これ。トミツカ君のシータ内の隠れ家はいくつか把握しているよ。Wow, okay. The commander's tone was as casual as someone relaying a weather report. The rest of us were shocked. え、そんなんなんで知ってるん敵の男。敵の男。Cuz <笑> <laughs> I really respect the commander. フォローありがとう。まあ、できる男は置いとくとして、富塚君の行動はいろいろあれだったから。ただ シータの外となると話は別だ。さすがに僕の目も届かないから、コロニー外の拠点というのも具体的な場所はわからない。
jazz music, yeah. Harry thought maybe start to despair, but the chimera continued. Oh? I looked up at him, hope blossoming inside of me. You do? Mm. コロニーカンで行っているブッシの輸送について富塚君と話をしたことがあったんだ。うん。今思えばあれも第3プラントの調査の一環だったんだろうね。ははは。で、その時に彼がコロニーカンの輸送経路について妙に詳しく地形を把
This isn't good. If I can't keep it together, I might be able to stay transformed. If that happened, I'd probably wind up dying in the un in, in the inhabitable wasteland long before the third plant was destroyed. I'll take one more look around. If I can't find Rio, I'll head back to Theta. Suddenly, I caught... I thought I caught sight of something familiar on the horizon. No way, is that... I started to run. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. I needed to get closer to make sure, but my legs turned rubbery with exhaustion and sent me sprawling into the dirt. Still, I picked myself up and kept going. It's Rio's tent! It looked just like the tent I spent the night in. It blended so well with the landscape that it was a miracle I spotted it at all. Even so, there was no guarantee that Rio was home. I crept up to the tent, trying not to make a sound, and then I peeked through the window. Shoot, the window's blocked from the inside. I can't see a thing. I listened closely. Lis I listened closely. I could hear noises within. Someone was definitely in the tent. I knew it. Rio's here, just as the commander predicted. Confirmation in hand, I left the tent, pulled out my comm, and called back to base. Yeah. I found it! Yeah. He was right where you said he'd be. I'm impressed! Ah, okay. <laughs> 3.40am! I don't have eyes directly on him, but there's definitely someone inside the tent. I'm pretty sure it's real. Whoever's there, I'm gonna talk to him. Yeah, this could go horribly. <laughs> I knew the commander had the right idea, but what should I do? Uh, no, I've talked to him. I've talked to him alone. No, I'm going to talk to him alone. I announced my desire after, mo des after a moment of thought. My decision after a moment of thought. Yeah, maybe, but I just feel like things will go better if I talk to him by myself. I'll save calling the others as a last ditch option. Rio would understand, would understandably feel threatened if all the blooms converged on his face. He might get the idea that I didn't trust him. And if he felt like that, he was less likely to talk. My main priority was to talk Rio down and save the third plant from destruction. When the call was done, I approached Rio's tent once again. I could feel my nerves worsen with every step I took. I paused by the entrance, took a few deep breaths, and called out. Saving. 87%. We're on 4-2. Let's go. No! Roll! Are you in there? I sense movement within the tent. I'm coming in. <laughs> Why? Why? I called out a warning before slowly opening the tent's entrance. There he was. Man, I nearly killed myself looking for. Ryo didn't seem flustered or surprised by my arrival. No, he simply looked annoyed. The commander clued me in. He suspected you had a camp out here based on your past movements. Now Ryo sounded annoyed with himself too. He glanced over my shoulder. Yeah, I thought it'd be better than having all the blooms swoop in here. That's right. Still, I felt it was best for me to come alone. I stepped forward. I was desperate for him to accept the fact I didn't regard him as an enemy. Someone has joined the kingdom! So, Ferrari, thank you so much for stopping by! And thank you so much for becoming a melon! Why have you come here anyway? I, I talked to Ibuki. He said you're probably planning to destroy the third plant. And if that's the case... 
Yeah. And if that's the case, I can't turn away and just let it happen. Real, is what Ibuki says about you actually true? Real raised an eyebrow, clearly impressed. He nodded. So come on, they yawned a little. Ibuki no kangai wa atte iru. Well, damn. Danga, so come on, they wa katte iru nara. Nao sara yoku hitori dekita na. What can I say? I'm cute. O mai mo mita me ni han shite. Taigai mubo to yuka. Muda ni dokyo ga aru to yuka. Yeah. The commander also said I have guts, although he left off the more than what's good for you part. I shook my head, refocused, and explained to Riel why I was determined to see him right by myself. I'm here alone because I refuse to think of you as my enemy. I won't do it. If you carry through with your plan to destroy the third plant, that's when I know for sure that you're bad. But in my heart, I just know you have no real desire to harm it. Sono kunkyo. Something inside you is causing a lot of turmoil. I can tell. Are we really gonna therapize an adult? I mean, I guess we are. I guess we are. So it's true after all. You really don't want to do this. <laughs> well, that's not a good sign. That's not a good sign. Real suddenly started laughing. I blinked in surprise. It's so funny. あまりにもお前が甘いものでな。仮に俺が望まない使命を背負っていたとして嫌だからと言って簡単に放棄できると思うのか。それが許されるなら誰。Bill's face only hardened and his demeanor turned ice cold. それがわからないお前はやはり子供だ。That's a god. Okay. Alright. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, we are in legitimate danger. He does have a Glock. You were right, Phantom. I'm so sorry I doubted you. <laughs> oh boy, we are in danger. Hey. Real pulled out a gun and pointed it at me. Why? お前たちのように特殊な能力を持たない俺がこれくらいの準備をしていないわけがないだろう。こいつは使いたくなかったが。お前がどうしても邪魔をするというのなら仕方がない。これならお前がサイコキネスを使う前に仕留めることができるぞ。Get the gun aimed straight at me. My heart was gripped with terror. I clenched my trembling hands into fists. Yeah, no, you're not gonna do that. You won't shoot, real. I wasn't exactly confident <laughs> about my declaration. I was just trying to... I was trying to convince myself. Or more than that, I just kind of hoped it was true. Look. <laughs> I gazed starkly up into Ryo's eyes as I prayed that he wouldn't shoot. Oh god, don't shoot me, please. Oh my god. Ryo closed his mouth after that one word. They both stared each other down, waiting for the other to blink. Unfortunately, I lost when... Another wave of dizziness overtook me. Not now of all the times! The exhaustion on top of my adrenaline-filled body made my heart hurt so badly I could hardly remain standing. Ro lowered the gun when he noticed my knees starting to buckle. Oi. What's that? I couldn't help but let out a weak smile. I was afraid! He didn't shoot. He's actually worried about me. Not that I had the energy to voice the thought because my knees gave out from under me. My body was rushing to the ground. Barely conscious, I braced myself for impact. Can we check if he'd shoot us? But I never hit the floor. Instead, I felt arms encircle around my body, catching me. I slowly opened my eyes and saw Ryo looking down at me, concern written on his face. He must have seen me start to fall and caught me in time. I smiled faintly as realization sank in. I was right. You were never my enemy, Ryo. Ryo frowned at those words. <laughs> you, you, you dumb... <laughs> you dumb idiot. The sadness in his voice was all the proof I needed that he didn't actually want to destroy the third plant. <laughs> <laughs> you 
you're okay, you're okay. Laughing is a 50-50 chance of, of me coughing. <laughs> oh my god. Why? Do you want to be my enemy, Ryo? I'm the enemy. But do you want to be? Or not? That's what I'm asking you. I looked away. His painful expression told me it wasn't easy at all. It wasn't easy at all. You're lying. You're lying. It's not easy. The very last of my energy went into, went into forming that sentence. I was utterly spent. <laughs> it is, yeah. But you won't go anywhere, will you? Unreal lifted me up in his arms. I feel really sleepy. Real laid me down on the bed, and I immediately felt my consciousness slip away. Are we gonna get to hear a little bit of Oh damn. I was hoping we'd get a little bit of like Bro POV. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. But no. As soon as I woke, I remembered that I was in Rio's tent. Oh shoot. We never told the commander we were okay. He's probably said it every fucking gun he's got. Yikes, I just passed right out. I sat up, panicked, but my head hurt so badly that I was immediately forced to lie back down. <laughs> I love the, just the cheery music again. Oh, real. I was relieved to see he was still there watching me. Good, he stuck around. <laughs> Judging by the way real spoke, I could tell not much time had passed. In any case, it didn't seem like he'd done anything drastic while I was sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this looks very bad. Oh, no, Phantom, you weren't there for when he, uh, we, we've, this is the second time we've slept in his tent. Um, you weren't there for the first time in which w we were like, oh my god, there's only one bed, who's gonna sleep on the bed? And he was like, no, you take the bed. And we we're like, no, 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 we, we couldn't take the bed, we followed you here, we'll sleep on the floor. And then he cabbage-dawned us? And said, and I quote, one bed is all I need to get your gratitude. It was wild. It was wild. I had no idea what was going on. Zetanika and I were like, what, 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 what? Um. <clears throat> well, and it was a joke. He was messing with us. Cause then he literally said, and I quote, I'm not into kids. Something along those lines. I'm actually not quoting. Um, but yeah, it was, um, it was, it was wild. It was wild. I feel a lot better after that nap. I think I'm okay now. So, he wouldn't drug us, would he? Ryo handed me a cup of hot tea, yeah. Thank you. I took the tea and brought it to my lips. I gasped in surprise. It was very hot. Ryo just let out a slow sigh. Mm -hmm. Ryo spoke frankly. こんなところまで追いかけてきて。Probably. Then level with me. He's finally gonna talk. Bro looked at my beaming face and nodded. Yeah, just give it to me straight, Doc. <clears throat> Thank you. Finally, we were getting somewhere. My heart filled with joy. Ryo looked at me with softness and resumed talking. Oh, oh my. Oh, your ancestors. It was an interesting word, one whose meaning. Oh god, hold on. <coughs> Holy shit. I, I don't think we're lizards, but... What is me? I couldn't quite grasp. I wasn't even sure what it entailed. 
未来についての観察、okay. 要するに文明が進歩しまくったら人間はどうなるかを見てみようって話だ、okay. 人類が滅びずに繁栄し続けていくために第三プラントでデータを取っていたのさ、okay. He shot me. Look, they said with me so far. I nodded silently. Dai san Puranto, a Sai Shokara Kagaku no Sui or Atsmete, Sai Koho no Puranto to Ste Kenset Sarata. E Shok Ju Ikiruno ni Hitsiona Subetega, Puranto Nai de Makanero System Ga Kochik Sare, Nani Fujiu Nai Kankyo Ga Totono Tita. Sokoni Sumu Ningen wa Gai Kaito no Seshoko Tachi, Dai san Puranto no Naka Dake de Han Yesta. やがて人々は外のことを忘れていった。Okay, that makes sense. だが、繁栄を極めた代償なのか、滅びの道をたどるのも早かった。Uh-huh. 第三プラントの環境は徐々に汚染され、人間の住めない区域が広がっていった。Uh-huh. そしてお前も知っている通り、最終的にはコロニー内でしか生きていけない。現在の環境になってしまったんだ。Oh. Where it's felt too enormous to be real. But what reason did he have to lie now? Somehow I sense that he was telling the truth. So the people of the outside world have been watching the third plant all this time? Ah, Dai San Pranto, Han Men Kyoshi, Jiminy Christmas. Oh my. We're an example of what not to do. So we only existed as a guide on how to avoid doom for the people on the outside. I feel conflicted to say the least. Yeah. Yeah. Because we can't live anywhere except inside the colonies? Ah. Soto no ningen ni tote no dai san pranto wa. 実験場としての価値があるかどうかだけだ。それにいつ第三プラントの環境汚染が外にまで広がるかわからないと不安視する声もある。価値がないなら害しかない。価値があれば引き続き観察を続けていくが、価値がないと判断されれば廃棄すべきだという議論が持ち上がっている。Yikes. Rage bubbled up inside of me. How dare they? That's horrific. They have the gall to think of us as nothing more than lab rats? Yeah. So, Mono, a tozenda. Daga, Orea, each bun of one can hanua, do she o monocata. So, stes on a handan no zehua, Satain a Dyson Purantoni senu ste, Kimeru cotoni nata. And that's you. Ah, Katste Dai San Puranto Scutta Ningen no Shiso Oretach no Ichisokuni, Shirahano Yagatta. Call me the Oreva Dai Kazok no Naka de Sodatanda Gaki no Koro, a Kazokuna Uzatai Jikimo Attanga Imawa Kakegai no Nai Monota to Jikan Stiru. Something in Rio's eyes softened. It was clear he thought a lot of his family's background. Sounds like your family is wonderful. So, then. Shashin Miruka. Oh, Ro pulled out his pendant, opened it up, and showed me what was inside. The picture was of children, a mom, and a dad. Everyone's faces were lit with smiles. Orewa Kono Daijina Kazakuni. Satain to you, Omoi Yakuario Oshisketaku Nagata. Dakara Shigan Sirkotoni Standa. I see. Hold on one second. I return, I return. I didn't have a Kleenex with me. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. I needed to grab a Kleenex, but I didn't have the box with me. Yeah, he's a family man. We've been telling. Well, no, he doesn't have a family. 
It, he, he doesn't have a wife and kids. That's him as one of the kids. So he decided to come here in order to protect his family. He was certainly a loyal son. That much was clear to me. When I thought about the burden placed on him, I don't think I've given you... I don't think I've ever given much thought to my ancestry. Gosh. Maybe it's because I'm an orphan. Who knows? But then again, I guess most people don't think too hard about it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That would have been way fucked up. But not you, Real. You've never met these distant ancestors of yours. But even now, years later, you're carrying on their work. Because I finally understand. I know why you always seem so sad, so conflicted. I won't get away with this. That seems like the wrong answer. Oh, nope, that was the right answer. They won't get away with this. Trying to destroy the third plant for their own single-minded reasons, making you suffer. I don't want that to continue. Gail's mouth lifted into a melancholic smile. お前のことで、お前が悲しんだり、怒ったりする必要はない。お前は優しすぎる。敵にまで情けをかけるな。俺を殺したければ、殺せばいい。お前にはその権利がある。I could never kill you, Ryo, never! Objectively, it made sense for some authority to determine the third plant with its damaged environment, rampant vectors, and social decay needed to be cleansed. But it wasn't a simple task for Ryo to carry out. He'd been wrestling with guilt this entire time. I'd never kill him. I felt a fresh wave of anger wash over me. I couldn't just lay down and accept the end of the third plant. I took a deep breath to steady myself, then turned to Riel. Riel, please lend me your assistance. Nani? I couldn't hurt Riel, but if he was just going to give up, I'd have to take the reins myself. If you're willing to face death, that means there's nothing left to be scared of, right? I gave him a challenging grin. In that case, help me. No, I mean, help us. Nani <laughs> Happy! Happy end! Woo woo! I was like, wait, that thing pops up when there's an end. We did it! It's not a threat. Right now, I was just interested in getting my story straight. It was too early to give up. Well, have you reported back with the findings of your investigation yet? Yeah. If the outside world was waiting for Ryo to check in, then we might still have time. What are you going to tell him? ザンネンながら外の人間が考えている通り、第3プラントは衰退していると報告するしかない。環境改善の研究は成果を上げていないし、外獣なんて生物まで出現し始めているんだ。衰退よりもさらに立ちが悪い。well, that certainly puts a very, uh, very big damper on all of the other happy ends. We were all happy, but little do we know that Rail was about to tell them to nuke the whole place. Oh, boy. Rail's voice was heavy with regret. It seemed the presence of the vectors was a particularly big mark against the third plant. Huh? But in that case... So, why haven't she made your report, then? I thought my question was innocent enough, but Rail looked taken aback. The environment's damaged beyond repair. Vectors are running rampant. You've got a good case for letting them destroy the third plant, right? All you have to do is make the report and we'll be done with all of it. So why haven't you taken that last step? Yeah. If Riel was so resentful of his role, and if he truly didn't care about Data or the people in it, then why didn't he just make his report and take off? When Riel finally answered, his voice sounded strangled. His eyes were filled with anguished resignation. I felt like I finally understood the conflict within him. Ryo did care about the third plant and the people living in it far more than I'd given him credit for. I was sure of it, and so I asked him. Could it be... I mean, what I'm thinking is... You don't want the third plant to be destroyed after all, do you? 
At least that's how I wanted him to feel. I really did. Ryo gave me a bitter smile. So,俺は立場上第三プラント側の人間たちに肩入れしないようなるべく距離を置くつもりだったはあ自分の感情を殺し機械的に任務をこなし日々を淡々と過ごしていくうんふんそうすれば肩入れせずに済むと思ったレオ that's just kind of people in general. Like everybody everywhere is just people living their lives. So Despite Rose's harsh words, he smiled. Almost bashfully, even. Nando Tskihanastemo, or no Tokoroni Kurunda. Hoda Sarenai Hoga Muridaro. Never seen Ryo look so mellow before. Ryo looked at me so warmly, I felt myself start to blush. This side of Ryo was different from the side he usually showed, and made me a little nervous. But what should I do? I can't look him in the eye right now. I kept my face turned away from Ryo, unable to bear how soft his expression was. I guess I kinda... arched in on your work a lot. His voice was heavy with sarcasm, but still kind. It felt like I'd finally been accepted by him. It gave me an odd sense of happiness mixed with a little embarrassment. Maybe... <laughs> Waiting? Nervously, I finally returned his gaze. His kind eyes met mine. お前が二回目に俺に会いに来た時、もうここにはいないんじゃないかと思ったと言っていたな。あの時、俺も自分がどうして移動せずにいたのかよくわかっていなかった。だが本心では、お前ともう一度話をしたいと思っていたんだ。
You get that right? That's why you wanted to talk to me. Or am I wrong? Ryo lifted his eyes, making contact with mine once more. I felt a rush of happiness that caused me to speak excitedly, sans filter. Telling someone your feelings and asking them to listen? That's not using them. <laughs> At any rate, I sure don't feel like I was used. Oh my. Rose gaze wavered, like I'd seen it do once before. Like, look, May December relationships are fine, but, you know, in real life, I gotta both be adults. In fiction, you can blur the lines a little bit, because it's fiction. But still, a little odd to read. It was as if he was crying out for help, but still wasn't sure he, that he should accept if, if any was offered. Then he belted out a laugh, as if letting go of a heavyweight. <laughs> uh, well... No? Okay, whatever. 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 Tossing, I'm tossing judgment out the window. We're, we're just gonna read. I felt as if the last wall between us had finally come tumbling down. I smelled it real. だが、さっきも言ったように、俺には課せる力なんてない。特別な権限が与えられているわけでもない。ただ査定をするだけの人間だ。それなのにお前はまだ何か手があると思っているのか。I don't think they will. Ryo said he couldn't intervene, but it sounded like he was willing to help save the third plant any way he could. That makes me so happy. If Ryo was willing to help, then we still had hope. I have an idea, but it'll take more than just the two of us. We'll need everyone to work together. I laid my hand on top of Ryo's to let him know that he wasn't alone. I called the commander to let him know that I found Ryo when we were returning to Theta together. That was our CG, so... We don't get any other CGs. Oh, is there another CG? I thought that was the CG. We'll see. I think that was the CG. All the blooms and the commander were waiting for us when we arrived. Yeah, okay. Double. Bill looked awkward. I'd never seen him like that before. Sorry to keep you all waiting. Oh,本当に富塚さん捕まえてきたんだ。人を逃亡犯みたいに言わないでくれ。似たようなものあなたを探し回ったせいでこっちはもうくたくたそいつは悪かったなうーん外の人間っていうてもやっぱうちらとは変わらんように見えるなうんえっだ often Zetaka! Oh my god, Zetaka! Oh my god! Yeah, we're the happy end. But oh my god, Zetaka! Let me catch you up real fast. Um, so... The whole world is not this post-apocalyptic craziness. Um, Theta? And all of the other colonies are actually sub-colonies of one big ter human terrarium project called the Third Plant. It was made... Uh-huh. It was made to see if how humans would work with rapidly advancing technology. Uh, it failed horribly, but it helped the people outside... Um... Well, we're more like some sort of weird science experiment. It helped the people on the outside prosper. Um, but they were like, well, shit, stuff's going down. We need to know if we have to destroy this. So they sent Ryo. Ryo, who is a descendant of one of the, uh, of one of the people who made, or a descendant of the people who built the uh, original uh, uh, terrarium thing. Um, so he's here. He's been surveying the, um, I don't know. A play on the third planet? Um, and, and this is only, this is the size of Tokyo. The Tokyo Metropolitan. Yeah, so, so Tau and Theta and all of the others, all of the other colonies that we've, like, mentioned but never been to. Oh, and the one we've already been to. All of those are in this terrarium which is the size of the Tokyo metropolitan area. 
Um, so Real was about to submit his um, report that says, yeah, no, this place is fucked. Nuke it, boys. Um, when we were like, wait, bro, you don't actually want to do this. And he's like, well, no, no, I don't. The, the thought of my word being used to possibly kill everybody in here is it's really not great. And so now we're trying to figure out how we can convince the people from the outside world not to kill us. <laughs> yeah, we're so cute. Soro soro Hondai ni hai temo i kana. The commander's pointed fake cough got everyone back on track. Ja, Tomitska kun. Sets me onegai de kirkana. Ryo nodded and took a step forward. Omae tachimo sude ni kite iru to omonga. Koko dai san pranto wa kiki ni chokmen shite iru. Oh, we high key fell in love with Ryo. Hmm. Ryo explained everything that he had already told me in the tent. He talked about the construction of the third plant, his orders, and the impending decision to have the third plant wiped out. Haiki? Nani sore? Jodan janai. Amari ni mo obo sugiru. Eh, well. Howdy and Hadaka had strong reactions. Sana and Moka, however, seemed troubled. She wa kono koto mo shite imashita no? Well. Hmm. 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 Koko made shinkoku da to wa shiranakatta. Yeah, exactly. It's just weird. Oh no. Oh no, the, the spirits took me. Oh no, they're back. They gave me back. Okay, good. No doubt everyone had thoughts about that, but we were unfortunately out of time. I apologize for asking every from at, for asking when everyone's so tired, but we need help to save the third plant. Everyone nodded clearly on board with what I was saying. Milk was right. We needed to brainstorm ways to save our future. Mocha's fucking weird Kansai accent. I thought for a moment before speaking. Sotonohandankijunwa <laughs> Do all humans have superpowers, outside? No doubt Ryo worked hard to find good things to report about the third plant while he was here, but in the end, he couldn't come up with anything. It wasn't encouraging that he could search all that time and still return empty-handed. Our options were dwindling. Make a petition? あっちは、富塚さんの調査の進み具合なんて確認しようがないんだから。まだ調査できていないエリアがあると言っても分からないコピーなるほどね富塚君報告は後どれくらい引き延ばせる実はすでにだいぶ引き延ばしてますそろそろ不審に思われているころですいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやい
確かに難しいな。Yeah, it's rough. 環境は悪い。Fucked. しかも、外獣なんて危険な生物までいるんだから。Uh -huh. I don't know. As I listened to Kaudi think aloud, I recalled something Rose said earlier. He suggested the birth of the vectors put the final nail in the third plant's coffin. Sure, this place might be useless, but if only we could convince the outsiders there's still some value here. An idea was taking shape in my brain. I started speaking as it solidified it. What about the flower crystals? Finally! Finally, are we gonna talk about that? Everyone turned to look at me. He all frowned at me, tossing out another idea from left field, but this time he didn't try to silence me. I rubbed my brow, thinking hard. Why hadn't I considered the flower crystals before? I gathered my thoughts and started to explain. The flower crystals can be found can only be found where vectors live. The outsiders have no idea what they're worth, do they? The only information they have to go on is whatever Rail puts in his survey report. Why don't we use that to our advantage? My explanation was a little clumsy, but Rail and Kaudi seemed to get what I was trying to say. So, I think it's a pretty good idea, but what do you think, Ryo? I looked at Ryo. He seemed to be mulling over the possibilities. In that case, maybe we can show them the crystals' effects. What do they do? We could say that crystals are beneficial to humans, that they enhance strength, something like that. We could pretend the crystals simply provided a beneficial boost to people. We wouldn't mention superpowers, so ours would remain hidden. That's, that's, this is the worst plan! So, Yeah. Phew. We can say their efficiency depends on the innate aptitude of the person using them. We'll have them fooled! We didn't have access to many flower crystals, so a repeated test would be impossible. We could say that they're super powerful, but also super rare. We can make them believe it. Yeah, we still don't know why they're dropped, how they're dropped, how they're made. Yeah, this sounds so bad. Now Rail was seeing the bigger picture. The blooms were also clearly on board with my plan. A positive response gave me courage to ask something else to my plan. We should report our physical data to them at the same time. I think that'll up the credibility of the, phys of the crystal's powers. I also think it'd be a good idea to get Moravia and the others to help us out. Everyone's faces stiffened the second I said the word Moravia. Moravia? I'd planned to explain that part of my adventure later, but now was as good as time as any. I took a deep breath. The thing is, when I was gone, I traveled to where Moravia and her crew live. As expected, everyone's eyes grew huge. Huh? Magical gender change, yeah. Sorry, I don't have time to go over the details now. The important thing is I made friends with Moravia. I need you to know that much. <laughs> Why did you do that? Oops, sorry, Kaudi. Kaudi and the others didn't seem to get in, nor were they happy, but they backed off temporarily. Yes, a sample of biological data from people who've used the crystals. It's going to be a harder sell if there's just four of us. そうだな。サンプルは少しでも多い方がいい。外獣を含め、第3プラントの全てを守るためと言えば、協力を取り付けられるかもしれない。Everyone's matching sour expressions said exactly what they thought about teaming up with Moravia. 
understand why you're not hot on the idea, but if we don't work with Moravia's crew, this plan won't work at all. After all, this was this wasn't just about us. If the outsiders carried out their plan, everything in the third planet third plant would be history. This time, I want them to see how incredible Ibuki's powers are, no matter what it takes. <sighs> あいつらと協力するのは気が進まへんけど、外の奴らを騙してやろうって作戦は賛成や。そうですわね。やってみる価値はありますわ。うん。少なくともこのまま外の身勝手で滅ぼされるよりはよっぽどマシ。うん。
バカか。はい、ルーだ。おまいがん。わお。Once again, we have another case of Prince to Prince tel telepathy. Um, we know that Moravia and Ibuki. Yeah, that's it. That's the only one we know. Let's t r o w my plan. t r u s i n s o l made me mad, but he just responded to my indignation with a solemn look. Kanga et Momiro. Dai san Plantonia, Cho no Yoko, Skyro Ningenga Imasto. So Hoko Ste Warina Waka Nidaro. Tosen, Soto a Kyomi or Motsu. Sono Keka, Omaira was Soto no Kenku sits in its r e t a k e Oh, it got way crazier, Holly. It got way crazier. This game became like a, an onion of layers. Oh. I hadn't thought of that. I had the sick feeling Ryo was right, though. The outsiders already thought so little of us that they'd burn the third plan in an instant. It was foolish to think they'd treat us as humans. And there was no way Kaude and the others hadn't noticed my near blunder. Did Kaude and the others pick up on that, you think? Ryo shrugged and replied that they probably had, and left only as a last resort, unsaid. Ouch. In that case, I understood why the Blooms never suggested the ideas themselves. The idea themselves. There was too much risk of our allies getting mixed up in it. But if it, if it was the last possible option for the sake of the third planet, I'm sure. Ryo squeezed my arm, cutting me off. Dame da. Sonna koto wa ore ga yurusanai. Omae. But Ryo only smiled, let go of my arm, and turned to face forward again. Hora, Ikazo. Dai san pranto no men wa. Ore tachi ni kakate irun daro. Yeah. My opportunity to press Ryo further was gone. I tottered after him on unsteady legs. <laughs> we'll only give them Kaori? Damn, poor Kaori. It had been a few weeks since the truth came out. Man, I've been so busy. Every day was such a whirlwind, I couldn't help but mutter a complaint. But let's go back to that day. Oh? Hey, that's a great plan. Mm hmm. Ibuki seemed on board with our plan to save the third plant. He was much more interested in its fate now compared to the day I was looking for real. So you're interested? In that case, we'd like you to play a part. Omaira knew a son's on Kyoko stick to Hazazo. Ima sono kario kaise. Well, okay, Ro, you didn't know to put it like that. Ibuki nodded as Ro backed me up. Come on, I yo. Ro knew a yakuni tatte morata shne. Jiminy, all right. Tada, he tots a joke in that. Eat to me. シータで行われている害獣を生み出すような研究をすべて打ち切ること。Oh、my. それを約束してほしい。It was a predictable request from Ibuki and his crew, and knowing the truth as we did, we wanted to fulfill that promise. 俺の一存じゃ何とも言えない。だが、マサキさんに頼めば上層部に掛け合ってくれるだろう。<笑>あの人に任せておけば、お前が望む答えを引き出せると思う。Yeah. Ryo wasn't lying or bluffing. Ibuki seemed to know it too because he smiled. He's a, yeah, he's a quadruple agent at this point. Wakata. Hitomazu ima wa sore de yoshito suru yo. Sore ni shitemo. Soto no ningen wa azamuite yaro da nante. Hihoku son na omoshiroi keikaku o omoitsuita ne. Mm hmm. Koitz no hatsanda. Ryo jerked his head in my direction. Ibuki looked at me with one eyebrow raised. Hmm. Hey, don't look at me like that. 
Oh, well, it was the commander and Ryo who placed together how everything will work. I just had the initial idea. But... I'm so sorry, guys. I have an itch that is killing me. Ugh. Oh, I don't think he sleeps, no. So here's the thing. Yeah, so... Ryo is an agent of the Blooms. Ryo is an agent of the Blooms. Which is side one of this conflict. Ryo is also an agent of the Vectors. Which is side two of this conflict. Ro also is an agent of the of the hitherto unknown third party, the outside. And now, uh, and now, Ro is a agent of the third plant against the hitherto unknown third, uh, third faction, the outside. Um, I have to go fill my water bottle up, so I'll be back in like two. Yeah, it's, it's funky. The crass touchers, cause they're outside? Sure, all right. Mm-hmm. The higher ups, higher ups. <laughs> God, he doesn't. He doesn't sleep, really, I don't think. So you could do that. Hold it, okay? I was admittedly pleased with the praise, even if we hadn't succeeded yet. I couldn't help but give grin to myself. Oh no, come on. Oh, here we go. 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 If you want to give it a new woo, yeah. It was a huge boon to have the strength of Ibuki and the others on our side. Thank you. We're counting on you. We all smiled at one another. Yeah. Since that day, Rail's been so busy. Rail's been preparing all kinds of research documents outlining how the flower crystals have properties that supercharge the human body. He enlisted Ibuki, Hyuga, and Yukinami to contribute data that proved the crystal's power. It would undoubtedly seem scientific to the outsiders. In Theta, the commander worked on getting the higher-ups to cooperate with us. Our plan for deceiving the people of the outside world was going well. <gasps> oh no. The commander was able to hide the, the fact that flower crystals were dropped from felling vectors. This was to prevent anyone from harming them. The outside world ate up the combined reports, data, and Ro's testimony. The plan to eradicate the third planet, the third plant, was scrapped. Ro no longer was no longer to be a spy. Instead, he'd stay in the third plant and monitor the ongoing situation. He'd remain here from now on and report back to the outside about the merits of the third plant's continued existence. I've been subconsciously stealing myself for the day Ryo would return to the outside, so when I found out he was staying, I was relieved. After those first few tense weeks, a day came when we could finally relax. I wonder how Ryo's doing. I smiled, excited to see him. I don't know. Uh, even now, I was living in Tao instead of Theta. After all, Uncle Yashimo and Lise were there. Ryo spent most of his time in Theta, but he also frequented his base in the Wasteland, so he was often close by. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Today was a much needed day off, and we had plans to meet. When I told Uncle Yashima such as much, he waved me off with a smile. Stage Twee. I wondered how much my face telegraphed my happiness these days. Up ahead, I spotted Ryo's vase. When I saw the familiar figure standing by the tent, I smiled. Ryo! I ran over and Ryo stopped messing around with whatever he was doing to look up at me. I came as fast as I could. I wanted to see you. Then Ryo reached out and mussed my hand, mussed my hair good naturedly. It wasn't like before when we kept our distance. These days, he wasn't shy about physical contact. It made me blush, but I loved it. <laughs> what have you been up to out here? Now, I've been doing some research. Look, let's see this. Ryo 
Joe showed me a specimen bottle. Some kind of fluffy looking plant was enclosed inside. Oh, I see the little seeds. Thunder the yellow fuzz, right? But what is it? これはタンポポの綿毛だ。タンポポ。タンポポ。タンポポ。タンポポ。タンポポ。タンポポ。タンポポ。タンポポ。タンポポ。タンポポ。タンポポ。タンポポ。タンポポ。タンポポ。タン
A lot had happened since that day. It wasn't as if a great deal of time had gone by, but things just seem so different now. Felt like years ago. Real, really, it feels like years ago. Real, really enjoyed himself that day too. Reliving the memory made me so happy. It sparked an idea. Yeah. Want to try it again? You know. Ryo responded with so much excitement, my heart soared with happiness. Sure, give me your hand. Ryo obediently thrust out his hand. I took it. And we held each other tight. Ready? Here we go! Using my psycho kinesis, I pulled Ryo's hand and kicked off the ground. Oh. You okay? Oh. Uh, Ryo was off balance for a worrying moment, but he quickly got the hang of things. He kept up with every kickoff I performed, and then... It. Ryo slipped his arm around my waist. He was right, it was easier to jump, but his closeness flustered me. I can feel his heartbeat, the warmth of his body, having him this close to me itself. Huh? I almost lost my balance for a second, it was as if he'd read my mind. I was laughing, like, what is this reverse house moving castle? Oh, my to Irito. Hontoni Kodomoni Modota Yona Kimochini Narido. His face looked so innocent. I started to feel embarrassed about how distracted I'd been by him just, just minutes ago. Yeah, you know, true. You're way bigger than any kid. Haha, <laughs> Noga. Not a bit. But now that he was teasing me, I blush for real. The third plant wasn't completely out of danger. We had no idea what the outsiders were up to. But at the very least, we'd managed to ease the turmoil Ryo carried in his heart. Ryo's smile. Right now, that's enough to make make it worth all the trouble. Oh, we did get a new C another CJ. CG. We continued to float upwards with ice, psychokinesis until we reached the highest roof of the old building. There was no need to hold each other anymore now that we had secure footing, but Ryo kept his arm wrapped around me. I wanted to stay close as well, so I snuggled up against him. Mm. Yeah, I guess it'll always be like this. I'd never seen a real blue sky, and knowing I might never get the chance made me feel a little sad. This sky. It's hard to think of it as being connected to Ryo's home in the outside world. I felt Ryo's hand tighten around mine. I looked up, up in surprise. Ryo was smiling warmly down at me. いつかは晴れそうな気がしてくる。ああ。オーリオ。これからも俺と一緒にいてくれないか。ああ。そしていつか晴れた本物の空を Maybe one day the gray opaque clouds could clear away. Somehow, even a miracle like that felt possible. Ah. Uh. Ah, uh, that's a great question. He's definitely an adult. We're definitely a freshman in high school. Which is a little odd! A little odd! Okay, well... Well, we have, uh... Yeah, this frickin'... That frickin' CG. Okay, um... Yeah, we unlocked the super secret final route. So, uh, we still have about two hours left. You guys wanna try it? Bye. Let's try it. Yes. I wonder what this special other option is gonna be. Like, where is it gonna pop up? Yeah.
Oh wait, oh wait, oh wait. Yeah, start from here. This is what we want. Because there's Moravia's choice. Anya, anya, anya. Mm. I don't think I did that correctly. I don't think I did that correctly at all. Okay, we're gonna start back, sorry. <laughs> Start back, so we're gonna try. I don't know how to get to that one. I don't know if we need to be even, even. Do we need to be evens? Yeah. I'm gonna assume we need to be even. Okay, this one is this one gets us a pink. Yeah, I guess. It said a new choice was added. Next, we're going to do rooftop. Because that makes us even. I'm going to even this out. We'll see how it works. So then we have to say I'll do it myself. Because that... That's a bump to the hero route. Then we have to go to the outer wall, which is the villain route. Okay. Okay, so then we have to do, yeah, then we'll do humans because that's the heroes. So next thing I have to do is one of the villain things. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. It may not be this difficult. Speak to Moravia. Even. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Yep, there it is! So it wasn't, it wasn't that we had to balance everything. It's literally a brand new choice. I see smoke rising from town. I can see smoke rising over there. I have to make sure everyone got away. My heart heavy with foreboding. I started running at top speed. <sighs> I dashed out of the academy and found the streets leading to the dorms in chaos. The buildings are wrecked, but I don't see any injured people. The streets were a mess when nobody was around. Perhaps they were hiding inside? Not a vector was in sight either. If they're not here, these they might still be okay. But my chest remained heavy as with dread as I ran into town. It looks as if everyone had evacuated the area. Oh. 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 Oh, the grand finale route. Wow, okay. There's two. This area is a huge mess, too. It transformed just in case. The buildings are badly smashed up, and it, that wasn't all. No! 
There are people sprawled all over the ground. I dashed over. My worst fear was quickly confirmed. They've been attacked by vectors. Yeah, it's just like really short. Well, we'll see if it's actually short. This is terrible. They need medical advice. Medical advice? Help. <laughs> not advice. They need help. <laughs> advice is not enough for these people at this time. The, the advice would be don't get hit. The help is you've been hit. As I looked around in panic, I spotted a familiar face above the fallen bodies. Yeah, Lise. For a second, I refused to believe she was here. Why was she even in the crowd? I almost stumbled as I ran over to look at her. It was Lise, not a dream, not an illusion. I had to accept the reality of what I was seeing. Yeah, medical advice, try to bleed less. Lise, hold on, I'm gonna get you some help. I promise I'll save you. My mind scrambled for ideas as I called out to Lise. Then I sensed someone approaching. I looked up. At that moment, all the blooms ran over. Knowing I was surrounded by my capable allies made me feel a bit calmer. She's my friend, and so many others have been wounded too. I tried to explain the situation, but my words got all jumbled up. The others looked around at the mess and nodded to indicate they understood, or maybe they were just trying to reassure me. うちも行く。残りの3人は怪我人の世話をしたってや。了解。じゃあ私たちは怪我人の保護を最優先に動くよ。友達のことは心配だと思うけど、あんたも協力して。Yes. Yeah. Yes, of course. I was in total agreement, but I couldn't stop myself from gazing back down to Lise in my arms. Then I heard someone calling to out to us. Oh, she's hit again. Vander. I was quite shocking. It was quite shocking to see him outside the command center since he usually didn't leave. They always looked as surprised as I was, but they quickly remembered the urgency of the situation and gave the commander a status report. The commander seemed to notice that I was clinging to Lise protectively, though I hadn't said anything about her condition. She, she's my best friend. It looks like she got tangled up in all of this. Now she's badly hurt. Shinyu. So ka. I understood that as one of the blooms, I had responsibilities. I, I couldn't just cling to Lise, but I was so afraid for her. The commander also seemed strangely conflicted and kept looking at me and Lise. Yeah, maybe. Everyone set off on Haka's words. I stood up knowing I too had a duty to perform, but the commander stopped me. Mm -hmm. Yes, right, I understand. The commander's tone suggested he was thinking of more than my concern for Lise. But before I could ask him if there was a problem, he took he took out his phone and got in a call. I turned my focus back to Lise and the other wounded. The others guided the ambulances with the commander's help. They returned as soon as they were finished. Uh, the commander stopped talking on his phone long enough to look our way and nod. Mm. Mm. We all breathed huge sighs of relief. Then I saw my opportunity to speak up. Um, excuse me. What? You were always here. And you yeah, Mocha's question emphasized something concerning. Lise hadn't been taken away by an ambulance. I was afraid to leave her side. Aw, baby. 
I tended to her wounds, but the commander said it's better for Lisa to stay behind than go in one of the ambulances. I threw the commander a worried gaze, which he met with an unusually serious gaze. A worried look, which he met with an unusually serious gaze. I didn't even need to consider my answer. Of course I do. Why would you even ask me such an obvious question? My tone was defensive, but Kaori and Haka spoke up before the commander could reply. The two of them frowned, matching expressions of bewilderment on their faces. Kaori, Haruka, do you know something? I forgot that those two know what happens with vectors. It's been so long since we played their roots. The commander looked at Moka, Sana, and me. He took a deep breath. Yeah. 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 The commander explained that people who are wounded by vectors turn into vectors themselves. To say it came as a shock was putting it lightly. Sometimes I have great memory. Hmm. Not at all. Did you two know about this? Howdy and Haruka made no attempt to hide their truth. Hide the truth. They nodded calmly. Yep. My hands flew up to my mouth when I heard Boka's revelation. Kaori Haruka and the commander looked away. The entire group fell silent. There was nothing more to be said, nothing more to be done. We just stood in an awkward group. Hey, hold on, I'm upset about this whole thing too, but I still need clarification on something. I clutched Lise's hand. She was still out cold. Then I turned to the commander. Commander, is Lise going to turn into a vector? Can't we stop the transformation somehow? Everyone turned to the commander, clearly wanting to know how he'd answer my question. So yeah, the commander looked at me for a moment, then spoke with a quiet voice. Huh? Oh, son of was looking at someone behind us. We turned his soft, familiar face. Real? Yeah, Ryo, you were quite right, Zetetika. Ryo Tomitsuka was another person who, like the commander, really saw us hide the command center. I couldn't hide my surprise. Ryo knows how to stop the transformation? Does that mean Ryo. Tsumari. Kare wa tada no koho shien ja nai te koto? No. Haruka and Kaori seem not to have expected Ryo. We're just as shocked as the rest of us. Ryo slowly continued to walk towards us as we stared in bewilderment. He came to a stop in front of the commander. Yeah, familiar Faye. Oh. Ryo blinked calmly, never dropping his cold facade as the commander interrogated him. Oh. What? I'd been quiet up until this point, but I couldn't hold back my explanation when I heard ex exclamation when I heard the commander say that. I wasn't the only one who was shocked either. The others cast wide-eyed, suspicious glares at the commander of Ryo. Yeah, literally just outing him. Yes, he's a spy. Yes, he works for the enemy. It's not the enemy you think. Ryo remained calm even as our emotions flared around him. How many others 
Cody and the others didn't bother to look to the commander for his reaction. Instead, they dropped into a battle stance. I wanted to join them, but I couldn't leave Lise. I moved to stand protectively in front of her. Wow. What the hell is going on? Commander, Ryo, would you please, would you, would you both please explain what's going on? What's the meaning of this? Ryo wasn't denying it, which meant he was telling the truth. Only one question remained. Why were we learning this now? わかってる。ちゃんと説明するよ。だからみんなも冷静になってほしい。富塚君はおそらく逃げたり攻撃したりしないから。we all looked at Ryo again. Indeed, he was as stoic as ever. He just stood there, totally at ease. Ryo lifted both hands up on either side of his head as if to show us he had no attention, attention, intention of attacking. We all remained tense, but we couldn't attack an enemy who wasn't putting up a fight. All right, I believe you don't mean us any harm. Just answer this. Can you stop Lise from becoming a vector? I held my breath as I waited for his response. Ryo nodded sli slightly. Ah. Really? Lise could be saved! I gazed at Ryo with wide, hopeful eyes. I could sense Senna breathing a big sigh of relief next to me. The tension seemed to drain from her body. Yeah, exactly. Ryo nodded, but just as we started to feel relieved, he said something that shocked us to our cores. Oh my gosh, Phantom! Yeah, understandable. Thank you so much for being here for all the time you could. I really appreciate it, and I hope you're doing well. Stay safe. Bye bye! Hearing the name of our enemy caused us all to instinctively tense up again. But Ryo doesn't seem to be lying. If he really means it, then... Moravia, so you're telling us we don't have a choice but to receive help from the Vectors? The commander remained calm as if he was expecting Ryo's answer. Oops, sorry. もとはといえば、こうなったのは外獣のせいなのに、その外獣の仲間に助けを求めるっていうの。うん。そうや。そんな怪我した人たちも納得せえへんよ。いや、うん。そうですわよね。外獣になんてさせたくないですけれど、だ
寮が面倒なことになりそうだって言うから戻ってきたんだ、はあ、でも僕に用があるのは寮じゃなくて君たちの方じゃないのかな<笑> well... Ibuki was right. It was just as Ryo said. We needed Moravia's and Ibuki's help. Momete ta mi tai da kedo. Kekkyo k boku no chikara o kariru no? Sore tomo tatakau no? Ibuki scanned us with his head cocked to the side. Boku wa tatakatte mo ii kedo. Kimi tachi ga honto ni nikumu beki na no wa. Oh wow, we're really just gonna slam, slam, slam this all in. Kono imi. Kare nara wakatte iru to omo un da kedo. Ibuki did his head towards the commander who stood with a dour expression. Ah, so that. Bokuni wa wakatte iru. Sore ni tabun. Kaori to haruka ni mo wakaru hasu da yo. Wow, okay. No, I think they're talk. I think Ibuki's talking about the, um. Uh, the fact that vectors are created because of failed CRISPR baby experiments. Sire. <laughs> I had no idea what Ibuki meant, but Haraka and Kaori were pale. His words clearly resonated with them, yeah. What? You're just saying to me. Looks like Moka and Sina, Sena are also in the dark about whatever this is. Does it involve the research district? Ibuki looked from Haruka and Kaori's bloodless faces to the confused faces of Moka, Sana, and me. Finally, he sighed. Oh my god, we're seriously just smacking everything down on the table. Oh okay, we're not. He might be onto something. The deadlock between us all was, this, was a frustrating thing indeed. I looked down at Lise and realized there wasn't a moment left to waste, so I spoke up. Ibuki, please. The only thing I want is to help Lise. It's not easy to ask you for help, but I'll shoulder all the responsibility for whatever happens. Just please, help me save Lise. Ibuki started walking toward me. Kaori nar narrowed her eyes, then cried out. Uh-huh. I know. I know that. But how can I keep thinking about this when there's no time left for Lise? Asking the Vectors for help might just lead to disaster, but I don't know of any other way to help her. I just don't know. I don't have time to feel conflicted about helping Lise. <laughs> yeah, well, true. <laughs> Howdy swallowed, and Haruka touched her shoulder. Sana, Moka, and the commander all exchanged glances, then nodded at me. <laughs> ここで何より優先すべきは今助けられる命を助けることだよ。マンダー。His agreement meant a lot, and upon hearing it, Cowdy's shoulders slumped as she let it go. それにあんたを追い詰めるべきじゃなかった。一人で避難を受けるなんて言わないでくださいな。私たちそこまで悪情じゃありませんわよ。そうや。目の前で傷ついてる人がいて助けたいって思う気持ちなら痛いほどわかる、うん、だから今からやるのはここにいる全員が承知でやることだよ、yeah. たとえこれが間違った選択だったとしてもね Their smile said it all I wasn't alone there they were there for me I smiled a little Commander everyone thank you How did he not impress me before turning to Ibuki and staring him down? So you are a kid, I'm not sure what you're doing. 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 What are you going to do? 交代を打ってあげるこれを打てば害獣にはならないはずだよ、oh. CG, CG. Okay. Ibuki pulled an object that looked like a syringe from his coat and he brought the needle close to Lise Lise's breathing As soon as Ibuki slid the needle into Lise's arm her labored breathing immediately calmed 
so she's gonna be all right now? Ah, daijoubuda. It was Ryo who answered me, not Ibuki. He was looking at Lise's face closely. He then checked her pulse and announced that she had been stabilized, that she had stabilized. I felt like I'd much rather have Ryo helping us out instead of Ibuki. It was almost a stranger. Whew. At least Lise won't turn into one of those vectors. I hadn't forgotten about the other wounded who needed help, but I just wanted to think about Lise for a moment. I know it's selfish of me, but I can't exactly ask Ryo or Ibuki to save every single person who's hurt. But apparently, they did a poor job hiding my dissatisfaction. I lifted my head and quickly denied Ibuki. Oh no, it's not that. Thank you so much for saving Izumi. Please Of course I am. I didn't feel like explaining my discontent, so I made my voice as perky as possible. I cringed inwardly at the shrill sound and blushed. Ibuki looked at me, clearly entertained. Charlie <laughs> jumped in, clearly thinking the conversation was about to go somewhere wild, but Ibuki's response was surprising. Did we ever? I don't remember this. The question? I shifted through my memories, but couldn't recall Ibuki asking me anything. However, when I remember that Ibuki was also in Moravia. Oh, yeah, the question about who do you think? Yeah. The, who truly deserves the world? Humans or vectors? That time you asked me to choose humans or vectors. That's what you're referring to, right? Ibuki grinned wildly. Wildly. Please that I remembered. So, that's the question. I want to ask you to answer the question. But, if you don't want to answer it right now, the answer is not too late to talk to the people who are talking to them. Yes, we answered that with humans. I looked around at the others. It was true that there was still a great deal we needed to sort them out amongst ourselves. I don't know if talking to them will guarantee that I'll be able to come up with a decent answer. I wasn't sure Ibuki knew me well enough to be so confident in my abilities. Still, his price seemed genuine. With that parting remark, Ibuki turned to go. Nobody tried to stop him. I looked around at everyone's faces as they all watched him depart. They must be thinking pretty deeply about what Ibuki told them. Healy had way too many secrets, and we hadn't even started bringing them into the light. Yup. I wasn't sure what Ibuki's words meant. I wasn't sure what Ibuki's words meant, really, but they were powerful enough to make us all stop in our tracks. Hi, Kika. There's still food in your bowl. Go eat some food. Lise was still unconscious by the time we got her back to the dorm safely. We all reconvened on campus. Normally, we gathered in the command center, but given the topic of our discussion, we decided to stay away from the research district. Rob was present at the gathering, too. I had half expected him to run once we uncovered his alliance with the Vectors, but apparently he didn't. He then leaned against the wall, arms crossed, as if to punctuate his unwillingness to contribute. So then, eh? 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 知らないことの方が多いんだ。モカサナ and I exchanged glances before nodding. No doubt you two know more than we do, but we trust you. でもそれも育った環境が違うからですわよね。さっきは責めるようなことを言ってごめんなさい。うん。事情があるんだってことは理解できるわ。うふん。There was a pause, and we all took a breath. No matter what we were about to learn, we knew we couldn't get angry with them. Once everyone had regained their composure, the commander began to tell us everything. Understandably, the things he said were met with even more shocked reactions from all of us. 
人間の外獣化は今に始まったことじゃないってだけでも十分衝撃やけど。This is just like rehashing stuff we already know in a different format, a different way, like different story format. 上層部も容認していたんですのね。しかもその口ぶりだと。Some of the others trembled with anger. Their voices shook with barely restrained rage. Koi ni umi dashte ta, te koto ni naru ne. Tsumari, kaiju ni natta hito wa, kaiju ni kizutsuke rare ta hito tachi dake ja nai. Waza waza kaiju o tsukutte ta, te koto ni naru ne. That's terrible. Turning humans into vectors. Why would they do such a twisted thing? Hajime wa, kankyo kaizen no tame no kenkyu datta nda yo. Well, I don't know how we know it's not the whole world that's fucked. My heart stung as I looked at the commander. It hurt him to talk about all this, but I still had to give voice to my suspicions. Is, is it even possible to engineer humans like that? And why did the experiments yield vectors of all things? It was Kaudi who responded. だよ生まれる前から環境に馴染む人間になるように遺伝子を操作するんだ、uh -huh. 作るというよりは育てるという方が合っているかも、uh -huh. 適性は生まれた後の訓練によって伸ばしていくものだから、uh -huh. ってことはうちらも外獣になる可能性があったってこと今の話だとそうなると思うんやけど。It was unbelievable, but we couldn't, dis we couldn't discount it. I looked at the commander, praying he'd deny it, but he simply shook his head. うん。その可能性は否定できないよ。Oh my. No. The thought of all the vectors I had killed, I could wind up sharing their dark fate. It felt like I was finally capable of understanding Ibuki's words. Ibuki が憎むべきは外獣じゃないと言ったのは、憎む相手は外獣を生み出す存在ではないのかと言った。Uh huh. そうだね。私もあの時真っ先に研究者たちの顔が目に浮かんだし。でも組織的に外獣を生み出しているとは私も香りも知らなかった。うん。あくまで。空発的な事故だと思ってたよ私たちだってさすがにそこまで知ってたら自分の存在に疑問を持つからねそれは当然の反応だねだからこそ隠していたとも言える I looked at the despondent commander my next words tumbled from my mouth automatically it sounds to me like the vectors are actually a success story that they can live and thrive in the outside world ねえ成功例って言うならいぶきじゃないのあいつは人間らしい理性を持ちながら外獣側にいる外でも生きられるんじゃない Everyone's eyes widen as they judge us to what Kaori and I were suggesting. Kaori の言う通りだよ。イブキはおそらく過去に研究エリアから逃げ出した被験体の一人だ。昔相当能力の高い子供がいたと聞いている。他にも一人逃げた子がいるらしいけれど。伝え聞いた特徴から予想するとおそらく雪並みだろう yeah, this is just kind of bringing everything together that we kind of already know そうなるとますます外獣と私たちの境目がわからなくなってくるね uh -huh. yeah we could have we would have we could have wound up on their side if our paths in life had taken different turns Ibuki and Yukinami a twist of fate was all that kept their futures from being our futures the thought made my knees go weak あの私、少し気になってることがあるんですけれど。What's up, Sena? Sena broke the silence. Raising her hand nervously, she looked at Boka. 私は、生まれた時からじゃなくて、あるきっかけから、被験体になって、超能力に目覚めたんです。Yeah, no. Boka must be so ですよ。Sena gave some Boka with wide eyes. She nodded. そんな感じや。うちの場合は、コロニーの外で死にかかってたのを助けられて、その過程で超能力に目覚めたんやけど死にかかってたって外獣に襲われたんですのうんそうやないよまあ詳しいことは勘弁して
気になってるのはうちのことやないんやろ、うん、ええまあそうなるとあなたは不思議だと思って,なななっ,て,思って外獣に襲われたのに外獣化もせずに超能力に目覚めたってことですもの。うん。ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、When I looked up, my asthmatic mayor's calm gaze. Koko Karasaki ni Hanasio Susumerinara. Oh, I'm not sure. Okay. Well then. Konoko no Jijoa, Konoko Jishin Yorimo. Tabun Boku no Honga shit deer. Demo Soreo Hanas Nara. Zain Harao Waranaito. Fair Janayo. Okay. They're true selves? And how do you know more than I do, Commander? Yeah, I was thinking into my confusion, but the warm hand on my shoulder soothed me. I'm sorry, please go ahead. Wakata. みんなもいいよねええこうなったら隠してもしゃあないもんなそうだね After making sure I was in a good headspace, how do we reach a consensus? Suddenly the girls vanished and four strangers stood in their place. I blinked, unable to believe my eyes at first. What? It seemed as though they de transformed as I watched, but the four people standing there now were different people, not the girls I knew. Uh, Tokyo Takato, was it? And Kamui, Saibara, Mihaya, Araki, Ayumu, Mamiya. In that case, my eyes had witnessed something incredible, but my brain refused to accept it. But we accepted Ibuki's just fine. <laughs> yeah, Tokyo stepped as I tripped over my words. And as I tripped over my words. So, <laughs> Dio. あ、This had been the most shocking day of my life by far. My aching brain was going a mile a minute. Yeah, I saw it, but actually seeing something, but seeing something and actually believing it, well, I'm just a little shell shocked, that's all. Kamui sat down and clenched his head. Ah! I'm glad he's breaking the ice here. どうせバレるならそれ相応のエピソードっていうか盛り上がりが欲しかったのにな Amazing Mihaya rolled his eyes as Kamui's disappointment 何ですかそれ黒歴史の上乗りがしたいってことですか違うよっていうか Mihaya 君は平気なのこんな可愛い子の前で女から男にってさっきまで俺私とか言ってたんだよ Oh my god. That's how they localized that. They localized the pronoun change to I was in a skirt. To her saying, I was using a taxi. Yeah, you can still wear a skirt if you want, honey. Mihaya nodded, which only served to fuel Kamui's overreaction further. Boka didn't look like a dork. まあ、僕も居心地が悪いことは認めるよ。この状況で平然としていられる、時代の方が異常だと思う。異常って何<笑>別に騒ぐようなことじゃないだろう。Yeah, wow. This is lots of it. そういう冷静なところが、時代の長所だし、短所なんだけどね。And there's our resident Siskon. And I burst into laughter before I could stop myself. The other three glared at me, clearly irritated. We were well, come on. Still laughing, I waved my hand to indicate that they'd been understood. No, no, they'd misunderstood. No, no, I'm not making fun of you. It's just that I'm so relieved. 
Nothing's really changed. You're still the same girls I know. I was just thinking how lucky I am to be part of such a great team. Yeah, they're like, come on. Go on. It was true. Their outward appearances had changed, but they still felt warm and familiar. It was as if a small piece of my life clicked back into place amidst all the chaos. I felt relieved. The others understood what I was getting at. いい<笑> だからこそ空気を変えられてよかったよ。Alright, それじゃあまずは僕とヤシマ先輩の話から始めるよ。Professor Yashima? You mean Uncle Yashima? You know him, Commander? 知ってるも何も。僕と彼は環境適応プロジェクトの上司と部下、そういう間柄だったんだよ。Yeah. The commander went on to tell me about my parents, test subjects T060 and S474, and the experiments they endured. Yeah. The first generation, you mean my mom and dad, were the first test subjects for the genetic engineering project headed by Uncle Yashima? Jijitsu,だけ見ればそうだ。でも、ヤシマ先輩は二人のことを被験体だなんて思っていなかったよ。うん。東郷と佐奈、彼がつけた名前で二人のことを呼んでいたんだ。うん。友人として接していたんだよ
二人を逃がした後もこの子の動向を見守っていたんだ<笑>ご両親が亡くなって八島先輩がシータを離れた後はより一層注意してたはずだったんだけどあの日あんなことになって、oh, yeah. 本当に肝を冷やしたよあの日ってこの人が怪獣に襲われた時ですよね、yeah. いつも通りヘラヘラしてるようにしか見えませんでしたけど<笑> I chuckled at Mihai's sarcastic remark ひ,ひどいよミハヤ君内心めちゃくちゃ焦ってたし心配してたんだよ<笑>でも歩夢君とか鋭いしごまかさないとって、yeah. ごまかそうとしてたから余計にヘラヘラして見えたんじゃないウォプシーズまさきちゃんって都合が悪くなると急に笑顔になるから逆にわかりやすいんだよね。What? カムイ君まで冷たいこと言わないでよ。Yeah, the, the because, well, because he knew that if they, if they want to question him, if, they, if, if anybody like wanted to know more about it, they would come question him and there was a possibility that they would like possibly torture the information out of him. So he just left to be with the vectors as well. He felt really fucking guilty about making monsters and then just kicking them out and turning humans into monsters. So th this, it was a bit of protection for us and a bit of、um, reparations for him. Well, not reparations,、um, guilt, whatever. No need to roast me, come. <laughs> Sigmander seemed to have regained his composure. Perhaps he felt lighter after telling me the secret he'd locked away for so long. Yeah, penance! Thank you! Hearing that the commander had watched over me majorly, majorly improved my impression of him. Until now, I never had any idea that someone was watching over me. He kept it all on the down low so I could live normally. He's very kind. Tony Kak, Konoko ga gaiju ni nara nakte, honto ni anshin stand yo. Kit to Goryoshin no idenshi ga, ee sayo o stand yo ne. Yeah, but. There wasn't anybody else. So it would have been. There was. There's nobody else in that colony. Um, Other than Ibuki and Yukinami and the Vectors. I don't think that's like an amazing place to raise a child. He also didn't want us to. Oh my god. Did you guys hear that? That my microphone picked that up. That was my upstairs neighbor moving furniture. Holy moly. Yeah, Pari Tokubets and Hitotachi that Tandane. Dakara Ibuki mo Konoko ni Shuja Kusterinoka. Chimney fucking Christmas. Yeah. I've been moving so much furniture recently. What the hell? So, the ne. Ibuki got a cute area in Itajiki Karasurito. Konoko no Ryoshin tomo, Zetten got at the tomo. Yeah, Ibuki had contact with my parents. イブキ自身が能力の高い子だからこそ二人に特別な思い入れがあっても不思議じゃないね。Yeah. Who had been listening silently until this point piped up. いや、イブキはこいつ自身のことも特別だと思っているのは間違いないと思う。Mm -hmm. It struck me as odd that Rio was narrating how イブキ felt when イブキ wasn't even present. I pointed out as much. He's not pretty sure about that. How come? それはお前の友達に与えた抗体を作らせたのが息吹だからだよ、uh -huh. あの抗体はお前の細胞から作り出したものだ前々からお前に興味を抱いていた息吹はその動向を探っていたんだ、uh -huh. That's funky. そしてあの日俺に頼んでお前の細胞を手に入れさせた、uh -huh. A certain day? At first, I couldn't remember Mo and Ryo would have chance to harvest my DNA, but what he said next brought Val back to me. Kega no chili o shitakoto ga atta hazda. Ano toki da yo. Yeah. So it's na kega o shiteiru. Kantan na no de okereba, koko de teate shiteiru yo. 
Well, that's right. You got my genetic profile just from that? Oh, Zou-samonai. Thanks, yay. I see. That's a pretty amazing feat, but he's so casual about it. ちなみにお前の細胞を使って息吹は抗体を作る以外にもいろいろなことを試している。ああ、I Ibuki, what is it doing? I guess. We all turned to real, waiting for his answer to Yuma's question. He shrugged in resignation. Oh. 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 Kami shot me a sharp look and spoke in a hurry when he saw me react to what was being said. Mata. Kimi. Ima yana koto kangae yo to shi. Oh god. Konkai. Mina ga gaiju ni osoare tanoa. Jibun no se da tanda atoka. Omoana kata. So lewa zetta chingao karane. Kami was right on the money. That's exactly where my thoughts were going. I looked at him. Surprised by the sharpness of his voice. So na fu ni o motta ra, dame da yo. Kimi wa katte ni saibo o torarete. Your genetic profile was stolen. That's a that's a sense. Te yuka ryo san. Kono ko ga kizu tsukutte wakatte rukoto wa kuchi ni suru no wa dou ka to omou yo. Yeah. Real side lightly at Kami's irritation. Ibuki no hanashi o suru tsumori datta n da ga na. Ma. Hearing Kamui stick up for me made me feel a bit better. I was able to get back on track. So what you're getting at is that Ibuki thinks I'm special enough to steal my genetic material and start doing experiments with it, right? Ah, so that. Jiminy fucking Christmas. Ibuki must have been pretty interested in me to obtain my DNA and perform experiments. Or maybe he wasn't so much intrigued by me as he was my parents. Maybe that's what he really was. Maybe that's what he was really interested in. Kamui was kind to come to my defense, but the fact remains that this only happened because of me, because of who I am. And one redeeming factor about this is that my DNA was used to save Lise. I felt torn up inside. The commander then posed a question to Ryo. So then, here we go. Tomitsuka-kun's story is going to be revealed. You knew this girl to be the same as me and I were concerned about her with me, right? Jiminy. Okay. Tomo, Shinpai to you, you're a doko saguru to you, Imi de Taro Keretone. Yeah, you know, he should have just done it the old fashioned way. Oreva Ibuki, you are a Takara, so it's all Tokubetsu Kinish theta dakada. Oh, my. Sorry, sorry, oh, Shinji to Stemo. Kimi Amada, Subeto Hanashi, nice. Are we really going to bring everything onto the table? Literally everything? クラモリ先生はこの人が外獣側に通じてること以外にまだ何か隠してると思ってるってこと。やっ。うん。トミツカ君は時々行動がつかめなくなることがあったからね。Where is this going? Where is this going? What other new thing are we gonna figure out? もちろん四六時中僕と一緒にいる必要はないんだけど。どうもシータの外にまで出ている様子だったから気になってたんだ。Outside, is that something he could easily do? Aimu shook his head. 出られないよ。外出には特別な許可が必要なんだ。Yes, yeah. Masaki-chan が把握してないってことは仕事じゃないんだね。Yeah. So, yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Beneath his usual mask of indifference, as I started to look a little troubled. Tomitsuka-kun, Boku ga kimi o tora etari sezu ni koko made tsurete kita no wa kimi no ishi de subete o katatte hoshikatta kara da yo. Yeah. Kimi ga gaiju gawa to tsujite irun janai ka to ginen o motta ato mo boku wa dou shite mo kimi no koto o warui ningen da to omou koto ga deki na katta. Well, well. Sonna omoi o motsu kurai ni wa kimi to issho ni shigoto o shite kite 
君という人間のことを知ってしまったからねうんよまさきさん俺は Bruce stopped himself but it was clear he was wrestling with something within himself、ま、ミハヤチョザモンバチューナーティー言えばいいんじゃないですか別に俺たちも今すぐあんたをどうにかしようなんて思ってないですよ、うん、そうそうイブキが言ってた通り、oh、俺たちみんな隠し事を打ち明けたんだし、Real、白状するなら今なんじゃない ?Real's、um, Real's thing is going to、um, blow everybody else's out of the water completely、oh、ああもちろん隠し事があったのはこの子を除いてだけどね。How many gave me a meaningful glance and I cleared my throat determined? Please talk to us, Ryo. Things have already come so far. I wouldn't know everything so I can answer Ibuki's question properly. At this point, I don't think I'll be shocked by anything you say. Oh, honey, you don't know the half of it. I can accept it, so please. Despite me saying I was prepared, Ryo's revelation went far beyond anything I'd imagined. Yep. You're from outside? You mean outside Theta? うん。第三プラントって何今の話からすると、mm. 僕たちがいるここのことなんだろうけど。Mm. Yeah, third plant. 証明になるかはわからないが、これを見てみよう。Nice yep. 地図 ?Yep. 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 地図
Ayumu's negativity seemed to have pulled Tokyo back down to Earth. He closed in on Ryo, peppering him with questions. あんたの第三プラントは辺境もいいとこだ。あ、どうにかな。そこへわざわざやってきた目的は何そもそもあんたは誰の命令で動いてる。個人旅行ってわけじゃないだろ。ああ。待って。一つずつ質問した方がいい
That was true. It made sense for the commander to speak to him given their relationship. Wakarimashita. Secret lovers. Whatever the hell they've got going on. Tokyo spoke for everyone. The commander nodded and left the room. Sade. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, true. でも、さすがに場所変えない。いい加減、ここにも誰か来そうな気がする。うん。なあ、だったらさ、行ってみたいところがあるんだけど。ああ、ビビ。ああ、ビビ。ああ、ポンキン。歩夢君だったら、こん
I wanted to report on her condition just in case. I quickly sent an email to the address Mr. Kuramori, Kuramori had given me. As I wrote, I reflected on the day. Looking back, there had always been signs that Mr. Kuramori was keeping an eye on me. The first time I met the researchers, it seemed like he did his best to limit the amount of interaction I had with them. Another wave of gratitude washed over me. Hi, baby girl. I also thought about Uncle Yashima and how he'd been Mr. Kuramori's supervisor. Uncle Yashima and my mom and dad, too. What was life like for them before I was born? I wish I could have met them back then. I know. I'll ask Uncle Yashima himself. He seems, to know a he seems to know a lot about the circumstances of my birth. I want him to tell me everything. I sent my report to Mr. Kuramori, then started writing a new email to Uncle Yashima. I thought about my parents as I composed it. Suddenly, Ibuki entered my mind as well. If Ibuki know them, what would he think about them? He escaped the research district, but why? Ibuki, Yukinami, and Hyuga, their abilities are awa all awakened in similar ways, but me, my mom, and my dad were different, somehow. Or what? How do we get to that conclusion? Oh, thanks, Windows Virus Summary. <laughs> you don't have any viruses! Yay! Just the one in my body that I'm dealing with right now. I don't think it's a virus, I think it's just a cold. But... Why are they allies of the Vectors? Why do they fight humans? Can we ever find common ground? The threat posed by the hostile outsiders was enormous, but before we could face that, we need to sort out our own problems. I strongly believe. Hi, baby. It's okay. Oh my god. How long is this goddamn route? Ugh, I've got an email. The next morning, I checked my email as soon as I woke up. I had a response from Uncle Yashima. I immediately started to read. What he told me was surprising, to say the least. この ただ、かつて人間を外獣化するような遺伝子の研究に関わっていた航海と責任から外獣や伊吹、雪波、ヒューガのそばにいることを選んだのだ。これが、お前に会いたくても会えなかった理由の一つだよ。Oh yeah, we do use Google Chrome. <laughs> Come on! Game Prince, use Firefox! Needless to say, the email left me stunned, but soon another feeling began to well up inside. Uncle Yashima is with Ibuki and the others. Then it might be possible to come to some sort of understanding with them after all. There was no one I trusted more than Uncle Yashima, and if he agreed to lend a hand, I put out a call to the others to gather at the academy. I was bursting to share the news. I forgot how flirty he is. Betsy <laughs> part of the group. <laughs> no, 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 アラキ君がサイバラさんの軽さを見かねて、牽制しただけだよ。いや。アイム君、何気に見早君より酷いこと言ってるよね。Um, <笑> excuse me, can I start? I raised my voice in hopes that I cut through the bear banter. Sure enough, everyone jumped and looked at me. もちろん、いいよ。でもその前に、あんたの友達の様子はどう？そうそう、心配してたんだよ。well, you can trust him on that one. Their faces did look rather drawn and concerned. Were they that worried about her? They're, they really were worried about Lise. My chest swelled with happiness. I was actually able to talk to her this morning. Thanks for your concern. Oh, we were? We really brushed over that. She's still not quite well enough to sit up, so we agreed she should stay in bed by now. Her wounds, her wounds are healing at an incredible speed, though. When I thought about how my DNA made such fast recovery possible, I felt conflicted. Overall, though, I was more relieved than anything. 
at the other wounded people. I wondered if they were all vectors by now. Thinking about co thinking about that caused my thoughts to go to a dark, depressing place. This can't keep on happening. That's why we need to have a proper talk with Ibuki. More resolute than ever, I told the others about what was on my mind. I've done a lot of thinking since yesterday. First, I think it's important we bridge the gap between us, Ibuki, and the vectors. If we don't deal with that, we can't address the matter of the third planet being under threat from those uh, from these outsiders. Everyone seemed to have their own take on this. They looked solemn and contemplative. Yep. Ayumu was clearly thinking about the same thing I'd been considering just last night. You think so? だから、外獣の正体をもう少し早く知ってたら、あっち側にいたかもしれません。けど、Yep, yep, yep, yep. Everybody, everybody hates the researchers. That's today's, um, uh, soap opera. That's today's soap opera. Yeah. 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 I don't, can't say how I'd react to the truth. Maybe Ibuki escaped from the Vector District because, the Research District because he sympathized, sympathized with the Vectors. Tokyo looked suddenly, suddenly looked troubled by what I'd suggested. Tanjun,研究者たちに向かついたとも考えられるけど、Ibuki,たちは俺たちの前の世代。第二世代だから。うん。第二世代までの試験体への扱いは、ひどいものだったというよ。うん。The more I heard, the harder it became to think of Ibuki as the villain in all this. Can't we find some way to settle our differences? We can't erase the fact that the vectors have been attacking humans, but we need to act now if we want to prevent any more violence from happening. So why don't we just ask, why don't we ask little Yashima for help? I called you here to get your opinion on that. Yashima-san? Kuramori-sensei-no-moto-jou-shi-de-anta-no-kouken-nin-da-yo-ne. どうしてその人の手を借りるの? I answered Tokyo's question by telling them everything that Uyashima said in his email. Don't worry about it. なるほど。イブキたちのそばにその人がいるんだね。うん。確かにその人に間に入ってもらえれば、穏便に話を進められるかもしれないよね。いや、they're こっちが話し合いをしたくても攻撃してくる可能性は十分ありそうな二人でしたね。じゃあ、ヤシマさんに手を貸してもらうことは決まりだね。ヤシマじいちゃん。The others asked me to get in touch with him, and I nodded. Great, I'll contact him right away. それはいいんだけど、あいつはどうする? Tokyo's cold question reached me just as I started to leave. Him? You mean? Tomitsuka Ryo no koto ni kimatte ru. Ibuki tachi to hanashi o tsukeru mai ni. Yeah, that's a problem. Soto no yatsu ra ga ugoi da ra, moto mo komo nai yo. I slowly sank back into my seat. He was absolutely right. Hmm. Kino, are kara Kuramori sensei ga dou hanashi o tsuke ta no ka wa kiite inai kere do. Boku kojin to shite wa. Yeah, he didn't. He helped us. He's helped us a lot, though. He helped us a lot in Ibuki's route, and um, I think he helped us in. He helped us in Yukinami's route too. And I think no, it wasn't. He didn't help us in Yuga's. He did help us in Yukinami's. Yeah, he'll he'll know something. Are you suggesting we should apprehend him? So done. So you're just gonna kill him? By apprehending Ryo, we'd be officially labeling him as our enemy. The other three had no qualms with us doing so. But Ryo didn't try to escape the other day. Is he really our enemy? Oh, here. We should ally with him. 
No, he's not our enemy. He told us everything yesterday and shouldn't try to hide. He's a man of integrity. We should conduct ourselves the same way. I started to talk even as I debated internally over how to get the others over to my side. Look! I'm dropping a full save. Okay, what'd that do? Nothing. Okay, cool. I think we should be sure we grow our ally. Mikatani? Nope! Sore wa Oh god. I am a frown on me, but I forced myself to press on with my explanation. Somehow I can't picture Rio as a bad person. If he if we just asked him to join forces with us, uh with oh god. If we just asked him to join forces with us, I'm sure he'd agree and help out. Maybe the maybe maybe there are circumstances he couldn't explain. Either way, what matters most is that he was clearly being sincere yesterday. When Mr. Kurumori summoned him, he could have ran, but he didn't. I believe in that rail, the rail we saw yesterday. Can't we try talking to him one more time, at least before we decide anything about his fate? Hamli and Mihaya both agreed with me. Ma, so this ne. Kino a sunao ni hanasio stekreta te in shonga animas. Sorenara, mata hanas kikayo moketa mo ino kamo. Uh huh, huh. Mm. Nani o riorewa, kito shinji te mio te yu chimi no kumi ga ski dana. Jimmy ga so yu nara, oremo no ria. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Before we capture him and do something, I guess. We're gonna go with trusting people, because I'd rather give people the benefit of the doubt. I'd rather make the assumption that everyone is going to be good. I even let the other's responses sink in before slowly nodding. Yeah. Ayumu turned to Tokyo, whose side shook his head. Ore take hantai stemo imi nayo. Soreni Iza to notara Kaori no mind operato de Ombin ni osameru no gai to mo. Kari ni tatakau koto ni natta to stara. Choksets kong exiriori. Saimi o kakete yuhe suru honga. Minna no futa moskunai de sho. I mean, you're not. He's not wrong. It would be better to just hypnotize. Row and have him go to sleep, then have us all fight. I realized then that Tokyo was suspicious of Ryo out of concern for all of us. The realization made me feel warm inside. Thank you for giving it some real thought. As you said, Tokyo, I'm probably being naive, but I'll do my best not to rely too heavily on help. I mean, I'll try not to burden you. I made the decision to trust Ryo, so if it comes down to a fight, I'll make sure I'm prepared. Hmm. そこまで言うなら、俺ももう何も言わないよ。あんたって甘いだけじゃないんだね。Yeah. I guess. When I saw Tokyo, when I saw Tokyo smile and chuckle, I realized he'd accepted my point of view. そうと決まれば早速動き出そう。話をしてみるっていうのを実行しないことには始まらないからね。トミツカさんを探すなら、クラモリを探した方が早いですよね。He's でも今は急いでこっちの話を聞いてもらえると助かるんだけど。オッケー。私も言いますね。パーフェクトタイミング。We're Ryo seemed to be his usual unbothered self despite Tokyo's challenging tone. He cleared his throat and started to talk. Soto no yatsura ga ugoki dashita. Oh god. Mou ikkoku no yuuyo mo nai. Oh, okay. 
What? トミスカ君は第三プラントの処遇についてはっきりした結論を外に伝えてはいなかったんだけど、oh. それが裏目に出たみたいだ、oh. 外のやつらは俺から結論の報告がないのは第三プラントの価値を見出すことができないからだと勝手に決めつけた oh. Oh my. 今日になって第三プラントへの進軍の準備に入ったから撤退するようにと、oh. We looked at each other and we all looked at each other to shock. Do you have a car or shinji or to stack him? You are much got the inakata me tight on it. Yeah, but I can't say the truth makes me happy exactly. We have that. Can we have that discussion now? Much on there. Mushira, you must go nine, Jenny. Oh my, oh my. Real reason I brow as you listen to our exchange. So, 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 no, 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 no. I told real about how we wanted him on our side. If we're going to make a stand against the outsiders, we'll need you on our side. Will you please help us? I had a feeling you'd say yes. After all, we specifically, he specifically came in here to warn us. But Rill didn't agree right away. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. Well, yeah, but. But even so, you must have some kind of idea what they'll likely do, right? Forewarned is still for forewarned is still forearmed. I kept on pushing the sub the issue, though my mind was swirling with doubts. We've been thinking of getting in touch with Ikukimi's crew. If we can only join forces with them. If we could reconcile our differences, maybe we could work together and find a way to defeat the outsiders. Real wasn't the only one surprised by my plan. You all got better ideas? Do you think it's not possible? My voice grew meek. I'd been afraid of how the others would take it, but I shouldn't have been worried. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah waking humanoid goats with claws. I lift my head to look around at the others. They all nodded softly. Eh, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to do it. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to do it. All the talk of fighting got us fired up. Ryo looked around at us, eyes wide. Mamiya said that the first thing is that you're going to be able to do it. The first thing is that you're going to be able to do it. Yeah. 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 しかも外獣側と手を組むなんて前代未聞だ。It's unprecedented. あいつらが了承しない可能性もあるんだぞ。But that just means we'll have to set the precedent. I already thought over every potential hole in my plan, but we no longer have time to worry. Besides, none of us really wants to fight them anymore. So then we'll find a way to convince them. I'm sure we can come to some kind of agreement. いやに自信がありそうだけど、もしかしてヤシマ先輩を頼ろうと思ってる？それなら僕が連絡を取ってもいいけど。Mr. Kudamoli's offer reminded me that he knew exactly where Uncle Yashima currently lived. I can do it myself. I feel like it needs to be me. そっか。なんだか君、たくましくなったよね。ああ、変な意味じゃないよ。大人になったなと思って。変な意味はなんでな、なに、なに、なに、変な意味。Mihaya frowned and looked at Mr. Kumamori coldly as he circled to soften his statement. So, no, you got a shot to Kimochi worry this. O Sandesco. Sure. Just say, Oji Sandesho. Oh? Futari Tomo Hidoio. Boku Amada Oni San no Tsumori Nandakado. Okay. Real side just shrugged at their back and forth, raising his palms up to the sky as if to say, I give up. Wakatayo. I'm going to help you. But I'm not going to be able to do it. We won't, don't worry. You mean it? Yeah. I think I'm going to be able to do it. 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 He was right. Ryo had been straight with us since yesterday, and he'd come to warn us about the outsiders mobilizing against us, too. We're serious. Well, I trust you, Ryo, so please lend us your. Ryo held up a hand to stop me. He obviously knew what I was going to say. Kashi te kure te yun daro. Mo ryo shou shitan da gara. Aratame te yu hitsuyo wa nai zo. 
それより動くなら早くした方がいいさっきも言った通り一刻の猶予もないからな、uh-huh. okay after that we worked out what role we'd each handle then it was time to spring into action I know I know <laughs> he used to be yay I hurried back to the dorm to get in touch with Uncle Yashima as soon as possible. Amazing. Okay, and sent. I sighed with relief as I sent off my email. Suddenly there was a knock at the door. Hi, good morning. Lisa, of course, come on in. Lisa watched the room. She was still groggy, but the color was back in her cheeks. Are you sure you should be moving around? Lisa looked okay, but I was worried about her overdoing it. She smiled and took a seat next to me. Lisa! It was hard to believe how fast she healed, considering how badly wounded she'd been. The, the antibodies had really done a good job. Oh. It wasn't just me. A lot of folks came together to save you, Lise. As I spoke to Lise, I realized this was my best chance to tell her all about the things I kept secret from her. It was, uh... It was now or never. Considering we may die. Listen, Lizek, would you hear me out for a sec? I want to tell you some stuff that I've been keeping from you all this time. Lizek nodded and smiled as I broached the subject. Whoops. I keep. Stop! Pausing! I think you're done! Thank you, Lizek. The truth is. I told Lise everything. About my special powers awakening, my Bloom's duties, and all the rest of it. Lise listened to my story with wide eyes and squeaked in surprise more than once, but she didn't interrupt until I was done talking. Yeah. She's now been in two CGs. One, well, one she was passed out in, but... Good old Lise, always worrying about me. I responded to her concern warmly. It's okay, occupational hazards. I'm used to it. Lise's kind words made my eyes sting with tears, and I felt a wave of guilt wash over me. Oh, excuse me. I'm gonna slurp that straw. She'll just worry even more if I tell her I have my toughest battle ahead, but I'm so tired of keeping secrets. Listen, Lise, I have a really dangerous fight ahead of me. I want you to know about it before I go. Mm. I told her everything about the third plant and the outsiders. This time, Lise was stunned into silence, too shocked to even speak. We were for we were silent for a while afterwards. Lise spoke up first, and of course it was to express concern for me. Well yeah. Yeah. It was clear how much Lise cared about me, but at the same time it wasn't I wasn't quite as frightened as Lise thought I ought to be. I think it's because I have the others with me. I'm fine. I have my friends with me. With all of us working together, we can overcome anything. Lise listened, looking taken aback. Then she fell into silent contemplation. Finally, she spoke, choosing her words carefully. なんだか君がすごく強くなったって気がしたんだけど。そうじゃないのかも。Come <laughs> on, Lise. <laughs> So mm-hmm. Yeah, I think I do. I'm nervous, of course, but I have complete faith in everyone. I realized how true those words were as soon as I spoke them. The Bloops were precious friends to me and reliable comrades. Yeah, come on, Lise! No matter what happened at first, what happened at us, or what came at us. Wow, I read that way wrong, like twice. No matter what came at us, I knew the five of us could handle it. Alrighty. Oh my god. Oh my god! 
The following day, Uncle Yashima invited us to the colony where Ibuki lived, a place called Tao. I, it was myself, plus the four other blooms, in addition to Ryo, who was our guide, and... Yeah, Shita no soto ni kuru no wa hisashiburi da na. Kuramori sensei? Chanto aru iteru? Tsukare ga max de shikai mo boyake teru nda kedo. Ichi o, ashi wa nihon tsuita mama desu yo. I don't know. Memo aite mas. I guess he took a, uh, a special suit. He took one of those uh, suits. Yeah, yeah. I don't think he was alone. He was alone. He it was so rude to him. <laughs> I managed a weak laugh, though I did think they were being a bit hard on him. Besides, I was actually feeling pretty exhausted myself. But Mr. Kuromori's chatter actually kept me from being overwhelmed by nervousness. I was secretly thankful about that. Traveling outside the colony was pretty rough, even in a transformed state. Regular humans had to wear protective suits when they went outside the colony, but us blooms only had to transform to travel for a limited time. We still had to be careful not to exhaust our powers, so we picked the shortest route to the colony, even though the terrain was rougher. Tsukareta. Tokyo turned to me that moment. Perhaps he noticed that I hadn't said much on the trip over. Nah, no, I'm okay. I was just thinking about how the journey was pretty rough. Oh, by the way, I've been meaning to ask you something. Will those forms be okay? Ibuki only knows you as girls, right? I thought it'd be different to explain, but Tokyo merely raised an eyebrow as if confused. Ibuki Jishin, Moravia ni Henshin Sterushi. Ano Kanjitato, Oretachi no Shotaimo. He might have. He might have. Dotta Rawaza was a on no singata de Yushio and I cano. True. Tatakai ni kitanja nightte, a pirimo de Kirushi. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's true. You're right about that, Tokyo. Humbly butted into our conversation, apparently bored of verbal sparring with Mr. Kurumori.俺は単純にこのままがいいってだけだけどね。だってさ、時雄君の言う通り正体がバレてるなら背の姿でいたら何言われるか。うん。ファミリーズマークしてる<笑> Yeah, everyone here has gender Ayuma's decisive tone shut the conversation down. That was when Ryo came back from scouting. Oh my goodness, it's time. Anxiety flooded me once again as I went with everyone into the direction Ryo indicated. I realized Tao was completely different from Theta as soon as I stepped foot in the colony. Ruined buildings were everywhere, and the fa fa facilities all appeared to be on their last legs. I looked around, taking it all in. Ibuki grew up under very different circumstances from us, didn't he? Shita I looked right at Ryo and shook my head firmly. No, it doesn't matter how different we are. I'm here to make peace with Ibuki. I don't care what the people on the outside think of us. Yeah, the future is not hopeless. We hope. Mihaya surprisingly chimed in, backing up what Kamui just said. Uh -huh. Yeah, I want us to decide our future for ourselves. For that, we need Ibuki's help, and a familiar set of faces appeared in the distance before I could finish my sentence. It was Ibuki, Hyoga, and Yukinami. They were accompanied by another man who stood calmly waiting for us to walk over. Uncle Yashima? Now my anxiety was really off the chart, but he gave me a gentle smile as we approached and I instantly felt at ease. He seems kind and friendly, just as I imagined. Ibuki and the rest, however, all had very different expressions. Hyuga didn't bother hiding his animosity, while Yukinami grinned jeeringly. Meanwhile, Ibuki was as calm and composed as ever. Yeah. 
ってことでいいのか。イブキューズ、the first to speak。Tokyo took a step forward and responded。そうだよ。話が早くて助かる。それはこちらも同じかな。ああ、今さら誰が誰でっていう紹介はいらないよ。Except for Kamui。大体の話は聞いているけれど、君たちに協力するかどうか答える前に、oh, 僕への答えは持ってきてくれた The last part was directed to me. I knew he'd end up asking if I came to see him, so I gave him the answer I prepared. You wanted to know who deserves this world. Humans are vectors. Here's what I believe. I took a deep breath and came out with it. I think they both do. Ibuki clearly wasn't expecting that. His eyes widened with surprise and amusement. Because now that I know vectors used to be humans, I can no longer think of them as two separate, distinct life forms. So I believe the answer the world belongs to both. That's my answer. That was my own sincere truth. ああ。Yeah, he hasn't gotten therapy yet in this route. That's not true. Why are you so dismissive? Hyuga's use of the term backstabber upset me. It wasn't fair. But before I could refute him, Ibuki, Ibuki interrupted. Hyuga, just a little bit. This girl is different from the researchers who were trying to help you. Ibuki's response made it clear that there was some link between Hyuga and the researchers. As soon as Hyuga quieted down, I continued. We're not like the researchers. We're more like all of you, actually. So please, don't write us off. 俺たちも一歩間違えば害獣になってたあんたの事情は知らないけど超能力を持ってるならあんたも似たようなものなんだろうだからってすぐに信用しろっていうのも無理な話だとは思うけど裏切るって決めつけないでほしい。裏切りの夕焼け、夜会、力、レスタルセモ。I had to. Yuki Nami, but silent up until now, inserted himself into the conversation. 信用できないのはお互い様なんじゃないの僕たちはこれまで散々戦ってきたし Yeah, exactly. We're all love interests here. これからも君たちを襲うかもよ。So, alright, we all want to kiss the main character. It's all fine. If it is suddenly attack you. 裏切るのは僕かもしれない。それでも君たちは協力してって僕たちに頼むことができるの I knew what Yuki Nami was getting at. I'd already considered that very possibility, but I wanted to trust them more than anything. Go ahead and fight us all you want once this is over. For now, we need your help. Humans and vectors need to work together if there's any hope of saving our world. I so badly wanted them to see our sincerity. It worked to an extent, and Yuki Nami seemed swayed. His smug, mocking smirk faded from his face. Eh. <laughs> Yuki Nami's sarcastic grin, grin broke into a genuine smile, something I'd never seen him do. Uh -huh. Okay. Sure, honey. Alright, Yuki Nami, alright. Ibuki nodded in response. I think I can help you. 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 I'm glad that was a satisfactory answer. Hyuga, what do you want to do? Is there still a fight? Hyuga was silent for a moment, then he sighed loudly, clearly done with fighting against us. I'm not sure. Yay! そうだ。俺たちが一緒に戦うって言っただけで。問題は何も解決してねえだろう。Yep. むしろこれからじゃないのか。Yep, the real challenge is ahead. もちろんその通りだよ。手を組むことが決まったなら
ここからは現実的な話をしよう。Oh、my God. How is this? 外に比べてとてつもなく不利なのは変わらないし、具体的なことも何もわからないんですよね。ここはりょうさんの出番でしょ。前に軍事力に差があるって言ってたけど、uh-huh. 実際どれくらいやばい感じなの Can you tell us anything about how the outsiders might attack the third plant? Aww, thank you, General. Sleep well. This is taking way longer than I expected it to. Kantani Uto, Sotonua, Daisan Planto Yorimo, Hattats Shita Kagakuya, Heki Gar. Donna Hoho, Skatta Kurunishiro, Daisan Planto Gaima Motte Bukidewa, Taiko de Kinaidaro. So you kill Konkyo. 俺は時間をかけてここのことを調べていた、oh. 特に科学や兵器というのは進化の度合いが如実にわかる点だからな well, だからこそ断言できる今の第三プラントの軍事力は外に到底及ばない It wasn't as if I'd been overly optimistic about our chances but hearing how bad things truly were made my spirit sink Tokyo kept questioning Ryo as if, as if he refused to accept the end was truly near. I guess. I stiffened up, unsure of what Tokyo was getting at by asking that, but Ryo shook his head. Tokyo grinned. Mm. Alright, what are you all talking about? I wasn't following, but being left out made me start to feel flustered. But Kamui stepped in to explain. Or the ace in the hole. I was a bit taken back by what m a h a i said, but I knew he was onto something. The ace in the hole. Yeah, it makes sense. If they don't know about our superpowers, we can use them to launch a surprise attack. Yeah, and also to make sure they weren't attacking Theta while we were away. I think it's odd. Wouldn't that be the first thing he'd report about? Ryo got a strange look on his face when he heard me say that. Well, no. What do you mean by that? I snapped back at Ryo. Now he was lecturing me? Aww. Aww. Upon closer inspection, I could see Ryo was slightly embarrassed. His cheeks were pink. Ryo doesn't want the third plant to be destroyed. In fact, he wants to help us. Maybe he's wanted to help us all along. Ryo, thank you. You've given us some hope. Hmm. If you want to get out of the way, you can't get out of the way. Yeah, we didn't even have to have a really weird scene in the tent. Everyone was getting excited, but Mr. Konami spoke up hesitantly. Anosa. Yeah, we've got eight people. Yeah, we've got eight people. Yeah, we've got eight Hey! Shut the fuck up! Yeah, I'm sure you're happy. All this talk about my powers made me realize how much this battle hinged on me. I felt my nerves and fear building until a hand landed on my shoulder. Yeah, exactly. What? I'm not a man. So, this is you. Or it's a mean that it's a kind of a car. Daijo with this. Yeah, Daijo with this. 
I looked at them both and remembered what I'd said to Lise. Right, I have friends. Friends will support me every step of the way. Thank you, everyone. I smiled and then Ibuki spoke up. Ibuki held up one of the crystals that are sometimes left behind if Vector disappears. The flower crystals, but how do we use them? Wait! Wait! Wait, so we weren't absolutely bullshitting? On Rose Root? There was like a bit of truth to that? What? Yeah, it appears so. Okay. I guess, I guess. I had no idea the crystals could be used that way. If Ibuki was right, though, the crystals would be a major asset in the upcoming fight. Yeah. I nodded solemnly. Yeah, let's keep them as a last resort. Okay. Oh my god. Are we still? Oh my god! How long is this? Following that revelation, we talked for a few more hours before deciding to return to Theta. As we turned to leave Tao, I made eye contact with Uncle Yashima. We had spoke much during our meeting, and this was the first time he'd looked directly at me. Yeah, this is the first time we've really spoken. There was so much I wanted to talk to him about, so much in fact that I couldn't get my words in order. Uncle Yashima seemed to notice I was struggling, so he spoke instead. いや、ね、ウィルウィ。お前が一歩踏み出したことで外獣と人間の垣根が崩れ始めている。これは大きな一歩だよ。じゃあ、ざ、ビッグステップ。そして、この戦いが終われば、私たちの関係は変わるだろ
Wow, they were like, oh shit, stuff's getting wild. And then they just fucking tried to dip. Wow. Thus, Mr. Kodomori and Uncle Yashima were currently engaged in their own fierce battle with the higher-ups that mirrored our own fight. I... I don't know. They, they'd certainly try! Those bitches. Yeah. You've felt that way since childhood, haven't you, Ibuki? There was an undertone in Ibuki's voice that made it impossible to hold back my question. そうだね。だからこそシータを出たんだけど、別に彼らに怒りや失望はないんだよ。僕は君に興味があるんだ。答えをもらった今でもそれは変わらないよ。Is oh. it me you're interested in or my DNA? I mean, it was my antibodies that helped you eject you that you ejected to the vectors, right? That been on my mind for a while, but Ibuki looked a little confused as he answered. 同じことだよ。僕は君の中にあるものすべてに惹かれている。あ。<laughs> oh no, shoot, coughing. Yeah. What a horrible wording. Uh, but yeah, this is. I've done a couple seven hour streams before. Mm hmm. Holy moly. I didn't think this would take this long. I didn't think this would take this long. Dakara Gaiju. あの子たちに君の細胞を与えたら何かいい方向に物事が運ぶんじゃないかと思ったんだけど。Well, Maybe Ibuki sees the world in black and white. When he see he, when he says he's interested in me, he means all of me, including my DNA, right? And since the antibodies belonging belong to someone he found interesting, maybe he thought something good would happen if he experimented with them. I still can't say that what he did was right, but this is Ibuki we're talking about. Fretting over his actions won't get me anywhere. Yeah, he sees the world in blue and pink. Yeah, actually. Oh, uh, that's kind of a pinky red. Ibuki still had his hand on my cheek. It was hard to stay calm when he did, while he did that. <laughs> if you're gonna seduce, wait until we're done. Howdy had left to my rescue when she saw how uncomfortable I was. I was a bit surprised by her choice of words, though. Seduce? Ibuki would never do such a thing. Oh, <clears throat> oh honey. How's <laughs> that? でも今の言い方だと戦いが終わったらくどいてもいいってことになるね。Amazing。君はどうするの？Ibuki's lack of social awareness was confusing for was confusing the rest of us. Yeah. Oh God. はなんで俺に話を振るんだよ。俺がどうしようか。I see. あんたに言う必要はないだろ。It is the hair. It is kind of a harem root. Howdy. You sound exactly like Tokyo right now. Cody and the others usually spoke in a more feminine manner, but since their true identities were revealed, they were now in full guy mode. Yeah, yeah, Moriagatene. Nan no Hanashkato Mutara, Konoko no Toriai? Datara Mazete Muraokana. Oh, God. I wasn't used to Senna sounding so energetic. It felt weird at first, but by now I was used to it. Mosuka Tatakaiga Hajimaru, the Yunoni. Anta Tacho, Monkai. And her goddamn Kansai accent! God bless it! Where does your accent go? Mahiza! Obiete freterio ni mastad! The sound of our banter had traveled, and now the others had, joined, had gathered to join in on conversation. Yo you got a hoga yuri ni tatakairu karane. Kedo. Soro soro kyo hikishimete. Yo ga yonderu. Alright, let's go. Tension gripped us as we scrambled to our feet. 
It was almost time for the fight to begin. We steeled ourselves and dashed off in Ro's direction. Please. I'm begging you. Please. No! <laughs> this be I'm this feels like amnesia, where I was just like, please be over. Please. I, why? Ro kept us updated on what was going on as he consulted some kind of device. He also used it when we were in Tao. When we went to Tao, I wonder again if he was really okay without a protective suit. He said he's all right, since he's got something with a charm built into it. I thought back, recalling Ro saying something about the wristwatch he wore, but then my attention was devoted, di diverted to the intel he delivered. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think there's only been one. Fighter uh, aircraft? Okay, well, I guess they're not nuking it, but this ain't much better. Oh! Maybe they are! Maybe they are. Maybe Okay. All right. Leave it to me. Okay, everyone, make a circle and hold hands. We'll sing Kumbaya. We had run multiple simulations up to today on how I could augment everyone. By holding hands like this, I could supercharge everyone's abilities at once while only using a small amount of my power. I held hands with Kaori and Ibuki. The others joined hands as well. Okay, then. Let's do this. I concentrate my energy on everyone while visualizing Augment. I can feel power emanate from me. The circle was enveloped in light. It seems to be working well. I saw the others all nod and I released Kaori and Ibuki's hands. The others let go too. Hi, baby. Sana closed her eyes, testing out her foresight while Yuki Nami punched the air experimentally. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. She's like, you've been out of bed for a while, mother. <sighs> it made me glad to see Hyuga make a small connection with Kaori and the other blooms. The others all dispersed to assume their positions. I turned to Ibuki, who remained beside me. I wanted to ask him a question that lingered on my mind. Ibuki, aren't you going to turn into Moravia? Alright. I see. Ibuki's reply made me think of the awkward conversation we had earlier, but this was neither the time nor the place. Those are fighter jets. Roger! Out Rio's work, Kaori began by using her hypnosis at a much wider range than usual, usual thanks to the, my augment. Yeah. Oh, God, God, oh, God. It, oh. Don't flash! Put flashing lights. The fighter aircraft had been caught by hypnosis. Thinking they were in the wrong area, some of them quickly changed course. That's alright. Okay. Okay, not all of them were tricked. Alright, two planes still coming this way. Yeah. The others heard the communication between Ryo and Kaori and leapt into action. Okay. Sena used foresight to read the plane's next movement, direct Hataka Moka. Moka used sap to steal the abilities of the vectors Ibuki had brought along. Then she dashed over to Hataka. Haruka, Hey! Alright. Haruka jumped into Moka's cupped hands and used them to springboard high into the air. She landed on the high ledge of some ruins and held her hands out as if reaching up, reaching towards something. Moero. The sky suddenly lit up with bright fiery explosions. My augment made it possible for her flame dust ability to vaporize missiles. Wow! You did it! Tsugi. We all jumped and looked in the direction Seta indicated. A glint of light flickered in the distance. Mogli used her psychokinesis to leap up to another high vantage point. She faced the missile streaking towards us and jumped. Wow. 
Wow, did she kick it? Yep, she used her physical strength to send the missile back where it came from. It dove into a plane and exploded. Dealing with fewer is better than dealing with all of them. じゃあそっちは僕たちでやるよ。ヒューガ、ユキナミ、行けるね。オールライト、エアイ。I've Oh my goodness. Never could I have guessed that a day would come when I'd care about their safety this much. But the feeling was a welcome one to be sure. Ibuki, Hyuga, and Yukinami fought the robots while Haruka and Mocha handled the airborne enemies. Kaori and Sena stayed with me on guard. I had been running myself ragged trying to keep my augment on everyone, but now that the battle was entering a lull, I turned to Kaori. I want I want to augment you again, Kaori, but I'm pretty exhausted right now. I think I need a minute. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Kaori reverted back to Tokyo before she was even finished she she was even before she even finished her sentence. Soro -soro. Uh oh. We've used our powers too much. Uh, what? We haven't moved anywhere. I don't even know. <laughs> I followed Tokyo's gaze to see Kamui and Mihaya coming our way. <laughs> yeah, not good at all. I felt the power drain from my body look down on my arms. My transformation had come undone, too. Oh, the charm! I grabbed for my charm aside with relief. Before the fight, the commander warned me to always have my charm close to my body in case I suddenly detransformed while outside. He said I should keep it with me on, keep it on me at all times, like Rose Witch wrist watch. He's right. I'm not having any difficulty breathing. I fixed my gaze on Haruka. Unlike the others, she was still transformed, but she looked back, shaking her head. It looked like even Haruka wasn't immune to the creeping exhaustion that overtook all of us. Nara. Ibuki and the other suddenly reappeared. Reappeared, and Ibuki's palm was a flower crystal. Yeah, I guess it's now or never. Has everyone still got theirs? Before the fighting began, we all made sure to put uh, put flower crystals in our pocket. One by one, everyone withdrew them, nodding. Do we eat them? Crush them? Oh, absorb <laughs> I think that would hurt. That would hurt. Those things look large and spiky. Ibuki pressed the crystal to himself and closed his eyes as if in prayer. In, in an instant, the crystal melted into Ibuki's chest and disappeared. <laughs> oh, too bad, Yukinami. Yukinami also pressed the crystal to his chest, and I prepared to do the same. Ugh. Despite watching Ibuki's demonstration, I was still filled with doubt. Nevertheless, the crystal dissolved into my chest without incident. At first, nothing felt different. Then I began to feel warmth spread from my chest to the rest of my body. It feels I feel like power is billowing up inside me. Okay, well, I'm glad. How, how are we doing? How are we doing? How are we doing? How are we doing? God damn it. <laughs> Warmth of a fursuit? No! The others all concurred. Apparently, the flower crystals had done their job. Huh? Why is Haruka, I mean, Ayumu, detransformed? Maybe. Alright. 
I looked over at them and sure enough, no one had transformed back. This is AKA we ran out of budget for all the female voice actors. We ran out of budget for the female voice actors as well, so we just kept... So we just axed them with a cleverly placed story plot line. You're right, I also feel like my abilities have increased. うん。今なら Alright, but what exactly are we gonna do? Everyone attacks at once or something like that? The idea was a good one, but we never practiced a unified attack. Still, if we combine our powers, then maybe. Yeah. Okay. Ryo, who's been watching silently, finally spoke up. We really are gonna hold hands and say goodbye. Yep. Alright, I mean, give it a shot. Alright, let's do it. Yeah, fire emblem. We made a circle and joined hands once again. Once more, as soon as we were all linked, I felt energy begin to crackle around us. <laughs> これならやれそうじゃない。え、集中してみましょう。うん。集中って力を集まるみたいな感じで、どうればいいのかな。ノブ、ゼイム。掛け声は人それぞれでいいと思いますけど、大きなエネルギーを作るようなイメージしてみた
二次の方角敵に向かって一直線に進めやはーゴー The light suddenly left us rocketing up into the sky it shot towards our target like an arrow Holy shit! Okay! Alright! A bright explosion swallowed the sky. Then everything fell silent, as if someone had turned down the world's volume. Okay, okay, okay. Did. Did we do it? Radar には何も映っていない。前期、知り添けることに成功したようだ。Light snow. I. I. I don't know. There was a moment of silence, then we all gasped in relief and collapsed onto the ground. Kore de what tandane? Shindokata. Amazing. Desne. Yaya! Koko de Warini Narukamo Shirenite, Kakugo Stetan Deskedo. What? You were? Date, do Kangaitem of Frida Tatakai Data Janai Deska. Anta of Fuanjana Katan Desko. Wasn't I worried? I was worried, yeah, but I knew we'd make it through if we worked together. So you funny, my mukina moyo moternoga, Kimi no eat or a dame. Demo Majimena Hanashi. Omoiwa ties that tanjanaikana. Tokuni Saigonoa. Kimotina Hitotsini Larana Kereva. Seiko Shinakata has there. Anotoki or ever Tsioko Motayo. Yeah, the power of eight husbands combined? Damn, we're, we're getting stuff done. He thought that too. I was surprised to hear the always cool Tokyo say something so emotional. He blushed a little. Mm. Really? Really? その中には害獣も入ってるってことでいいんだよね。Yeah. 今さらそんなこと聞く。Yeah. 一応ね。もしかして戦いが終わったら手のひらを返して攻撃してくるかもしれないでしょ。Mm-hmm. そんな元気ないよ。っていうか、そんな元気があるやついるの<笑> ？Who could? 僕は全然大丈夫。<笑> I'm fine. I'm probably exhausted. Me? Now that you mention it, I can't seem to get my legs to listen to me. A shadow fell over where I was sitting on the ground. I looked up and saw Ryo standing over me. I'm okay. I think I'd like to sit here a bit longer. Why don't you sit down too, Ryo? You fought along with us after all. Ryo sat down, looking a little awkward. <laughs> oh, that's it! That's all the that's all the CGs! We don't have all the CGs! We've done that much already. Tokyo knows this is scumper to grin. Mata. Minna de Tedemotsunagu. Can we all hold hands again? Sore ne Nakamakam maskanji gasuria. Less than the bridge, yeah. Everyone burst out laughing, sprawled on the coarse grass. Above us, the sky was still cloudy, but a single ray of light seemed to shine down on us. I, I guess. Yes! 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 We did it! A few days after the battle, I was headed to the research district, which I now know like the now knew like the back of my hand. I found Tokyo, Ayumu, Mr. Kuramori, Ibuki, Hyuga, and Ryo all standing there talking together. Wow. This site is beginning to feel natural. It was weird at first, but now it's like things were along this way. We're always this way. Yeah, exactly. A certain event after the battle was what brought us even closer together. Apparently, Ibuki and Hyuga had synthesized enough antibody shots to be able to help everyone who had been attacked alongside Lise. Then, before the final battle, Mr. Kuramori and Uncle Yashima treated the injured with the shots. No one turned into a vector as a result. Tokyo was so impressed by what they did, he even asked them to keep helping out. 
And now the two vectors were coming and going from Theta as they pleased, especially since Kudamori had removed the higher ups from power. <laughs> wait, wait, Mr. Kudamori just did a coup all by himself? He, he just, he just, he just cooed everything? Amazing. ん何僕の顔に何かついてるってダメだよいくらかっこいいからって僕は保護者代理なんだから好きになったりいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいや
dessert, right? Yeah, we baked a pound cake. Yatta! Adorable. <laughs> I felt happy as I watched them squabble. I was so glad they're getting along. It's funny, they're acting like normal friends now. So, what did I interrupt? Yeah, the cake's metaphor. <laughs> <For> <laughs> <us>. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Having trouble hitting Kabui. <laughs> I heard Kami mutter under his breath, so I quickly tried to smooth things over. Uh, so you can only use your powers without transforming now, right? They really ran out of budget for those voice actors. <laughs> yeah, but thinking about it, it's a bit sad. Masaka. Uh, she was, he was on the money, but I felt myself clam up. It was definitely a little sad about... I was definitely a little sad about no longer being able to see the girls I'd gotten to know. <laughs> you can help me grab my hand before I could respond and called out to me hi and Kamui. Uh -huh. Gift Kamui held out his hand and I burst into laughter. Really? That's the coolest line you could manage? Uh, I feel a bit itchy. Is this your power, Yukinami? Yukinami, you make me itchy. What? We all took running jumps. We were all having a ton of fun. It was more like playing than doing an experiment. Amazing! I've never jumped so high in my life! Deso deso! Tsugi wa dash shite mite yo! Nani yatteru no? What on earth are you doing? Tokyo and the others walked to us in the middle of our fun. Ore tachi ga majime ni shigoto shite ru no ni. Omae ra nonki ni shiyagatte. That's what you get for being the smart ones, unfortunately. Ii n janai desu ka? Tatakai wa owatta nda shi. Also, we're all the younger ones. I think. そうだな。何かあるとしても、まだ当分先だ。うん。The でも、少なくとも僕は今のこの世界が好きだよ。うん。いや、I I believe that more than I more than I believed anything. Yatta! Paradise paradox! And Yatta! We did it! Oh my goodness. Alright, we completed the game. All right, so I will probably I'm gonna put a link to I'm gonna do the I'm gonna do the Discord link in here because I'm probably going to um, I'm tired. So once I end the stream, I probably will um, put up a poll on the Discord about what game we're gonna play next um, because I have Steam games and I have Switch games. 
So it's probably going to be a multi-stage poll. Um, so. Um, or I might figure out one. Um, because, like, I have, um, where are my, I'll tell me, it's not quite right, give me my visual novels. Because, like, we have, um, I have Oz Mafia. I've not played Oz Mafia. I kind of really want to play Oz Mafia. Um, or we could go to the next, um, <laughs> I see you. Um, or we could go to the next Switch game I have, which is Lover Pretend. Which I, I think will not be as long as Oz Mafia, but Oz Mafia is an older game. And I still have a fucking huge backlog, honestly. I don't know if I'll ever catch up in my backlog for a while. The music's good. Um. Yeah, Oz Mafia. Er, sorry, not Oz Mafia. Lover Pretend is. Oh, Fragments of the Future. Okay. Um. Lover Pretend is. Let me read the back. The main character joins a TV crew to uncover her family's secret. She's shocked when she's the one receiving all the attention. Will this lead to love or is it just pretend? There's um there's five love interests in Lover Pretend. Um it's a little more rom com y, I think. There's not as much there's no like fighting like in Paradigm Paradox. Um there's no magic. Um but Oz Mafia, I've wanted to play for a while. I've owned Oz Mafia for a while and have not played it. Um, and yeah, there's just a lot of stuff we could do. Um, so, oh, that is all the time we have for tonight. Oh my God. We freaking, my God, we have, uh... no, 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 don't do that. Okay, we'll go to the boat charges for a little bit. Um, so yeah, oh my god, this took that took a long time. That took a lot longer than I was expecting. But we did it. We beat Paradigm Paradox. Um I've liked this game a lot. I have liked this game a lot. Uh, it's had its moments where it was less than amazing, but it has had its moments where it was wonderfully amazing. And I will say that end fight. That was, I, I, that, they did an amazing job of building the tension for that. I was super hyped up for that. Yeah, yeah, I, I would say, I would say this was mostly fun. I would actually put this at like a 7 out of 10. I'd put this at like a 7 out of 10 for me. That was really good. Um, but yeah. Yeah, I know, the BGMs were fucking amazing. All right, um, tomorrow we'll see what I will play if I'm up to stuff. Um, it might just be more Pokemon because I want to play more Pokemon. We'll see. Um, but yeah, well, you all know the usual song and dance. If you're not already following me on social medias, I'd appreciate it very much if you would as well. Remember to stop by the Discord as we will be doing our um, poll for the next Otome game. Oh my God. We're finally done with Paradigm Paradox. Holy moly. Um, but yeah. Well, I hope you all have a wonderful meowning, afternoon, evening, whatever time it is for you. Um, thank you all so, 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 so much for coming, especially for this like early and super long stream. I really appreciate every single one of you, truly. Um, yeah. Well. Without any further ado, bye-bye.